Hello, guys and gals, and welcome. Don't forget to mow the lawn, or the uh, the city will come post a notice on your yard that you can't see. Don't want to, and and then yell at you about not seeing the notice. <laughs> they literally they literally put the notice in the exact spot. Like somebody had to stand there, and they had to be like, "Okay, their cars are over there. The house is right there. They got windows on the house. Okay." All right. Uh, we don't want them to see it from their cars. Uh, we don't want them to see it from the house windows. Uh, we don't want to see it, them to see it when they come out for the mail. Uh, we don't want them to see it when they drive to work. Uh, so if they leave for work, we got to make sure we put it somewhere where their car's not going to go by it. This dude literally put the notice in the exact right spot. So that no matter where we were in the house, no matter what we were doing, no matter if we were driving to work or coming home from work... This dude put the notice in the exact spot where we were not going to be able to see it ever. Not like we weren't going to mow the lawn anyway. I mean, it was getting to that point, and I was about to mow the lawn. But, like, like just the deliberate malfeasance of this guy just putting the notice, like, in the exact spot where nobody could see it was just freaking hilarious. Although also just nasty. Just very nasty at the same time. I mean, you don't mow the lawn just because one piece of grass is this high. You mow the lawn when it needs to be mowed. But, you know, the city doesn't care. They see one piece of grass that's this high, and, and that it's time to mow the lawn, apparently. They'll come out with a freaking ruler and be like, Okay, yeah, that's too high. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got some some raffles to give away. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, we had a whole bunch of really cool items that I found, so I don't, I don't really know what's going to happen here real quick. Let's... Where do I live? I live in Virginia. All right, so I have a full Tal Rasha set to give away. Uh, the full Tal Rasha set, we can do that real quick. Uh, 11 people entered for the full Tal Rasha set. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, so we got Grumpy Old Guy number one. Crypt number two. Beard number three. Womp number four, militant number five. Uh, obviously, the um, Tal Rasha set is a pretty snazzy set. You can pretty much just slap that on a, on a sorceress, and you can you can pretty much just do whatever you want. It's not that big of a deal. Um, granted, it's probably not the best piece of equipment that you can put on a character like that, but. It doesn't matter. It gives you magic find. It gives you just about everything you need. And uh, honestly, for the most part, Tal Rachas is, is more than enough. I mean, you can min-max your character later. Gather some equipment and put things together and, you know, make it work. All right, so here's your tickets for the... Why is it not up on the screen? Come on, can't, get, can't, get up there. Get up there. Okay, there we go. Filed complaint about the filed complaint. They don't care. You start doing that kind of stuff, they'll just uh, they'll just start coming to your house every day, picking on everything. They'll start measuring each piece of grass and going, "This one's too high. You need to cut it." Now you just take down the notice, you mow the lawn, and you move on with your life. Because those guys, honestly, honestly, I think the people that have those jobs. And if you have one of those jobs, I'm still sorry for you. But the people who have those jobs are uh, are like quite literally evil people. Like they they literally go through the day and they literally pick on people deliberately. Like just they, it's not like they're just doing their job. No, they they seem to take almost like deliberate uh, like pleasure in in doing their job to an ecstatic degree, as if their life has no meaning. But uh, but telling you that you've got one piece of grass and you're your yard, which is a little bit too high, is uh, is is like the highlight of their day. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this rolled real quick. 
Um, the raffles are only for kinship members sublimation. Um, if you'd like to join the kinship, you can take a look at the rules and see if it agrees with you. All right, let's get this show on the road. Here we go. All right, so here's the uh, random number generator. We're going to generate six numbers. The sixth number is going to be the winner. Um, it's going to generate them all. Nothing is allowed to repeat. So if you roll before the sixth number, obviously you're not going to win. And as soon as I click the button, it will roll every number between 1 to 11 and will give us six numbers. And like I said, the sixth number will be the winner. So the winner is Womp. Congratulations, Womp. Number four. All right, I'll put this in chat. All right, so Womp got his towel set. And uh, let's go ahead and roll the next one here. So uh, I think the next one was the uh, Natalia set. I don't know if anybody actually entered the Natalia set. Let's uh, let's double check here. Did anyone anybody enter for the Nat set? Nobody entered for the Nat set. That's sad. Well, if anybody wants the Nat set uh, in the kinship, let me know. Uh, because if nobody entered, that means you can pretty much just claim it right now. It's up to you. Uh, we also have an Oculus Swirling Crystal and a Storm Shield. Uh, the Oculus Swirling Crystal was only five people, so let's go ahead and roll that real quick. So that is Harry, number one. Luli, number two. Crypt, number three. Shift Kick, number four. And Destination, 666, number five. Okay, so five people. So we're gonna adjust the um, the rolly the rolly ollie to five. Fifth one's gonna be the winner. Calculate I think I accidentally I got five. I hit five, sir. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten,
You guys can suck it. I'll keep it one for myself. You guys can suck it. <laughs> I even put myself in for the raffle, and uh, I'm going to take myself out of the raffle because somebody was like, don't put yourself in for the raffle. I was like, we're going to give you one. I was like, fine, fine then. I don't want to be in the raffle anyway. Who wants to be in the raffle? Not me. I did actually want to be in the raffle, but whatever. Then they would have accused me of being... Of rigging the raffles and stuff, and be like, oh no, he pre recorded the raffle janks, and bling, 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 bling. <laughs> bling, bling, bling. All right, so we got six people for the raffle. Uh, we're going to do the last two, so the last two will be the winners. Uh, let me go ahead and roll this real quick. Ding, 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 ding. All right, so we got six people. Six rolls. Last three, last two will be the winners. Calculate. Uh, so we've got number one and number four. So Agroskate and uh, Doctor Chunks. All right. Dr. Chunks. Okay. I still got some more stuff to raffle off. We're, uh, we got raffles going off all the time. I have a uh, Thunder Gods Vigor uh, belt that I found personally. I got seven people in the raffle for that one. So let's go ahead and throw this up. T Gods is uh, T Gods Vigor is a very nice belt for a lot of builds, and uh, obviously since it has the lightning absorption on it, it's a very nice piece of kit anyway. Uh, even if you're not specifically the character that uh, that needs to use it. Um, I only have one though, so. All right, so we got seven people in the raffle. There we go, generate six numbers and calculate. And the winner is uh, Agroskate. You actually already won the Storm Shield, so I'm going to give this to the second person on the list, uh, which is Nico. I try not to give everything away to the same person. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of important. Just like one guy walks out with every prize. Oh, <laughs> so thank you for the donation sublimation. I really appreciate it. I am streaming. Have I gotten the COVID yet? Yes, a long time ago. Long time ago, it's beginning of 2020. God bless, there's so much activity going on in the, the ladder chat, I can't even keep up with my own posts.
Oh, well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Every donation is uh, is very much so appreciated. Plus, I just mowed the lawn, so it feels like you paid me for mowing the lawn. <laughs> All right, I do have one more item to raffle off, uh, I believe, which is a cold skiller. It's a fairly nice one, if I remember correctly. It's, uh, where is it? Hive mats. There it is. Plus one cold skills with 18 life. I think that's the last one that needs to be raffled off. Um... Because we did the Thunder Gods, that one is finished. We did the Aki, that one is finished. Uh, we did the Storm Shield Monarchs, that one is finished. Uh, we did the Full Tail Rashes, that one is finished. Uh, nobody claimed the Nat Set, so if you guys want the Nat Set, so this is the last one. It's the uh, it's the Cold Skiller. Let me go ahead and raffle this one off. We had nine people enter for the Cold Skiller. <laughs> A lot of people want some Cold Skillers, I say. Uh, so that is Militant, number one, Shawmek, number two, Elementalist, number three, Bowie, number four, Crypt, number five, Alchemist, number six, Ooflong Poo, number seven, <laughs> Dubs, number eight, and Destination number nine. All right, this is the last one. Let's roll this thing and let's be done with it. Uh, so let's pull up the website here, put in nine people, and calculate. Shoop. We get number seven, Hu Flung Poo. Congratulations, Hu Flung Poo. All right. I'm happy to get these items out of my inventory. All right, hopefully these people come get their jank. Because it's filling up my inventory crazy. It's filling up my inventory crazy. Um, since nobody has claimed the full Natalia's set, uh, nobody even put in for the raffle, um, I'm going to offer this to uh, chat, to, to live stream. If any of you guys in live stream would like a uh, full Natalia set, uh, and I do know that um, the full Natalia set is uh, is three sockets on the armor, which is very nice. It comes with the claw, of course, and uh, even the boots and the helmet, of course, one full set. If any of you guys want a full Nats set, it's burning up my inventory space, and I would be happy to uh, to give it to you. So if you want to come into GGM1 uh, Password 16, come and grab it, and I will I will be happy to uh, to give it to you. I'm looking at these jankalanks. Dang it. I'm looking at jankalanks. 
A nature's piece. Oh, good. I can use that to farm Neolithac. Hell yeah. I will I will use that for Neolithac farming. For Neolithac farming. It's actually a pretty sweet little uh, little ditty right there. You know what I found the other day, though, Squiddy? I found this the other day. <laughs> uh, I really don't need the resistances, though. Look, I only go down to 84% on lightning, and my poison resistance goes down to, uh, to, to 70 from 80. Like, I really don't even need it, do I? That's the silly thing. Like, the, it's nice, but I really don't need it. The 8% lifesteal and the 5% faster on walk kind of seem like better better than uh, than the, the, the 27 all res. If I had, like, a like a, a poison res charm to throw in here, I could uh, I could balance it out a little bit and just move on with my day. All right, let me take this one out. Pretty sure I had, like, a 10% poison chammy or something sitting around. I usually try and keep certain charms around specifically for um, for balancing out resistances and things like that. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Look at this beautiful charm. I'm going to ask if anybody wants this thing. Junk. So much junk. So much junk in my inventory. A viridian charm of poison. More stamped. More stamped. Ooh, 7%. Nice. An emerald. I'll take an emerald. Yeah, yeah, that's balanced. Balanced as all things should be. All right, we were doing Ubers or something, right? Look at my inventory, it's full as, full as can be. I don't like it. I don't like it. My inventory is too full, and I really don't like it. Yeah, you know where I found it from, Olo Noodle? A random pot in Stony Tomb. It was on stream yesterday. Alright, that gives me a little bit of space. If people would come get their storm shields, that would also help out a lot. I mean, I pinged everybody who won, so hopefully everybody shows up. Come crabs for Jack. Bubbus, what did you win, Bubbus? I thought you won something. Oh, the Arathas, Arathas amulet? Yes, I made that. Sorry, Bubbus. We try. What we trading? Come over here. What else? Let's go on. Huda, 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 huda. This one passive in magic with all res and teleport. 
It's level 70. Oof. No problem, Dragon Speaker. Well, I actually have a tiny bit of room now, so. A tiny, a tiny bit of room. The tiniest bit of room. Tiny, tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. What was I, uh... Oh, yeah, I have this elemental skills uh, charm that I need to give to a elemental druid in the kinship. Um, at kinship. I'm picking crap at everybody today. I hope you love it. Arathus is absolutely great. It's a great set. I'm going to be using it on my, my Zahn as I level up. Alright. Um, I guess we're going to be doing Ubers. I'm going to grab that little Little seven percent with the magic fine. That thing's kind of sexy, actually. I think everybody who has uh, won something is offline, so I'll have to get it to them later. Um, which sucks. The Tal Rasha set, especially because uh, I would like the Tal Rasha set also out of my inventory. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, okay, Deviant, do you want to make a uh, private game for the Ubers? And we'll go ahead and knock those out. And then if they show up, I can give them their stuff later. Just put it in uh, in kinship chat or whatever. I'm going to switch over to my Uber set. <laughs> you could use the tile set while he's away. I'm, temp I'm honestly tempted to let you uh, hang on to it until he shows up because it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's clogging. It's clogging the inventories. Clog a logging. I need, to, I need to go off mule some stuff real quick. Let me go do that real quick while I'm waiting on the rest of this stuff. Just do some quick, just real quick off muling. It'll take me about a second. I only have I only have one other character. I need to go through my other characters and give away some of the stuff and and whatnot. Well, that's not a good sign. Just boot me off, why don't you? It's not like I wanted to play. It's not like I wanted to go anywhere or do anything. It's not like I wanted to put on that dang ring. I'm gonna go back to my house and I'm gonna take my pretty dang mouse and I'm gonna put him in my shirt cause he likes to sleep there and then I'm gonna play with my hair I just rebooted the game I figured why not I can't do create new because I have full on characters, I think. Why am I always at position one in queue? It feels like I see that all the time.
All right. I'm just going to grab some of these items off. I want to make a mist bow for this girl's merc. That's my uh, that's my goal. I'm going to do the concentration aura thing. I think that's a pretty good combination for how I'm going to build this character. Concentration aura should work really nicely. Um, I found her a uh, very nice uh, matriarchal spear obedience with plus three skills. I went ahead and made it in there for her. Freaking came with five sockets, so why not? Uh, she can use this durial shell. Actually, let me put that three socket bone visions in here. I was going to give it to somebody. Um, she's going to be using one of these monarch shields. I can't remember which one, but it's one of them. I know I put one of them aside specifically for this character. It doesn't really matter. And uh stupid little low-level ring that I found for specifically for her. The Nokas and Relic, which I was holding on to for her. The passive skill amulets. Also these boots. Can I squeeze these in here somehow? There we go. That helps out a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright. Alleviate some of my burden. Alright, we're going to do these Ubers. I got no problem doing Ubers. I just don't want to die and lose my EXP. <laughs> I don't want to die and lose my EXP. I think I'm pretty much good to go. Got my Dracul's Grasps on. I got my um, my G-Face. I'm uh, running the Grief and the Herald of Zachroom for this particular build. I'll probably be using either Conviction or Fanaticism, depending on how I need to run. Probably just run Fanaticism for right now. I can use Conviction against Mephisto. That should take care of his negative resistances. Always a little bit slow with Duriel because he freezes you. It would be much faster on any of the others. Alright. Let's go for uh, his wall next. I mean, we can teleport his wall. I'm not I'm not mad I'm not really care about this one. <coughs> like if you guys want to teleport it. The matron was the one that I want to walk. I'm just, uh, there's too many variables, there's too many, like, monsters and doorways and a bunch of other bullcrap that goes on in there. I can't, I, I can't control the variables and I usually end up dying. 
Especially when I you take a teleport right into a bunch of monsters. Can't really do anything about that either. I mean, honestly, with Furnace of Pain, you don't even really have to, um... You don't even really have to teleport far. Like, if you teleported just, like, half the way to, like, a dead zone, it would still, like, give us tons of time. His wall has one shot me before at fifteen hundred health. I'm I'm a little bit higher than fifteen hundred health now though. Oh, that is bloody foothills. That is not correct. Saw a war staff. I had to pick it up for check it for an obsession base. Holy crap, that's actually pretty sweet. Hey, uh, hey, Deviant Brute, check this out. I killed a random monster after we killed his wall because I just wanted to be a douche because he was he was shooting curses at me and stuff. Check this out. Your TP is safe to what? Matrons then? I don't want really I really don't wanna like trust TPs. I'm get I've got I've got uh I've got TP shell shock. I have I have nom T T P flashbacks, guys. You guys don't understand. I got nom T T P flashbacks. <laughs> All right. All right, it's up. Mm. Conviction aura to kill the Ubers with. If you guys are unaware of this, um, just as a, a fun little thing for you to know, um, Mephisto's conviction is canceled out by your conviction. So if you run conviction, Mephisto's conviction will not hurt you. Uh, it's a it's a very interesting little mechanic that you can use to completely cancel out Mephisto's conviction. I have conviction, so I run conviction when I'm killing Mephisto, and uh, just just like that, he's he's done. I ain't a freaking how these guys run away. Oh, punks! I don't like leaving them alive because they just sit in the back and just be douches. Can you hork the bale uh, the bale corpses? <laughs> Can't.
Can you hork the bale corpses? You should be able to hork the ubers. Get an extra torch. No one picked it up. I'll grab it. No, somebody grabbed it. I'm assuming we're moving on to number two, right? They they disabled the EXP in Uber Tristram G series. Just exploits, basically. They don't like exploits. I don't like exploits either, really, to be honest. Cannot connect a server. The hell? <laughs> ay, ay. Yikes. Having trouble joining a game. I would give you a game to join, Agro Skate, but I've got no game for you to join. I seen it too. I saw you uh, signed up as a as a member. What the hell is going on with my freaking jank? Here, I'm just gonna make this game real quick so you can come grab this shield. I'm pretty sure you won the shield. Isn't that what you won? Yeah, I noticed something was going wrong, uh, Deviant. Just give me a second. I'm trying to give uh, Agroscape his storm shield. I believe it was a storm shield he won. I don't know. Yeah, storm shield. That's right. I see. I see it right here. I got two storm shields to give away, by the way. Definitely a lot better than that Moser's Blessed Circle you're running. It's hard to beat 30% DR. I'm having trouble joining your game, Deviant. I don't know what's going on. I hope you didn't... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I hope you didn't make the portals, because I don't know what the hell's going on with your game. <laughs> Alright, let's get this out of the way. I am overburdened. I can't carry anymore. I noticed. I had troubles joining it. Where are you at, 
uh, you're up here. Furnace was last. Or Forgotten Sands was last. Honestly, the tankiest shield that you can get, oh, aggro escape, minus the physical damage reduction, is a sanctuary. I ran a sanctuary on my uh, my tank is on for quite some time. Sanctuary is freaking beast. Uh, obviously, storm shield has the thirty five percent dr on it, which is something that is kind of hard to um, to ignore. But sanctuary is super tanky. It is a super tanky shield. That's like the entire purpose of that shield is just tankiness. The only downside is is that of course you know it um it can roll poorly which is which is a downside And you got to realize that the upside of having a 115 all res shield is basically that you can wear whatever the brick you want. Like, you can literally wear whatever you want to wear. Got to assert dominance over these poor little things. Dude, can you imagine a war cry barbarian with dual, dual whiz bikes? <laughs> Well, that's the beauty of wizard spikes. Both wizard spikes would have increased mana on them. Wizard spikes have some nice mana increases. Alright, which way? Oh, hello. Honestly, if you build your mana up high enough, I don't imagine you'd have too much issue with mana regeneration. I mean, with two with two wizard spikes, you should be okay. Oh yeah, hold on, I gotta create it. One second. I always go in with Sanctuary Aura, just in case I get bum-rushed. It's nice to have the extra resistances. Fiction Aura up for the boss. Mephisto, make sure I'm on the grief.
where the amplify damage is coming from. I want to kill Diablo first, always. The Pit Lords are honestly a bigger threat than anything else that spawns. I don't care. I don't care about the stuff that Bale spawns. Bale doesn't even spawn anything worth even talking about. The Pit Lords are the real nuisance. Mainly because they can't be killed by anybody except for physical damage characters. Gotta click on the body. We gotta click on the body now. We gotta click on the body. It's important. I hate spreading out my damage with zeal. Stupid pit lords. Stupid pit lords being stupid pit lords. Aha. There's a potion on the body and some gold. They are on steroids. I mean, I could kill them. That's not the issue. It's just that they're kind of a pain in the butt to kill. Especially when they start to gather up in large numbers. They can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. I've used one Juvie this entire time. Gotten sales. I mean, Elden Ring is um, Elden Ring. I don't, I don't really know what to tell you about Elden Ring. I feel like the community in Elden Ring is completely different than the community in Diablo 2. Uh, I think that's really all there is to it. People like my content for Diablo 2. I don't really have the same kind of connection with the community as I do with uh, the Diablo 2 community. Um, honestly, though, the, the, the community on Elden Ring is just really toxic. And I'm not really sure that I even want to go down that road. When I mean toxic, I mean, like, you literally can't even use a weapon without being judged that you're using a weapon that, that the community thinks is, a, like, either A, a bad weapon, B, an overpowered weapon, or C, a mediocre weapon. Like, there's no in-between. Like, there's there's absolutely nothing. Like, you literally you literally have... Uh, what's, what's the term? You've got no choice whatsoever in in actually avoiding confrontation with the community. Either you're using an item that they deem is overpowered, and they make fun of you for using an item that is overpowered. You're using an item that is underpowered, and they make fun of you for using an item that is underpowered. Or you're using an item that is mediocrely powered, and they're telling you that you should be using X item that is more powerful. And it's just, the like, the dumbest level stuff. Is this portal safe? I see a bunch of people running in here almost dead. That's what I'll say. <laughs> Alright, good. Alright, let's get this thing made. And let's kill another Uber. Dibababalo. Uber. Dibababalo. Dibababalo. Oh, oh. Do, do, do.
Come on, Mephisto, let's go up here. Mephisto is his first name. It's M E M E P H I S T O. Mephisto is his second name. It's M M E P H I T S T O. And Mephisto's dead. All right, I'm gonna go for Diablo. That's who I love to kill. Three key sets down. We seem to be just rolling through these. Does anybody else in the kinship have key sets? Some Xmas remixes. my helmet at. Oh, nice. A 40% ruby jewel. Screen share in Discord for Torch ID. All right, let's take a look. You have we? another one too, I know. <laughs> I do not have a third. I sold the third, remember? <laughs> but ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Oh, I was just showing off my jewelers. My jewelers, I sold the third, but there's there's the two. I'm hey, so it's a big boss man. All right, okay, first everybody one. Behave. We're getting a 2020 Torch. Oh, come Ooh, on. We got 10, 10, 13 Pally Torch. Torch. Hmm? No, it's a Pally Torch. Hey, it's a Pally it's Torch. Pally. Pally's cool. Does that all work? 1612 Amazon Torch. Ooh, ooh. There you go. Okay, we got to rub it for luck. Of course, I get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to rub it for luck. This is my Sork Torch. I can feel it. Yeah, it's yes! Yes! <laughs> Holy yes! Shit. Hey, not yes! bad either. Holy shit! Yes! That is wild. Yes! That's a very nice Finally! torch. Finally! That's a very nice torch. Whew. What is that it? That sounds exciting. Come on. It's, it's, it's it not only a sork torch. It's an 1819. Nice. Oh, oh, fuck yes. That's one of the nicest things. Oh, I knew I had to rub it for the lock. There we go. So what you're saying is, is you don't need that 2020 Pally Torch anymore. That that one is on the Barbarian. <laughs> on standard. Congratulations, Deviant. Congrats, oh, Deviant. Okay. That's oh, sexy, yeah, dude. Okay, okay so I got two torches to give away to the community. Nice. A 1612 nice. Amazon and a 1013 Paladin. Any of you paladins that have been helping me the last few days, is this better than any of your torches? Mine is currently uh, a 1315. I don't have a pally torch. I got a... Fuck, I don't remember what it is. It's a something 10. Um, I also have a 1611 Zon torch to pass out, too. Oh, and I have a 1612. <laughs> there we go. Well, <laughs> They're making fun of you in live stream chat. They said that was the scream of a madman. Dude, I, look at it's an eighteen nineteen. That is so close. 
Oh, that's that's, I knew that's that perfect. Be my sword uh, torch. I knew that, that is going to be my sword torch. Might as well paladin torch is eighteen ten. That's pretty much perfect. Eighteen ten for paladin torch. That, that's yeah. sexy, guys. I would I would never trade out that torch for anything. That is. Oh, it's not going eyes. anywhere. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations, dude. That is amazing. Now, uh, if you change your mind on that, I can definitely help you find a home for it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, hey, destination. Yeah. Do you have a paladin torch? I have an eighteen ten. Okay. Uh, who are the other I'm, paladins? I'm fairly okay. Grats, deviant. That's crazy. Sorky, 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 sorky. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm gonna be doing this again tomorrow, all day, guys. Farming keys again. <laughs> so, as long as I don't have to spend eight hours farming only hate keys. Yeah, you work on your uh, PvP character. Well, I, don't like only I, I do need to work on my PvP character. Yeah. Oh, I'm still screen sharing. Did I show you my bow? <laughs> I have this one. 15 ED, two attack rating, plus three, four open socket. Oh, my mercenaries out here. We're gonna have this one. Hey guys, it's an 11 ED, have fun. three I'm bow, out. five OS. Yep. Have fun destination. Later, guys. Got my three open socket and breastplate for her. I got my death's gloves. I need the belt still. Don't don't warn him about the volume danger dial. Just show him the the clip and then just just just, uh, just, the just put the headphones head right on his ears and then like when his <laughs> ears start bleeding, it's just that's good. You're just like, yep, that's yep. Uh, you, you, that way you'll know he's at the spot. Like you'll know when he hits the right spot because because his like the blood will just be pouring out of his ear. Oh, I'm sorry. So much excitement. Just I can't right blame out. You, Hey, it's, a, it's nice. How many yeah, torches have we gotten so far? Time. We haven't gotten hardly any sword torches. I think one. <laughs> I, I don't even know if we've gotten one. Have we, we got we got I one and we raffled it off the other day, and they said that they the one sword I talked to that had a torch said that he got lucky and traded for a couple unidentified torches, and one of them happened to be a sword torch. Yeah, we we got one unidentified yeah, torch. That is a paladin torch, a decent oh. paladin torch. Maybe. Yeah, we got one torch, one sorcerer's torch. We raffled it off. It was it, it went to the uh, that person in the kinship named OMG, the one that deleted her sorceress. No. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? She will. She was. Uh, he or she was going to go play uh, hardcore, and they weren't going to play their character anymore. So they just deleted their uh, whole character. Oh, I'm so sad. Who the does only, that? The only sword torch <laughs> that we got went to went to somebody who just deleted their character. Was it a good sword torch? It was a halfway decent sword torch, yeah. Let's make it better. Well, congratulations, Deviant. I'm gonna hop back down to group six and uh, keep on farming, dude. Yeah. Ginger, are there any paladins down there? I'm passive skillers. That's amazing, dude. Oh, I'm sure there's a paladin who wants a torch. I'll just go put. You it can hand it out to whoever you want to. I need to open. My, I'm, I'm gonna wrap one out to the community. Actually, I think all of our paladin mains have a torch, correct? I'm not sure. Does Jack have a torch yet? Well, he's switched over to Iago, sort of, so I'm not yeah, sure if he even he, still he wants I his torch. I haven't seen him on the Paladin at all. Anytime I play with him, he's on Laggle, is what I call him. <laughs> Laggle. <laughs> well, he likes doing his uh, his his magic find. Oh, yeah. And, it's, and stuff. I, I call him Laggle because I can see his barbarian sitting there doing the animation for find item, and nothing happens. So I call him Laggle. He'll scream three times, and then stuff will start popping. All right, let me go check chat. Starbucks. Starbucks. Let me message and see what level his paladin is. The torches are always a, a freaking challenge at the beginning. Eventually, though, oh. eventually, though, everybody starts getting torches, and literally, it's just like, hey, you just we just start trading down at the uh, the placeholders we've been using. Yeah. By the way, what's that Amazon torch? Because it might be better than mine. Uh, the Amazon one. Someone posted it in chat. 1611? No, mine's a 1612. No. Different torch then. Mine is... Why, who's talking? You're really loud. 
Sorry, I think I boosted my volume because people couldn't hear me before. This is gotcha. I can turn you down a little bit. It's not a big deal. Don't touch your volume. I'll, 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 I'll micromanage. Uh, mine is... Where is it? Uh, 12... Oh, uh, yeah, 12, 11. So... <laughs> What'd you guys give me? You guys gave me a 13. Which is better than nothing. So yeah, I have like... <laughs> 52 or 53 Nightmare Cow Grand Charms for you. 52? Or do you want, you want to come into this game and we can... Uh, or I'm actually, already here. Are oh, you already here? Alright, well, I guess let's let's do it then. Let's go somewhere where there's not stuff already on the ground. Let's go to Act 2, I guess. Alright. On Deviant, I got a plus 14 level 18 max damage jewel sitting here for you whenever oh you want. Oh my god. What game are you in? I'm in the swap game, but I can come to you if you want. That's easier. I'm not in a game right now, so. So these are, uh, what, Nightmare Cow Grand Charms? Yep. Oh, there's a bunch of them, Ginger. I've seen your post, and I checked all my junk jewels for crafting, and I had one sitting in there, so. Oh, wow. The swap meet game is. Oh, are you doing crafting? I've got to cut uh, some stuff you can use. Well, I know he tagged kinship in it. Uh, I, I posted it more recently near the thought. It's only like eight messages up. Floppy meat. Got it. Oh, Lord. <sighs> let me go get some. <laughs> let me go get some books over here. Oh, look at all this stuff laying on the ground. There's a ton oh, of stuff Lord. on the ground here. We might need to open this game up to I'm, I'm the, the rest of the Discord. Is. I am going to check these frost burns, even though I know they're probably not 49s. I think they I dropped those, so... Yep. <laughs> I had no use for them, so I dropped them. All right, who am I trading with to get this? I'm, I'm over by the waypoint, Agrazan. Kill, uh, Danger Dow Kill Zone is the one who got it. He's, he's in chat. That's all of them. 14 to max damage. Ooh. All right. First charm. Six poison Low damage over three seconds. It. Yes. Five to 11 fire damage. I know it's going to be really hard to find, and nobody's probably going to come across it, but a plus one to passive for the Amazon. 12% faster. Dex and life amulet. Two. And if it has replenished life, that's even better. Hmm. Well, I'll keep my eye out. 35 to life grand charm. Do I have anything else to drop while I'm here? I was actually looking at, uh, there's an amulet recipe that um, has MDR and PDR on it that might actually make a good crafting recipe for an ES sort. Is anybody in this game with Bellazon? No Bellazon? What? Huh? Somebody say Bellazon. something? Bellazon. The um the only Boazon we have is is uh, my brother. He's uh, special ed. Uh, Ice chunks. My buddy Josh Wait. just messaged me. He has a wind force. Ah, uh, sexy. Your brother is special ed. Seriously? Yeah, that's my brother. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> Twenty seven life. His name is Edward. That's his real name. He also goes by Teddy, but he chose special ed as his username. So. Love it. Okay. That's actually a pretty nice okay. one. Fire resist uh, 29 percent. Life 27. Ruby Grand Charm of Sustenance. That's a that's a decent one. Those are always nice to have around the life the life max resist charms. There's a white phase blade here if anybody wants it to. Plus one defensive auras. Paladin with Dex. That could be what that could be worth a reroll. Alright guys, I'm gonna give away my jeweler's scarab husk of the whale. You're giving it away, really? I am giving it away. Does everybody remember the password we just had for the GGM Ubers game? Yeah. Okay. The game name is Jewelers. Same password. I am and the armor is hidden in the Bloodmore. <laughs> that sounds like get it, a get it before it despawns. <laughs> uh, a a Should, I you <laughs> Should I have been telling you I've been watching the stream? <laughs> I don't care. Whoever gets it gets it. Poison and, poison and bone, not bad. Poison and bone, alright. Right. Correct me. Do ethereal items lose durability in PvP? Yes. 
you yes, hit they anything do. with it, and they will lose their ability. Okay. So this is useless. Oh, then. An another for some reason, I thought a Duriel doesn't lose durability. I'd it's good for mercs. <laughs> hey, Plague, we oh, might have some poison of bones for you, sir. Yeah, Ethereal items are great for your mercenary, but not so hot for you. So nobody's What's that? to take this armor? That's I, I'm trying to work for. I'm right in the middle of this identify thing. I, I, yeah, I'm I had... in the middle of being rushed. You guys know how much a J mod is worth, right? Uh, Ooh, honestly, plus one war cries. Something... Nice. The idea of taking something from the kinship just to turn around and sell it is not my idea of how to use a kinship. So <laughs> now that's I mean... now that's sexy. All resistances fourteen grand charm with thirty five to life. Ooh, nice. That is sexy. That is very sexy. Shimmering Grand Charm of Sustenance. What's up? Another Wait, defensive aura. You can hear me, but I, I messaged you on Kinship Ladder Chat the game name and password for the Paladin Torch. I am over here. Plus one summoning skills with 12% faster recovery. That's nice. 32% extra gold from monsters. Torch to give away, or should I drop it in the swap? I just take it here in the kinship in order to give mine away. Can, it's a, I mean, it's a skiller. With it, but if you want me to raffle it off, I'm more than willing to post a raffle, and I'll just do the drawing tomorrow while I'm online, and I'll stream it to the Discord channel so that everybody knows it's done properly. Yeah, I just I would feel bad if a torch just like disappeared. Oh, the ether. oh thank this? you so much. What is this? I can't pick that up. Hold on. I can't carry any more. So many charms. Fourteen fifteen centaurs, okay. Yeah. We've got some good charms so far. I can't carry any more. That uh that old res uh with life is freaking sick as all get out. Oh my That's god, I'm so carry any up to like getting my pallet in through normal nice What's and up, i finally Fortnite. put a rowl in that Andarials to save my merc 130 attack rating that seems really high i've got some attack rating ones some steel grand charms that are nowhere near 130 why does that seem really high is that like the freaking highest that a steel can roll I know I've seen okay. large Grand Charms roll around 75, so I imagine Grand would roll over 100. <coughs> yeah, most of the steals that I see only roll like 100, like 110. I've never seen one roll 130. Um, also got a uh, plus 4 max, 28 attack rating, 27 life. Grand, it's not a bad combination. I mean, quite honestly, got some pretty nice ones here. That frickin' uh, Shimmering Grand Charm Sustenance is the real winner there. 35, 35 life with all res 14 is freaking godlike. And then you also got several preservers charms. We've got some, um, uh, not preservers charms. These can be, these can actually be re-rolled if you wanted to re-roll them. What, what game are you in for those so I can come and start looking at them for my LLD? What, the, um, the grand the charms? charms. Uh, yeah, we're still in the Ubers, we're still in the Ubers game. Oh. Yeah, the Ubers 3 game. Well. Um, two fungal charms. Those are the poison and bones. Is plague on? We can give uh, we can give the poison and bones to plague. Yeah. What's and then um, game, and then there's a really nice summoning skills GC. I don't know if we have a summoning druid. That's well, actually yeah. password meat. Out of like fifty something grand charms, that looks like there's a good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, <laughs> did I mow the lawn? Um, it's a it it's a uh, good ones. it's a joke die. It's basically I had a I had a hidden notice on my uh on a pole that was like not facing anywhere near the house. It was it was totally hidden, and they were just like they were like oh, oh yeah you need to mow your lawn or otherwise we're gonna come do it for you. But then they like deliberately put it in a place that nobody could right. see it. 
Ginger, these are for your stream community. You can give them away on your YouTube. Stream community? You, what? you don't want the J the J mods, sir? You can, you can give them away to your community. J mods. Sorry, what was the name of the game? GGM Swap? Just Swap. Look Swappy. These, look at Sorry. these beautiful J mods. Oh, uh, with the Y? Yeah. That's why it didn't work. Ooh. I can always just sell them for several burrs and make lots of chains of honors for everybody. <laughs> Wait, you can you can do that too. Whatever you want. We're like we're like okay, let's get some chains of honors for the kinship. Just like everybody's rocking chains of honors the next day. S W A P Y, correct? I'm pretty sure I have a literally a steel charm in here. Uh, two P's. Ah. Uh... See, even I don't know how to spell, and you're confusing me. I didn't make it. If it makes you feel any better. Let's just have a pile of skillers on the ground. Is that what's going on? Well, we identified a whole bunch of grand charms um, for uh, uh, okay. basically for the the group. Like the, we, were, we were doing a little experiment, basically, I think fifty grand was it fifty grand charms from yeah. nightmare cows. That's what I, I have. A, got several skillers out of it. I can throw in. Which, by the way, you need no magic find for. A lot of people don't realize that with charms because charms don't have any whites. There's no such thing as a white charm. So it, they're, they're always blue. So you can literally just walk around <laughs> with 0% magic find and nightmare cows and you can get tons and tons of, uh, of charms. And that, uh, that all resistance shimmering grand charm with the life on it was like a GG level charm right there. Yeah, that is sweet. I mean, granted, it could be slightly more perfect. It could be 15 all res with 45 life. But uh, are you going to quibble over one res and, and like 10 life? A max life you can get out of Nightmare Cows is 35. Did you get any max damage AR Grand Charms? Um, there was one that dropped that was actually kind of a lower level. Uh, let's see. It was 4 to max, 28 attack rating, 27 life, required level 37. Uh, 37 damage. 37 yeah, is too high. the life roll that got it. Yep, that was the life roll that got it. Um, I actually have a really nice one right here. You want to check this one out? I've been holding on to this one for a little while. Max damage attack rating. Oh, level 21. I'm doing level 18 LLD. Oh, I thought you were doing 30. No, 18. So the small charms I'm looking for are up to 16 life and up to 7 mana. And then the grand charms are max damage, attack rating, AR life max damage attack rating life and oh what was the other mod faster run walk yeah it looks like most of my charms are 21 oh then they're 15 7 zan i'm pretty sure i had a freaking life grand uh life small charm that nobody ever picked up i was holding on to it for somebody i don't know where it disappeared to Yep, I need those with man on them, Zan. That's the one. Or maybe this I'd... is uh, currently what my bow looks like. Nice. What are you making in that? Insight? No, that it has a uh, two fourteen max damage jewels in it so far. Oh. I'm doing all max damage jewels in it. All max damage jewels with uh, faster run walk in my helmet. And then I'm doing percent ED and dex in the body armor. And then the shield, if I can find one cheap enough, I'm going to do the... Uh, well, watch out for uh, the... Um... Actually, that doesn't really matter. You're doing max damage jewels, so you're you're beefing up max yeah. damage. There's a max damage jewel bug. I was gonna Vol Volpine Bone Shield of Deflecting is what I'm going for. Two open sockets, and I'll put two 15 IAS jewels in it, or not those, not those. That's too high of a level. Let me look at what I've written down here. So many grand charms. 15 max damages in it. I got a druid skiller if anyone wants it. Druid Summon Skiller. 
Um, I'm not sure if we have a druid summon. Summon, that's the thing. I mean, I I would have I would have thought that with how they did the zoo druid and everything that we'd have a freaking druid summoner, but yeah, or at least somebody that was like fire summoner or something, you know. Yeah, I did a druid non ladder, so I'm not doing one ladder. I've never played a druid. I think the druid though. I'm I'm leveling an Amazon right now for my high level dual character on non ladder, and Cooley, Toshank, and Bowie are helping me finish it out. But I think I'm going to solo build a Windy Boy for high level duels. There you go. Look at okay. that. Play got the two P and B GCs. Very nice. All right. So how far back do I got to go to see my reaction to this? <laughs> he said it was at the hour mark, almost exactly. The hour mark. That was so great. Your ear balls are going to break. Yes. <laughs> ear balls. I didn't even have headphones in, and I was like, oh, oh no. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he says I did. I was here for it, and I had my headphones on. Which is probably good, because I would have woken up the house if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you moved games. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm trying to give somebody something. Also, oh, not, somebody? also not trying to give out passwords on stream that people are using to actually protect their games. Yes. Was that uh, p for me or for someone else? Uh, apparently, Apropos wants the um, the offensive That's skiller me. that I've got. Yeah. That, yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, see, I've got a Steel 116 that's literally sitting in here. And, I mean, I might as well just... If I was going to hang on to a 116, might as well hang on to a 130. Like, 130 attack rating is massive. I don't think a lot of people realize yeah. just how massive 130 yeah. attack rating is, especially when you add in things like enchant and and everything else going on. Like, exactly. I it, know, like 20 goes a long way with me. It gets multiplied. So, like, like let me pop my enchant up real quick, and uh, and then I'll pop up uh, fanaticism, and I'll show you like how much you can multiply this by. So, in other words, do not walk out there with my conviction aura. All right, so check this out. So right now I've got 7,262 with zeal. Put on uh, fanaticism, which is a really low-level fanaticism, by the way. It's only level 11. Now I've got 8,282. And this 130 attack rating charm is going to bring me up literally 1,000 attack rating. I literally go from 8,200 to 9,200 just by putting one charm in. The, the the amount of attack rating you can get from from the multiplication of uh, of various like effects is nuts. Are you the one who wants the uh, the skiller? That is me, sir. The offensive skill. Yes. All right. There you go. Captain. I promise to use my pally for good. <laughs> he doesn't promise. Well, honestly, I'm looking forward to meditatively running Chaos and Bale, so in my insanity, that, that'll prove to help others. In your insanity. Insane in the membrane. Insane, Insane in the brain. In the brain. brain. <laughs> okay, apparently if we ever want to form a rap group, we've got the right crowd. <laughs> Although I'm sure most of us are far too white for that, uh, but whatever. Whoa, 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 wow. whoa. Hey, Ginger, seriously, you're Ginger. If you're it's not whoa, white, whoa, I'm not whoa, me whoa, concerned. whoa. I don't think of myself as white. I think of myself as color challenged, okay? I am I am um, completely devoid of all color. Like I'm just yeah, I'm I, I'm just completely I'm not, and utterly just just like like might as well be an albino. I'm not uh, ginger, however, my doctor as a child kept thinking that I was iron 
anemic or something because I was never enough color. I go tomato red and then I go like glow in the dark white. Those yeah. are the two colors I go. And our friend shall call us Casper. <laughs> I was wearing a white muscle shirt in the summer and uh, one of my friend's kids saw me in that and they're like, oh my goodness, I need my sunglasses. I can't see anymore. He's too white. It's literally, it's literally what happens to me in the, in the in the summer. I like put on my first pair of like shorts in a long time and literally just like immediately blind everyone who comes within range. Like the like a, be a beacon of the sun. My leg hair saves me from that. The beacon of the sun. It burns. It burns. I literally have had people do this, like literally as I walk up, like I literally walk out, and they're literally just like this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I understand. There's a joke comic strip somewhere around about that, where they walk out there and they're like, "Light the beacons! Gondor needs your aid." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm entirely too bald, so I resemble that room. <laughs> the beacons are lit. Look for me, the calm, the coming of the third day. <laughs> oh, random shout out to iBubbles on the stream there, because, you know, he just helped me uh, rush my character just for fun. Not to mention he held on to stuff that I apparently won while I was sleeping, which is even cool. Look at you winning stuff while you're asleep. Well, you know, when you work night shifts, uh, my ability to interact with the rest of the world is was strained before that, so now it's just like, ah, eh, whatever. I don't care anymore. Yep, I feel that. Then the kids show up and it's like, uh, uh, uh. I don't know, I started to realize that um, night shift, like, differentials, it's not enough, it's not enough pay. Like, you try, you like, say you're hungry in the middle of the night and you want to go get something to eat. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going to get something to eat? A, con a, con anymore. a convenience, a convenience store, right? So it's got to be like Seven Eleven or like a twenty-four hour freaking Wawa or some crap, right? And how much? And how much do they charge for like the regular goods? Like a bag of chips that would only cost you like two dollars at the grocery store is like five twenty-nine at Seven Eleven. Like you're paying a premium on everything that you buy just simply because you exist in a in a, a time frame that is not a normal time frame. And they're giving you like an extra dollar fifty an hour, which doesn't make up for all the stupid amounts of money you have to pay for regular objects just because you're hungry at like three a.m. at night. Is well, it like a whole pizza from them that they make and serve if you order like a whole one from them? Isn't it like five bucks? Yeah, but it's like garbage tier. Like it's not very good. Oh yeah. It's a very it's and that's the other thing is like even if you do find a place that serves you something, oh, die in front of freaking steel grand charm with twelve percent fast rate recovery. Even if you do find a place that that'll make you something late at night, it's always just like garbage. Like it, it's not, it's never good food. So much you start doing food trucks you for start, people who work nights. You start to get you start to get insulted too. Like you paid a lot of money for the food and it's not even good. <laughs> it's like you're you're. Thank you. You're forced to overpay for the for the food, you know, as a night shift worker, because they're charging you for the convenience. But then the food isn't even worth the money that you paid for it. It's not even worth half the money you paid for it. I worked uh, audit for a hotel for six years. The Seven Elevens in Japan are amazing. I would not complain if that was the case, but the ones here are not as good. Are they open twenty four hours though? Uh, I don't know. I didn't have to go that late when I was in Japan, so. And then, I, then very, I, then I'd always get a, there. I'd always get offended, like too, because I would go to Seven uh, Eleven, and uh, they would, um, they would not have anything ready. Like there'd be no, no hot dogs on the grill. There'd be no pizza ready. There'd be no nothing, and, and you just walk in, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we don't have anything ready." And I'm like, "I'm hungry though." <laughs> um, yeah. as somebody who's worked in food far too often, you don't want the food that's been sitting there all night. Um, I don't know. The hot dogs are actually pretty good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like it, it uh, uh, like when they cook all I, night long and they just kind of like sit on that little thing and they just slow cook for like five or six hours. Like they're pretty good. I, I 
won't argue the fact that the taste is probably quite there. However, I do have to bring up the whole health and safety thing. Um, and you ain't gonna like anything that goes along that line. I mean, I'll be alright. I'll be okay. What's a little intestinal parasite? Between, well, hey, maybe between, be like between night shift workers. <laughs> when I worked in Vancouver, working nights 24-7, it wasn't that bad because Vancouver in general had a pretty big 24-hour community. Now that I'm back in Winnipeg, yeah, right. 11 o'clock is the latest things are open here. Even 7-Eleven's closed at midnight right now. I know, it just used to piss me off. Like, even even when you, like, are going to work, like, you're trying to, like, you know, just just, just get something for yourself, like, and when you're going to work, and your options are so limited just even getting something on the way to work. And that's before yeah. everything starts to shut down, because most of the places are like, ah, it's 10 o'clock at night, we don't want to be open anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's annoying. My well, wife works in the hospital, that. and the food court uh, closes at like 2 p.m. And uh, she, her shifts normally start at 12 and go to 12. Hmm. It's locked. God bless it, all these locked chests I mean, all over the place. Work in IT infrastructure overnight shift, and I just had to bring my own food. Yeah, that's that's the best thing you can do as a night shift employee. Just always have your own stuff there. Yeah. This, this this public game name is called Brain Free Enigma. That sounds like a great name. I'm sure there's lots of people offering free enigmas. Oh, I'm positive, dude. I bet there's so many people in that game. Somebody, uh, somebody like get a three socket armor and just like put like uh, like something really stupid in there, like like Tal if like am or something and then just drop on the ground for him <laughs> 1911 griff for burr so what's that make my griffins worth Good day. more than mine i'm the 1914 210 defense all right is there anybody in here that just doesn't have a torch yet and needs one for a placeholder Oh, I just found the Kira's Guardian. Nice. I've, I've never found one before. Congratulations. Nice. What'd you, what'd you get on the roll? Uh, I don't know what... Uh, let's see. The resistance oh, rolls between 50, 50 to 70. 59. So, eh. Hey, it's still 59. It's better than nothing. Yeah. Gen and, uh, generally what, what you do... What torch? With... I could use one. Oh, you don't have a torch yet? placeholder for my backup. Uh, wait, what? Placeholder for your backup? Well, my paladin that I want to start chaosing on as soon as I can get it up and leveling. I still need to get a pally torch. It's funny, I have a pally torch. I need a sorcerer torch. I don't have a sorcerer torch. <laughs> yeah, I have an assassin torch. I, I, in my, I think uh, we only have... And... We might only have one sword torch in the kin's ship. Yeah. And it's an 1819. Well, it was. Oh, okay, no, that's right, mine. it is. It's mine. Sorry, Sorry. yeah. I farmed three sets of keys. Yeah, he, he stole well, yours three, and threw it away. Three separate Uber Diablos that I... Or pandemonium events I did, and all three I got assassin torches. I got, we got an Amazon off of one of mine, a Paladin off of the other one, and then I rubbed it for good luck and said this is going to be my Sork Torch, and it was a fucking 1819 Sork Torch. Oh, nice. I clipped it and posted it in Ginger's YouTube chat. Wait, what you did you rub? Watch it. I, I rubbed the Unidentified Annie on my Jewelers uh -oh, of the Whale okay. armor. And it worked? And it worked. <laughs> Need to look at that clip later. He's rubbing stuff on things. I heard it, but I didn't That's, see it. All I heard was he's rubbing stuff on things. Watch yeah. out. Yeah. Watch <laughs> out. That, that's the impression Don't I go got. near this guy. Apparently, rubbing it for good luck works. Keep your children away. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Hide your kids, no, hide your wife. my gold from the barbarian. <laughs> he fills me so fast now. Oh, my. Are you spilling you? What? My barbarian. Yeah. Hit, I, I got that in Nick's so now right he can just go anywhere. These innuendos, man. 
I, I just, you keep losing me, man. You guys are uh, Well, phrasing matters. <laughs> What's up, Joseph? And on that lovely note, I hope you all have great MF luck. I'm off to work. Have a good one. I'm off for the night too. He's off to work with his old friend. I'll Aww. probably have more Ubers for you to do tomorrow, Ginger. All right. I think it was smooth as those. I don't care. Yeah, that's that's what I plan on doing tomorrow. Is just farming keys all day again, filling up with gold, gambling, repeating. So I've got this. I've got this interesting theory that uh, when things die all at one time, like they uh, they tend to drop more stuff. It's like not 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 just not just like dying really quickly in succession. I mean, like actually dying like all at the same exact time. Like I've been playing around with it, like, and uh, and I've gotten some pretty nice items. The other day, I was just like, kind of like walking around, and I would just, I would just let my pulse kill things on purpose, just to like watch everything pop all at the same exact moment. Okay. And uh, I got, there, there were quite a few items, like uniques and various things that dropped like all at the same time. Like I got the Maras around that same time I was playing around with it. I got the. Yeah, um, nice. I got the unique legendary mallet, which did turn out to be um, the the not the good one, the not Schaefer's, but uh, wow. but still it was uh, still a legendary mallet. I got several unique amulets, several unique rings. They didn't all turn out to be great, but it was like I was just letting things die in the pulses, and like and I was noticing that at least like one good item was dropping when like everything died at the same time. Huh. It That's was probably why my drops are so good because I'm Nova and I just destroy everything at once. Very similar. That makes sense. I can never tell if my small charms are off of Nilithak or not, though. It's because not. I just kill him and all his minions all at the same time. <laughs> so it's so hard to tell if I have a Nil small charm or not. The only thing I'm worried about is the dolls. I don't like killing the dolls all at once. No, go away, dolls. <laughs> I don't want to play with you. So many grand charms. Mm. <sighs> All right, gentlemen. I am going to call that an evening. Does anybody think there's going to be a decode overnight? No clue. I can check real quick. Let me know if I need to park at a game or not. They keep spawning them while I'm at work or... Like when I'm not here or when I'm sleeping. Yeah, there were there were two back to back this morning, and I parked a, in a game for the first one, but I wasn't back from dropping the kids off at school before the second one popped. Um, They're rude. PU and Asia are at one, and North America is at two. So doesn't seem like it, but yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. Then my game just crashed. I, since this patch came out, my game cr has been crashing a lot more. Uh, I'm not crashing nearly as much as I was yesterday. That that maintenance has definitely helped a little bit. Oh, so it's probably server side that makes sense. Because yeah. my computer, like, <laughs> can, this game is a joke as far as like uh, system requirements needed. So, I'm just yeah. Thinking, Why is my computer crashing? Yeah, pretty much. A merc can one shot these stupid little dolls. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh, uh, you got flickering flame on him? Yep. What else? What else do you wind up putting on him? Um, a hex fire, an ethereal spirit, and a ethereal K Hagen's wisdom. Oh, nice, there nice. There you go. Which I do need to upgrade the K Hagen's, but eventually. Can never seem to find lem runes. I find lums. I find ios. I find Ko's, I find everything, but for some reason, oh, nice never, knowledge. never lems. Limbs are off limits. I found two mouths yesterday when I was doing my stupid little little uh, thing where I was like, you know, uh, making everything die at one time, and uh, still couldn't find freaking limb right now. I made up my mind. I want to make a, a mist bow for my spear girl. She's gonna have a mist bow. Yeah, that, that mist was is awesome. I got a base for it and everything. I just need to. Uh, Get myself a cham. Another cham. 
Jams are not nearly as difficult to get as, like, the two jaws you have in your dreams. <laughs> you know? I mean, I that, that, the hard part's over, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you, what, what arm are you wearing now? Principal. Oh, okay. I, I didn't see that. What you call it. So, yeah, I had a question about Principal. The uh, Holy Bolts, did they do damage uh, the, on everything in front of you, or just the stuff uh, after your target you're hitting? Oh, it hits the target that I'm hitting. I've, I've tested it with monsters that are immune to physical and immune to uh, lightning, and literally just hit, killed them with the Holy Bolts by itself. It pierces through, it hits everything. Both Holy Bolts hit, because there's no next delay on Holy Bolt, according to all the websites I've found. Which means they're basically getting hit by both Holy Bolts every single time that, that both Holy Bolts proc. It's just added damage to my attacks, which is not not physical damage. I like having multiple um, damage sources. It's, it really yeah, makes yeah. things a lot easier. When you rely only only one damage type, then you're kind of shoehorning yourself into a specific situation. And nobody likes shoehorning themselves in specific situations. Plus, if you're like me, you come across a monster that you can't kill, and you're just like, "You gonna die?" But like, what? Immune to everything? I will find a way. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of that, um, there was this, uh, this, like, uh, old, old TV show, I think it was Hercules, yeah. where, like, they had, uh, the, the god had, uh, had made it so that, uh, the other god couldn't be wounded by any weapon on Earth or something like that, or, and so, uh, Loki, like, took a needle and, like, enchanted the needle, and since the needle wasn't technically a weapon, it pierced his skin, like, you know, like, he found a way around it. Like, in the, on the TV show, they were literally, like, throwing axes at this guy, and, like, when the axe came near him, it would just, like, disintegrate. <laughs> Have I hero-edited a mist yet? Yeah, I've hero-edited a mist. This is for, uh, this is for an online character, though, so I have to actually make one. I think Concentration Aura is going to be the best aura for that particular character I'm building. Because I want her to be tanky. She needs to be able to tank. I'm hoping that she can actually do Ubers. If she's set up properly, she should be able to do Ubers. What's the lowest res the Viper Magic can roll? Is it 20? I think it's 20, yeah. So I think it's, uh, thir up, I think uh, max is, what, 35? 20 to 35, yep. I just looked it up. I'm wearing, uh, 22. I found a 23 just now. Upgrade! Yeah. Upgrade is an upgrade you take. You get that upgrade, upgrade. I'll be upgrading everything all the time. Like, I just found this, uh, this one charm. It was 12% faster at recovery and 116 to like attack rating. I'm like, okay, well that would be an upgrade for somebody who's using only an attack rating charm. Alright. I'm gonna get off for the night. You all have a good one. Everybody's collapsing. I spent all day like farming GCs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a really nice one, so. Yeah. Thanks. Spent all day with the Starbucks people and their the customers that come in that were panicking about the mobile app being down. 
that's something to panic about. It must right. be. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, to tell them not to go to Japan because it's very hard to find Starbucks there. They got them now. They do. Yeah. No. I. I, I took Just me. Not out. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It depends. The big cities have a few, uh, but not nearly like this. It sucks because if you don't have a Starbucks, you wind up paying five dollars for a sippy cup of drip coffee, of like diner coffee, essentially. Yeah. Um, or you just go to one of those vending machines. Right. That's, well, that's what I did option. when I was there. That's the best option. Yeah. Or you just don't drink coffee, you suckers. That's not an option. Yeah. Energy yeah. drinks. It's just just go with energy drinks. You don't need coffee. Who needs coffee? Coffee's for people who like coffee. Yeah. Huh? I'm not even convinced that people who like coffee like coffee. And it's hard to find sugar-free energy drinks there. Because I've, I've actually met people who were, like, totally addicted to coffee, love the smell of coffee. Like, literally their whole life was coffee, and then, like, they needed to get off caffeine for some medical reason. They get off caffeine, and then as soon as they get off caffeine, they don't like coffee anymore. They can't stand the smell of it. They don't like the taste of it. And this is the same person who was, like, like holding the cup underneath their nose, going like, Oh, it's so good. Oh. I can't stand the smell of coffee myself. I don't even I don't even really like walking down the coffee aisle at Kroger. Did two Hell Countess runs hard work on my BF sin? What's a BF sin? It's marginal against ghost packs. She gifted me with an L to tier and an Ith and a Thull. No runes from the boss packs, no good items. I mean, Countess doesn't always give you good runes. It's... In fact, a lot of the times I get better runes from the packs on the way to her than freaking exactly. from her. And that's why that's... I think people are silly when they skip. Like, they just skip everything to go to the Countess. Walk the Countess. Kill all the ghosts. Trust me. Like, I've, I've found Vex runes. I've found Ohm runes from the pack ghost packs on the way to her. Find a hell of a lot better runes from the monsters on the way to her than I ever find from her. Yeah. The best way, in general, to get good runes is to kill everything. <laughs> kill, kill as much as possible. Yeah, Blade, yep. Fury, Blade Fury Sin usually does have trouble in that area, because ghosts are physical immune. You need, a, you need a way to counter the physical immunity. I would recommend a, um, a non-physical damage merc. Probably your best route. Um, you could go with uh, a very easy choice for a Blade Fury Sin would be a Frenzy Barb with a Lawbringer and a Voice of Reason. Then you'd have Decrepify and Ice Spam, which would probably work out pretty good for the ghosts. You always have to think about that when you're talking about um, like a character's weakness. You want uh, you want to you want to cover your weaknesses. You don't want to just be like, oh, well, I can't kill ghosts. I guess I'll just die in the corner. I don't know. I don't even know how people do that. Like it, it's maybe I'm just a obsessive compulsive disorder person, but like to me, skipping a monster is not an option. Like I don't. That's not. Mm -mm. Especially ghost packs that have really high rune drop chances. That's just sadness right there. Yeah, I do notice that almost all the runes I even see drop in Chaos are from the ghosts in there. Ghosts have a limited drop pool, so they have a higher chance of dropping runes. Yeah, if you guys if you guys want to learn how to find runes, I have a whole video going over like everything involving uh, rune drop chances and like how to improve your odds and and all sorts of stuff like that and, and you know what it really comes down to more of the story is you, you put yourself in the right place at the right time and um, hope for the best but uh, if you're putting yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time well then you know God help you kill everything open everything yep pop yes. every chest every basket every Trebuchet. Every trebuchet. <laughs> I got my vex from a trebuchet. So. Oh, in Act Five. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Drop the vex rune. 
There you go. Here's my uh, how to find runes video. It's 36 minutes long. If you've been having trouble finding runes, I recommend you give it a look. Because it goes over everything that you need to know on how to improve your chances to find runes. Is, is it going to guarantee that you're going to get runes? No. But if you follow my guidance on it, you will have a higher percent chance of getting runes than you will ever have not following my guidance. And then at least 50% of it still walk on top of that. Yes. Was it I got out? Other than that Vex, the next best one I found was a Mao Nightmare uh, Worldstone walking to Bale. Holy like crap. Like one of the first packs. 447 attack rating on this freaking blue item. Weird Seraphrod of Worth. Definitely weird. <laughs> that must be the modifier. A weird modifier. God, that's a lot of attack rating. The only thing I've seen with that much attack rating is my middle grid. What the hell does a multi-shot healing monster do? Maybe it heals multiple monsters at once. I mean, they also fire lightning, I guess. Oh, they're going to multi-shot that blizzard. You get three blizzards at once. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be horrible. Calm down, Satan. I remember my summon, um, my summon Didn't Necro. Did say that? He used to have so much trouble with uh, Blizzard because you could, you can't see it half the dang time, and by the time you see it, you're already getting hit by it, and he would just get like murdered because he'd always be running around with like negative resistances. It didn't matter. That's the that's the funny thing about summon necros. You could literally be naked and you'd still do good. But man, Blizzard would freaking they'd cast Blizzard on me all the way in the back, like they would just like single me out, and I would just, I would just die because I wouldn't even be paying attention. I got three hits now. Party, party, and a store. Party, party, come on down. Let's get some hate keys. I'm endurance of hate. <laughs> so hateful. Uh, grand charm. What are you gonna be? Something horrible again, probably. All right, let's let's play with this simultaneous. Uh, Simultaneous death motif. Uh, there's some areas I can go to where literally I can kill like 10, 20, 30, sometimes even 40 monsters at a time. Let's uh, let's play with this. Uh, we'll go to Black Marsh. That's a really high density area. Lots of little monsters. Need, need big groups. It's a simultaneous release! And there you go. Oh, it's unique and a rare both drop from that pack. Doomslinger and a Tomahawk. Ooh, an Amplified Damage Tomahawk with uh, Warcries. It's kind of cool. Well, I just got a ginormous. I found like a hundred of these. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe a too. giganormous axe. What? Yeah. Yeah. The gigantic, unique. I'm just making fun. Does anyone need a Mavina belt? I don't think so. Not that I know of. 
Yeah, we all have these arms, do we? Let's go into the tail me highlands. I still have one sitting in my stash just because it's the only item I have with mana leech in case I ever want to put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> Insight Merc does a good enough job. Yeah, I hate Insight because I feel like I had to roll Insight when I was a Foden, no matter what. So that's one of the main reasons I decide not to be a Foden anymore. It's like I just don't want to have an Insight mer uh, Merc anymore. I, never... I can't keep my Lightning Fury going without it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You just need more mana. I got 400 mana. And mana Insight after... and generates mana... me like 20 mana a second. So. Yeah, mana after each kill works wonders with that build. Yeah, I don't have any of that anymore either. It was actually a pretty good uh, shield. There's a couple different items that have really high mana after each kill. Silk Weaves plus five. The um, Amazon helmet, the Valkyrie wing, has like plus five on it. Yeah, I was using that, but someone gave me a badass circlet, so. I prefer to, to shy away from insight whenever possible. I see it as a as a crutch, and then as soon as your merc dies, then all your mana's gone. Yeah, I I just don't like being pigeonholed into like one build or one piece of equipment every time I play the game. You know, like so that's why I try not to use it. Well, it's not even that. It's just like if you're relying specifically on your mercenary for your survival, what do you do when your mercenary dies? Well, it's the good thing about having 400 mana is I'm not relying on it. If the mercenary dies, I can go for a while and I got pot. But it just makes it so my man, I can do cows and never have to worry about stop throwing jabs unless I run out. <laughs> and I don't really have anything better. But I think I'm going to drop the Act 1 Merc and get an Act 2 Merc because the damage isn't worth it. Found a low rune in the form of a 7% MF5 all res small tribe. Nice. Then after you sold it, you was offered a job by two different people. Well, you traded it for a low rune, really? That's a little, that's pretty low, actually. 7% MF5 all res charm, small charm is definitely worth a hell of a lot more than a low rune. You gotta think, 7% MF small charms are already relatively highly sought after, and when they spawn with any other modifier, um, they're relatively well sought after. Like, if you had a 7% MF with, like, 10 life, it would be worth a hell of a lot more than a 7% MF. And, uh, for a 7% MF to spawn with all res 5, that's, like, one, that's of the, that's one of the rarest items that you can get. Uh, guess what I just found. What'd you find? Two twenty twenty. Oh, two twenty twenty. Nice. Uh, I think three twenty twenty is perfect, right? But that's that's actually really yeah. sweet. It's pretty sad, but yeah. No, that's that's sweet. Two twenty twenty is still pretty sweet. It's twenty life charm. I'm pretty sure I'm using a um. I'm using a twelve percent faster recovery, ten max, seventy three attack rating grand charm right now. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Into the pits. I don't know. My, my main thing about Insight is just that, like, people don't understand how regeneration works. They'll be on, like, a character with, like, 100 mana running a meditation pole arm, or, med yeah, on their Merc. And the and they're getting their the meditation, but the meditation is doing like next to nothing for them anyway. I've even had people complain that meditation isn't working and it doesn't regenerate fast enough. Yeah. And it's like the, you got to understand how mana regeneration works before you start like just slapping on mana regeneration because it doesn't do oh, you yeah. any good. Like fifty percent mana regeneration can be huge if you have a, a good mana pool, but fifty percent mana regeneration with like a mana pool of one hundred is garbage, and it's always going to be garbage. That's why I've got this character rocking two Grand Charms with 49 and 46 mana, and a large one with 8 FHR and 30 mana. 
And then the, the other thing is, is when you're talking about like characters that have ingrained mana regeneration, like like for instance sorceresses, they've got they've got like massive mana regeneration like by default. All you got to do is get mana. That's it. Build up your mana and you're good. You don't need an insight on a sorceress. That's that's the one that really really grinds my gears. Like you do, you definitely do not need an insight on a sorceress. Maybe early game. Not even early game. Just put some points in energy. Believe it or not, a couple points in warmth and a couple points in energy go a long way on a low-level sorceress. The main issue with the low-level sorc is just she doesn't have any mana. And every what does every freaking YouTuber tell you with a low-level sorceress? Don't put any points into energy. Make sure you put all your points into vitality. And what does it result in? It results in a sorceress who can't keep her can't keep their mana up to save their life. But you know what the streamers do? They just buy eighteen thousand mana pots and they just drink mana pots the entire time while they're a low-level character. That, that's that's how they're dealing with the issue. I've never had an issue on my um, ES sorks with with needing insight. She, they usually have so much regeneration from max warmth and plus the skills that. The inside is kind of redundant. Besides, all the mana regeneration in the world won't save you if your uh, if your mana empties out. Because once your mana hits zero, that's it. And the mana regeneration doesn't do anything. It's not going to save you from a zero, a zero one shot. Which used to be more prevalent when energy shield was uh, affected by mana burn. Which it's not really that honestly affected by it anymore. I did I did some pretty conclusive testing, and although it does still have an effect, it's it barely does anything anymore. If you have if you've got like freaking two thousand mana on an energy shield sork. We're running max warmth, you're, you don't even really even care that the mana burn monster exists. Well, mana burn used to be bugged too, right? Where it would like instant sap you or do way more than it should. 256 times its normal value. Yeah. It was like that for what, 15 years? <laughs> more they than that. Never, 20, they never 22. It. Yeah, since, since the last major patch before Resurrected came out, right? 2.14. No, no, it wasn't that long. It's it was a more recent thing, because um, we never used to have those issues way back then. Something happened in 1.13, I think, 1.14. Oh, 1.13. That's what I meant. 1.14 was the last patch. Well, as an ES orc, two of your biggest things are any effect that will hit your mana, your your health points directly without going through your mana. So when you're talking about the blood, the blood curse and poison, which are the two big things that go through your energy shield, um, mm -hmm. cleansing sword. Like get a mercenary that has a cleansing sword, and look, you're not running insight because you have to run a frenzy barb for that or an act three merc. But you now have cleansing, which is going to clear off your poisons and it's going to help prevent poison from hitting your HP directly. The cleansing sword is going to reduce all curse, curse duration by, I think it's like 75%, which is nuts, which means that those those uh, HP curses that the Blood Witch has put on you, and I think Bale puts mm -hmm. it on you too, will be gone like that. I mean, that's why I got I made the plague. I just like, if, if I die, it's because of a curse, typically, you know, so. And it's the same for me. Like, normally when I die, it's because I'm amplified damaged, I'm uh, lower resisted. I'm, you know, there's usually some kind of curse on me that's reduce, reducing my resistances or making me take more damage than normal. And ever since I made the Plague Sword and put it on my Merc or, or on myself, whichever way I run it, it's just like a massive boon to my survivability. But as an ES Sork specifically, the two greatest enemies to ES Sorks are poison and curses. And so you're literally fixing both of those issues by running a Plague Sword. But you can't do that if you're tethered to the inside pole wire. Yep. The inside pole arm, don't get me wrong, is going to help you regenerate your mana faster. But if your mana hits zero, you're already in trouble. And no amount of regeneration is going to save you from a zero mana hit. 
Rock Fleece. I get that. Lagmites. Get that storm shield. What's the first unique I get? Another Mosers. <laughs> I mean, they're great shields. Drop them in the swamp oh, yeah. for people. I mean, Man, two P diamonds I... and those things—they work really nicely. They can also I be upgraded. Moser. Mosers can also be upgraded for really nice effect. The block chance goes up and the defense goes up. It's already got high block chance. It goes up higher. Five socket phase blade, anybody? Anybody trying to make oh. a, anybody trying to make a grief? I straight up just posted one minute ago in ladder chat. I am in need of a five socket phase blade. Well come get it. <laughs> GGM one password wow. sixteen. It's hogging up my inventory, I'm dropping it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped a white one in the swap game if anyone wants to see if it's still there. Here it'll be it'll be at my portal. Cool. Wow, ask and you shall receive. The kinship is amazing. Yeah. I'm really still amazing. waiting on those 25 bear runes. It's been two days, though. You did you did finished. you actually put in a request, though? In triplicate? Yes. In triplicate? No. <laughs> it's got to be a triplicate. Sorry. See, that's where you messed up. All right, come on, Stony Tomb gave me a freaking 27 all res Maras last time I was here. Come on, Stony Tomb. I'm nice. counting on you. What's your magic find? Very low. 63%. Sweet. See, I knew it. When I didn't have any magic find, I found a Shaco. And I've got some if I'm nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm right. abusing the random number generator. That's all I'm doing. Don't pay attention to me. Yeah, it just goes. I had a I had a whole I had a whole argument with somebody one time about random number generators and how random number generators were not actually random, and how you could kind of perceive the pattern within them. And uh, the guy told me I was crazy and that random number generators were too, were in fact truly random. And uh, and I remember right. I remember coming up with this argument. There's a bird. So I don't know if you've ever heard of this bird. Um, it's a bird that literally pushes the egg out of the nest um, of the mother and then lays its own egg in its place. And I can't remember the, I can't remember the name of the bird right off the top of my head. Cuckoo. But the bird, the mother bird, is not smart enough to know that the baby is not hers. Um, it, for all intents and purposes, the mother pretends that it's a real egg. And, and I use this as an analogy for the way that random number generators work. Random number generators are not true randomness. Just like the little cuckoo bird in the in the mother's the the bird's nest is not really her baby, but she's not smart enough to know the difference between the the two. So for all intents and purposes, according to the mother, that baby is hers, despite the fact that it's way too big to be hers. It obviously isn't the right color, the feathers. It literally is pushing the other babies out of the nest, but the mother can't tell this. The mother doesn't know what the hell's going on. And that's kind of like the whole thing with random number generators is, and, and, and don't take this as insulting, but we're not smart enough as people to, to see that random number generators are not actually true randomness. And, and when you're smart enough to perceive the difference, but not actually know what's going on, you can kind of like understand that something's wrong. And uh, especially in these older random number generators, like the ones in this game, which are literally from the year 2000, um, you can see, you can start to almost perceive the pattern after playing for a really long period of time. And um, and you start to understand how it works, and you start to almost like, uh, like, like some sort of compulsive gambler. You start to, like, you're like, okay, yeah, I know it's going to hit big money on, like, on, on like the 10th tenth, the tenth roll or something like that. Like, you, you even, like, start to get, like, these little inkling feelings in your gut. You're like, you're like I know it's coming soon. But, like, I can, I can feel the wave, the random number generator wave is coming. And you even start to realize when you get into the slumps, too, because random number generators have slumps. I'm sure a lot of you have been in slumps before where literally you magic find like the whole day and it seems like nothing drops ever. Like, oh, thanks for the blue Chaco, guys. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I used to um, I used to rely on this in Lord of the Rings Online PvP because uh, Lord of the Rings Online PvP had a um, a crit system, which was really interesting. It was um, you could crit, and then you could also devastate, and a devastate was basically like a double crit. And I had a character that was kind of built around crits. And despite the fact that I only had like a 25% chance to crit, um, I would go into battles and I would literally roll my, my crits on a target. And sometimes I would literally crit every single hit. Because I knew that all I really had to do was just uh, was just keep going until I hit the, the crit lottery, basically. I'd, I'd basically just keep going until you hit that one little, little section of... Um, of uh, the, the random number generator where it basically gives you like a whole bunch of wins in a row. And uh, and I would literally come up to somebody in PvP and I would just absolutely annihilate them from the face of the planet. I even had one guy, I literally, I went up to him and I hit him for some like 12,000 damage in one hit or some crazy number like that. And even I was surprised at how high of a damage number I hit him. And uh, this dude literally like got onto his other character, his his because uh, you know, there's two sides. There was the monster and the player side. He got onto his player character, and he started complaining that I was cheating. I this guy was just standing outside of town, like just barely outside of the border. He was trying to like goad people into attacking him so he could run back and get them killed by the one shots. I literally rode up on my horse and I hit this guy three times with my three biggest hits and I annihilated him from the face of the planet. And that's the kind of like beautiful stuff that I love to do with the crit system in that game. It always it always averaged out over time though, like the crits. Like if you were doing a really long fight, the crits always averaged out over time. But but for short bursts, you could just you could annihilate people. thinking of doing Arcane Sanctuary, but ever since I got my uh, my Holy Shock Auric all beefed up, it just murders the ghosts before they even get close. And if the ghosts die over the void, you don't they don't drop anything. That's right. Do I think that hell, hell Difficulty does technically have a minimum treasure class? Well, Great wouldn't it, my zone. If, all right, for Tesla Den, wouldn't it be better to do like um, I don't know the the, the itches or the uh, buzzards? I mean, there's tons of stuff you can do. I usually end up farming the whole game though, like because there's so many new level 85 zones. I'll just go to like all the level 85 zones. Um, doesn't really bother me. I honestly, I think going to farming an entire game usually gets you more loot than going game to game to game to game to game. I don't know why I'm farming loot instead of getting the XP. I probably should be getting the XP. As I say, oh, if, you're doing X, if you're doing XP runs, I'd like to bring up Arb. That's okay. Yeah, well, I'll, yeah, maybe you, I'll start up some XP runs in a little bit. You just got. You just went through from one bar to almost one and three quarters, just doing what you were doing. Yeah, yesterday um, we were doing kind of like uh, shared shared MFing, so we basically just made a game, and I was running between all the little 85 zones and just killing everything mm -hmm. solo. I think that was really what kind of made it work, was that I was in Players 8 doing basically solo. Um, yeah, the same thing. I think Players 8 solo really does get you a lot more EXP than, than the other way around. But, I mean, everybody was Players 8 solo, right? So as long as you were killing stuff, you were getting EXP for what you killed. So. Yeah, we were just doing that. Two in chaos, three in chaos, one in um, I was in trav, um, because I hit, I hit the ninety six on my bob and that grind, the next grind is just. Are you I'm just looking again. You hit ninety six. Uh huh. I'm just looking again. Uh, do I feel like more bail runs? <laughs> yeah, I hit. I hit ninety five, and then. I got two bars and freaking I died and I lost my steam. So yeah, so you're, steam, you're steam losing. On, on YouTube, I saw the disconnect. <laughs> so nothing, nothing I could do about it. I mean, it's, if it was an if it was an MMO, I would have been tempted to put in a ticket. <laughs> I would have been like, uh, not my fault. Got it on camera here. 
Well, that might have been on my hardcore. I should have, I should have put that in when it first happened. I was going. That's that. That shouldn't happen because I, I did build an ear sock, but was not aware that it took that much because prior to that, every character didn't really use much mana. Last time I played was 1.13 or 1.09, so I didn't have it then. Servers are lagging. You didn't want the patches. Are you lagging, are you? That's interesting. Somebody said, over, yeah. somebody said servers are laggy in stream chat. Well, where are they based? I was actually uh, thinking about doing some gambling here in a minute. You and that, you and that addiction. <laughs> it's an addiction. Well, freaking uh, somebody dropped a whole bunch of gold for me, and then somebody in chat's over here like, I got some more gold you can gamble with. And Guess like, what I'm doing right now. Gambling. I got some gold if you want some. Get more gold. Yeah, well, I've got like literally full stashes of gold here, so I might as well. I know, well. I gave you, I gave you like, what, 7.5 mil? I already had like two stashes full. So you like, you just filled yeah, everything up. Now I'm like completely full. Filling. I think the only thing that's not full is my personal inventory. Yes, I mean, you, <laughs> you need that empty because if you die, it just comes out of that anyway. Oh, there's your little edge bow. <laughs> yeah, let's do some gambling. Why not? What the hell should I gamble? Just rings and amulets? Yeah, go with the amulets. What level are you? You're 95. I can't bring up some nice I'm going to gamble a soge. Why not? More rings. Admittedly, um, who was it? Was it the one up at... Um, Up in Act 5, I don't know, it's actually, what's his name here? Yeah. Geeds, who you're talking to now. No, 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 the girl in Act 4, Jamela, Jamea. seen a few YouTubes where they gambled a, a Cura's Guardian and a, um, what was the other one? Gull Dagger. I wasn't even online earlier. The Soge. I'm going to do some crafting too, why not? Plus two offensive auras, paladin only, 20 energy. Eh, that kind of sucks. That's why it's good for crafting. <laughs> oh, you can't use rares for crafting? I got to 96 and I actually dropped from 29 on the barbarian lane to 33. Someone else is grinding out their assholes. Top of here in 98. Question I had. What's the. If you got just tons and tons of gold, what's the best thing to gamble for? Amulets? I mean, amulets is what everybody usually needs because nobody has, like, a freaking Mara sitting around. And even if you did, there's obviously better amulets that you can get than Mara's. Like, you could potentially get a plus two Sork with, with, like, all resistances and, like, strength and life and all sorts of other crazy stuff. Rares can potentially be better than just about everything that you can. Potentially put around your neck. Cross street would be nice. I mean, Mar don't get me wrong. Cross street and plus twos. Mars is nice, but you know, and then you can also craft too, so you can craft specific items. What difficulty is that game that you're uh, doing the crafting in? Because I have a mule that has like thirty jewels. It's hell difficulty. Um, I'm probably gonna grab the amulets, the because the the ones that I gamble are high eye level amulets. So we're going to use them for crafting. And so basically any of these amulets can be used for crafting. If you guys want to come in and grab some blue amulets for crafting, just make sure you keep them separate from your other blue amulets. Because these are these are gambled by level 95 characters, so they're they're really high, high level. I was just going to come in and drop uh, these jewels off for you and then hop out. Ah. Plus two druid with 78 life. Not, like, super terrible. 78 life is a lot of life. Doesn't have anything else on it, but... It kind of sucks. It's you, need the, you need the jewels for the crafting, don't you? 
I actually have a whole bunch of jewels on a mule, believe it or not. Ah, you did execute him? Cool. Yeah, yeah I, ca I kept all those jewels from the last crafting session we did. Yeah, I got 40 just sitting here. <laughs> just threw gold on the ground. So I got a um, plus two lightning skills with all res 13 and 34 per poison with 30 strength on it. Kind of nuts. Order heart amulet. Nice. If you have to wear something heavy. <laughs> I mean, 30, 30 strength is a lot of strength for a sorceress, and it is all res. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite nice. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, don't, I think that might actually be cap, if I'm not mistaken. I thought you needed your stuff on non-ladder, uh, Deviant. Or did they change it to ladder? Well, rip that. I had my hand at a socket quest on an ethereal ogre, or not socket quest, a uh, cube socket on an ethereal ogre axe, got two sockets. Rip. Trying some rings. We can craft some rings to uh... uh I dropped an ethereal ogre X in the top game the other day. I oh, asked so if someone wanted no one put their hand up, so I just dropped it in there. So much gold. Might as well gamble for some diadems too. If you do the diadems, try Jamela in, in Act 4. Gamble from here. Why is that? Uh, well, from the YouTubes that I've seen, they've people have gambled Kira's Guardian and... Um, what's the other one? The other lightning one. Just a random plus two sword circle. And an, an SOJ from here as well. I don't hate, know why or how. I hate how they convert back to uh circlets. after a certain <laughs> number of time, yeah, it converts back to circlets. Yeah, oh. I've been through billions doing that. <laughs> Makes it a little bit more difficult to actually do the gambling. But then sometimes a circle yeah, changes back to a diadem to it also goes to Tiara as well, I've noticed. Yeah, Tiara is what, what you are after. Not for my Venus, but... Um, Silk Lightning one. Plus or three fire skills, one. a volcanic. Who Druid was looking for that, yeah. That's weird. Plus two traps, mana, and lifesteal with strength. Meh. There's about 40 jewels up there by Charcy for you guys to use with your crafting. The jewels of Charsonation. So much stuff on the ground. I am overburdened. Take this lightning skill sork amulet. I'm gonna post it in kinship just in case anybody. When it comes to amulets, a lot of the times people underestimate the fact that you everybody's using like whatever garbage tier amulet they've got. So when you get something that's halfway decent, it's light to post it. Okay, would you like this amulet that's probably better than the piece of garbage that you have on? That's not bad for a light sword, not at all. That's 30 strength on it, too, which is actually pretty high. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that, 
That's awesome for a source, honestly. Especially leveling up. Like you've said before, 30 strength, that means that's 30 vitality. 30 strength is a lot of freaking strength. Alright. I don't want to drop too many items on the ground because I don't want things to start disappearing. I need to somehow, like... Hmm. We'll just do some crafts real quick and then let's see here let's go ahead and do a blood amulet real quick which I'm pretty sure is a thol rune do I not have a thol rune? I do have a thol rune All right. it's not a thol rune what the hell is it then? Amarin? I think it's Amarin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just remembered. Plus two summoning skills. Druid only. Faster run walk. Strength, life, mana steal. It's not terrible. Let's do another one. Time we're gonna do one of these block chance ones. I think it's the uh, emerald garbage. Oh, I got a plus four Ariox needle, plus two Amazon with six percent life steal. Not awful. Plus one barb with 21% magic find, anybody? For any of you horkal orkers? What's up, inertia? Maybe my first Soge will be uh, <laughs> my first Soge will be a gamble. That'd be amazing. That's Three actually work, guys. that's actually not a bad little amulet. Does anybody want a ten percent faster cast amulet with twenty two to all res? No plus the skills, but still, it's faster cast than all res. Who was it in the kinship that was trying to get up to uh, 40 plus on their BO? They might want that 3 to War Cry's Ami if they don't have one already. I am they probably got uh, one yeah, to, if they're almost 40. That's a nice Amazon amulet. 89 mana? Yeah, I was just looking at it. Does any, I was going to post it in. So I thought, that's why I threw it in the, the cube because I was like, like, I'll hold on to that. The only thing that was missing was some resistance. Mm, not a bad little ring. Any magic finders out there want a magic find ring? 10% faster cast, plus 10 energy, 21% lightning resistance, plus 1 to mana after each kill, and 11% magic find. It's not going to be more magic find, obviously, than an eagle, but it's got stats on it, so you can actually use it for things. I need a better ring, but it's hard to find one better than what I'm wearing. What is low-level dueling? Low-level dueling is um, basically where you kind of cap your character artificially at a level, and you say this far and no farther, and then you just kind of like build your character as best you can under those auspices. An all res 8 ring with 35 fire, 1 strength, damage reduced by 1, and 102 attack rating. It's kind of odd. 
Nice attack rating, though. Hall resistance is 13 ring. Find a Soge, accidentally sell it back to the vendor. Oops. Well, I did gamble a Soge. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Oh, I just sold a 102 mana ring back to the shop. I am overburdened. Uh, Ginger, whenever you're uh, done with the crafting game that you're in, I made an Uber's game to run that torch. What? Hey, uh, does Gage only drop in hell? I forget. I don't remember what the um, eye level of Geeds is. Or the, the TC class of Geeds. I'm checking right now on Silo Spin. like Nightmare, Bale, and Neelathok. Everything else is hell. I am overburdened. Get off your Kentucky bluegrass. Your best chance is Andariel and Hell for Geeds. With no MF, it's a, a better than 1 in 500 chance. 300 MF, one in one in 200 MF, uh, one in 200 chance from Andario. Oh, wow, an all res 30 amulet. Andario, and then Bale Hell, Bale Nightmare, your top three best chances for uh, Geeds. Ooh, a plus two druid with two res. So much gold. Come on, soldiers. Let's gamble some soldiers. Man, not even a rare. Ten percent faster cast with fifty mana. That's kind of sweet. Fifty mana is a lot of mana, especially when you start multiplying it with uh, like your silk weaves and your your frosties and other crazy stuff. Fifty mana balloons out real fast.
Man, not a single rare ring in like a couple sets. My luck is fading, boys. It's fading. Oh, it could have rolled a little better. Um, eight percent level three uh, chain lightning on attack, fifty-three attack rating, fifteen energy, nine to life, forty to mana, and eight percent magic flag uh, ring. Eight percent magic flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me go, we'll link it real quick. What is it? Are you in here? Um, how do I link it to Discord? Yeah. No, how do I link it to Discord? Windows Shift S, and then that allows you to snip it, and then you can cut, just paste it into the chat. What do you think about HOBL compared to Hoto or Spirit for F. Hojitin? What is HOBL? Is that the uh, the Paladin's unique scepter? Impossible. Hand no, I think it's Hand of Blessed Light. Yeah, that's the, the unique scepter. I'm not really sure what to say about the unique scepter. I mean, it, it definitely is a nice option. Depends on what you're going for specifically. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. You said to hold the Windows button and hit S? Hold the Windows, Shift, Windows and Shift, and then press S. Windows, Shift, S. That's the snip, snip tool. Or oh, just goes Windows Accessories Snip Tool. That's too much work. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Control Shift S seems easy. <laughs> when somebody showed me that was a. Oh, how do I enlarge it? Just you paste it. it. We can look at it. Yeah. You put it on a Word document and then play around with it. That's what I do for work anyway. Come on. Qualification document. Yeah, put it in kinship letter chat. Uh, is that okay, kinship letter chat? Just paste this. Paste it right into the thing. Just Control V. The evil cryptic sword for the net. Mm. You don't have to save it or anything. That's the beauty of it. You can just you just Windows yeah. Shift S and then you just highlight it, and then okay. once you've highlighted it, it goes into your your paste, and then you just paste it into the chat. Ah, so there we go. Really, okay. I can't fall the screen in the Diablo window. That actually might be a decent ring for an energy shield sorceress. That's 15 energy, 40 mana. That's like literally, what, 30 plus 40, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's like 70 to mana with 9 to life. And then it also has magic find. Could be useful on a magic finding energy shield sorceress. That's a lot. That's a lot of mana. I mean, it could be more, but it's still a lot. I'll paste in the one I'm wearing. This is why I have trouble replacing this one. This is what I'm wearing. 83 mana. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty yeah. huge bonus to your um, your regeneration rate. It's hard to find a replacement for that. <laughs> I'm going to drop a lot of these amulets on the ground after I finish this, whatever I'm doing here. So it's, it's just going to be a little while. I've got so much money, so much gold to gamble off. This one magic find ring I found, though, is actually pretty sweet. I bet you a uh, sorceress probably wants to get their hands on it. Uh, where is it? Do you want to gamble more? I'm still, I still got money left to gamble. Because I got like 7 mil again. There's that one, and then there's also, um, where's the other one at? Also found this stupid thing, which I actually thought was kind of neat for an energy shield sork. 
And then this weird Amazon amulet, which is actually kind of sexy. A lot of mana on that Amazon amulet. Could be really good for somebody having uh, issues with their mana consumption. If that amulet had rolled a little bit more resistance, it would be awesome. Hey, it's all resistance is four. I know. <laughs> That's like the only thing holding that amulet back. Also got this stupid little amulet. Last What's up, Ryan? What's up? One pally all res. Plus two assassin with a freaking godlike amount of dexterity. Holy crap. You know that one modifier? What is it? Like of, uh, of Nirvana? That usually has like 30 decks. It rolled plus two assassin with 30 decks. I'm not even sure what to think about that one. Plus two Amazon with nothing really that great on it. Another all res amulet. I like to hold on to those just in case people just don't have anything better to put around their neck. Disappearing. Either that or people are picking them up. I want to start crafting some real quick. Oh, there's no more jewels on the ground to craft with. Do you, do you need jewels? I got like. Well, they, the ones that were on the ground probably disappeared. That's probably what happened. Same thing with the amulets. They shouldn't be despawning that quickly. They do. I've got 14 garbage jewels stacked up waiting for crafting. They do indeed, unfortunately. Like, isn't the timer on a magic item like 15, at least 15 minutes or something? I don't know. It's just we've, we've had trouble with this on a previous game. Items were just disappearing left and right. I remember that. Let's try a caster in. Magic items will disappear after 20 minutes. Rare, set, crafted, unique will disappear after 30 minutes. We, we also think it has something to do with the number of items on the ground, which is something that nobody really ever um, figured out or learned about until later. It wasn't until people realized that uh, like the more you items you dropped on the ground, there was like like a specific limit. And once you hit that limit, it just like the items just poofed. Well, dang, I don't have, like, any of the crafting runes. I've got tons of other things, but no real crafting runes. Guess it doesn't really matter about the crowd of the jewels right now, anyway. I think, uh, don't towels go up to rails? Or am I remembering wrong? Oh, no, I remember You're correctly. Right. I got them in order in my stash, I'll tell you. Yeah, towel, rail, or... Oh, yep. Ooh, a plus one Sork with 19% uh, faster cast. Got some mana, some life, some regenerate. It's not. That's a, that's a sexy one. It's not bad at all. 
a little sexy. A little bit. See if I got three more towels to re-roll into. Uh... That's very nice. Yes. Oh, yeah, I've got some ams. I could do some uh, bloods. We'll do some bloods real quick. How many bloods? I got three ams. I think I'm going to level a Foden, but then what am I going to do next, later? <laughs> yeah, the amulets just disappeared in front of me. <laughs> like, they literally, I walked over, they were on the ground, and they just went poof. <laughs> yes, there's some nice ones in there. <laughs> um, No, those were all ones I was going to use for for uh, crafting, but... It's kind of weird. 20-minute <laughs> timer. Ah, there's a timer, isn't it? Yeah. But it's weird that they all... Well, I guess you dropped them at the same time, so I guess it's not weird. Oh, uh, no, I don't have any more rubies. Never mind. Well, then that sucks. I'm kind of going cost it. Yeah, oh well. I don't want to drop these amulets on a swap game. Let's do a let's do a swap game real quick. Yeah, I've got some stuff I want to throw in there anyway. Because I've been using them for trying to craft blood gloves. One's amethyst and topaz. Mm. All right, swap game name is in chat. I'm gonna start dropping some jank on the ground. I've actually got quite a lot of pretty decent amulets, um, a coronet, and some other interesting things. I mean, as far as like whether it's better than what you got around your neck, I don't know, but. We're going to find out. I think you had a pal. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to peruse. There's going oh, to be a lot of good stuff on the ground, so... So have a look. That's the one. I'll take that alley. There's I know I have some more. A trap coronet, that's not bad. Where the hell is that one amulet? Oh, there it is. There's my old amulet, which is freaking godlike. I'm dropping my old pally amulet on the ground, too. Definitely go through these amulets and stuff if you want to, because um, there's there's some really good ones in there. Pally amulets, Sork amulets, some decent uh, Amazon ones. There's all sorts of nice stuff in there. I'm also going to drop this uh, shape-shifting skills GC on the ground if anybody wants it. For a druid. I've also got this really nice um, 130 attack rating Grand Charm. And a 12% faster hit recovery 102 attack rating Grand Charm. And then I also have a 121 attack rating plus three strength. Right, but, uh, put some sh shit into there. Uh, and then uh, I don't know if we have an elemental skills druid. I'm trying to get this elemental skills druid to a charm to somebody who can use it. It's a plus one elemental skills with 31 life. Can I save the AR charms for your barbarian? I mean, if you want to come grab, can you come grab them, Ryan? Yeah, I just checked that one. It gives me like a full 1k AR. What, the uh, 130? 
to 130, yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a couple over here. Not till 7. I'll take some jam of lambs. Nice shadow clasp amulet summoning druid. Yeah, there's some pretty good Come stuff on. on the ground. Make sure you guys go through the um, the amulets and rings and stuff because there's some pretty sweet stuff in there. Yeah, I dropped a couple of plus two sark too. Oh hey, yeah, I didn't know this. He can work the uh, cow king. As long as he doesn't explode. Um, I think uh, Deviant said he needed an Arathus set too. If somebody wants to grab that amulet for him. Here, I'll join the game. I have a few more Arathus, I think, maybe. I'm actually looking for uh, the rest of the pieces. I can't remember which piece I've got on my girl, but I just got the amulet. Also, somebody said they wanted a Cath and Sigil. I don't know who was asking for a Cath and Sigil, but I've got that right here. Yeah, I've got uh, one right here, too. I've got a yeah, I've got the, the Rothas Belt and... Yeah, the amulet. That's it. Yeah. For building a druid, that amulet would be so nice. Yeah, yeah throw that. Don't build anything new. Don't build anything oh, the, new. Uh, the summoning it's druid fine. amulet? Yeah, that's pretty. it's a pretty nice little amulet. Nice, yeah. If I'm build anything, I'll build a pally. Yeah, I got a plus one pally over here with uh, level 34. Plus one Amazon with all resistances, lots of mana. Lore helmet is always great for leveling. Got this plus two lightning sword with 30 strength over here too, if anybody's building a lightning sword. Let me just empty what I've got, because... Um, mustache. Let me move this stuff. Um, there's Whitsons. Movie Hawaiians. Movinas. Graven Spine. Yeah, the rework to the Amazon makes it so that she no, it no longer interrupts her attacks, correct? Plus two assassin. Plus two poison and boon. Oh, someone dropped a decent uh, attack speed with uh, damage to mana. Yeah, the legend. I like how most people join yeah. these things and they're trying to uh, they're trying to drop off their loot. They're like, look, I'm trying to get in and throw some stuff on the ground for you guys. <laughs> it's more people dropping than more people picking up. That's actually pretty sweet. 15% IS with 9% damage taken goes to mana. Hey, is that uh, max damage jewel low level? No, it's a fifty. Oh, okay. Hey, where'd um, uh, where did you uh say the name of the game? In uh, it's in Kinship Ladder Chat. I pinged everybody. It's it's only like four posts up on the ladder chat. Uh, it might be full at this particular point, but um, let me let me drop a couple more items and I'll hop out, and then somebody else can hop in. Trying to get all my uh, inventory filtered out. I 
Hey, let me drop this offensive or as GC. I don't need that anymore. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's that uh, Man of Steel Paladin Amulet. Also found a. Uh, where was it? Oh, there we go. That's it. Hey, stop it! Oh yeah, I got a three sack of bone visage. If anybody needs it, um, for a rune word. It's the wrong one. Uh, what's the strength requirement on that bone visage? It's uh 106. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll probably need like a DM or a tiara or something. 106 is too high. Yeah, so the sorceress I'm making, the shield is like the highest strength requirement on her, and it's like 75. Because it's going to be a tower shield, it's the highest block chance. Did you see that uh, amulet I posted with 30 strength on it? <laughs> I have a... uh, Was that the lightning skills one? Yeah, all rest 13, 34 poison, 30 strength, plus 2 lightning skills. Yeah, I do it's have good. to. It would like increase the lightning mastery, but I think the fire one is better for the build because it's enchant. Oh, I'm just talking about the strength since you're going low strength build. Yeah, I do have a three socket DM if you want it though. K Higgins wisdom. Oh, you do have one. Yeah, I got two. Oh, that's cool. I could definitely use one. I'm trying to put together the Griswold set. I got the weapon and the helmet already. That one's a hard one to get, though. The armor is super easy to find. Yeah, the shield is crazy. I knew I had some more stuff in here I was holding on to. I always look and then I forget to, like, really look. You got a deep look. I can't remember who gave me the Hexfire the other day. Uh, lent me the Hexfire. I found another Hexfire and I wanted to give back their Hexfire. And it's cogging up my inventory. <laughs> the skin of the Viper Magi on the ground. Right, I'm hopping out of here so other people can come in and grab some loots. Ground is absolutely chock full of stuff. Do we got anybody else that wants to hop in on the Uber run? I'll do BOs and tank again if you want. Yeah, what's the... Uh, do you, you got to put the game name in chat for me? Uh, I PM'd you game name, but I'll put it in chat so everybody else can see it. Okay. Large. I mean that's cool. I'd I'd rather just run it with uh, a low player count so I don't die. Okay, that works. It's easy when you can control the circumstances. When you have yes. a when you have a bunch of other people who are not controlling the circumstances, things go bad. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you wanted to do, so I PM'd you instead of just putting it out in the chat. I would like some BO though if somebody wants to come BO me. Yeah, I'll do it again. Sam? I like to smell oh. your pits, man. I'll send you a message then. I like to smell your pits. They smell really delicious. Yeah, I sent it to you. Alright, uh, you boop boop. G face. Beep beep. Uh, I'll let you boop, hit up the beep. portals. Yeah, like four or five different people donated to this cause for the kinship torch. So we're doing an unID'd torch. Yeah, it gives everybody a chance to just roll on it. Let's you see who gets it out of what? what we got 60? Something like that? UnID'd torch? Assassin torch. I'm kidding. Ha ha ha. Do you, uh, do you need any hit keys? Ah, uh, no. We got the full torch right now. Alright, where do we go first? Forgotten Sands is the easiest. We can just go do this. I'm pretty sure without even battle orders. Yeah, I don't need battle orders for Duriel. 
Unless he's just not. Yeah, I gotta gear swap a second. Oh, I can't kill those guys. Kinda just wanna like charge around and see where he's at. I got him. Pull him to you. Looking for me. It takes me forever to kill stuff because my guy's a budget smiter, so I'm not doing much damage. Budget smiter. Oh, I can kill him by myself, though. It gets the job done. My character's not a, is not a smiter. He's just whatever I want him to be. Oh, I know. I've seen your build. It's crazy. Right now, he's literally using fanaticism, and he's still murdering things. He's not even using the dreams. Uh, you could take fanaticism off, actually, if you want to use your other stuff, because I'm running fanaticism right now. Would you call a budget smiter a biter? A b -b -b biter Dude, the fucking... That, that pit lord was stone skin, and I still ripped through him with the holy bolts. It's hilarious. He was taking no physical damage. He was immune to every single element, and my holy bolts were still ripping right through him. I got that elite down. While oh, you were cleaning up literally every bit of trash around him. That's got to be one of the coolest builds I've seen. This isn't even my final form. Oh, I know. I'm going to start picking up some mana potions. Final form of Lancia oh, when goes Saber, in. look at that. The cheese head gone super. Skewer of Crit Yeah. Weird name, Same I don't God. like it. Mm. The new guy turned up. I forgot you could, like, dust this so easily. I should've just came in here on my hammer to... Blood Ravens good? Blood Ravens is the revive, though. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, Blood Ravens, it, it has a revive on it, yeah. Yeah, you can use it to kill Ubers. I've actually seen it done before. You go grab a... Because, you know, they last, the, they last the same amount, no matter what level the revive is. You basically just get five Udars. Because it's level 5 revive, right? Yep. Yeah, you just get 5 Urdar, so you take him in there with you when you go do the Uber, so they kick his butt. It's pretty funny. It doesn't have much purpose other than that, but it is fun to run around on a, in the Amazon with an army. Where's my life tap, Brock?
the character spazzing out. Look at him. <laughs> They're too far away. They're out of my range. My max range. So my character's like just barely within range and he's not hitting him. <laughs> What's that? Spaz. The game doesn't realize you're out of range. Well, that's what's happening is it's playing the animation and then it goes, you're not in range, you can't actually do use this ability, and then it stops the animation. And then it tries to play it again and it keeps doing it over and over again, so... How do you like those heels? They are beautiful. I kind of wish I kept that uh, AR charm. Which AR charm? Ooh. The one you dropped. Well, somebody else got it. This is taking forever. She's still at 33%. 55 mana, 17 life. Alright, so the game name was, uh... Make sure that that game gets thoroughly filtered through. There's a lot of good stuff on the ground in there. Viper Magi, K Higgins, all sorts of interesting stuff. What's this matron dead portal? I don't, want, I don't want any booby traps. Uh, it's just me and her. She's almost dead. Just don't go in the room. There's a boss in there. Have some heals. I'll take all the heals. Makes that super easy. If if both smiters have principle, you could literally just stand on either side of the boss and just heal each other. But no, you have to want to have principle. So me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm wearing a treachery right. and a light plate right now, and it's working fine. All right, hop out real quick, and I'll. Create it. Uh, players one. Yep. <sighs> All right, it's up. None of that yawning. I'm allowed to yawn. I didn't get any sleep today. That's illegal. I made uh, nine videos. I need to get them all scheduled and, and set up and everything, but I made nine videos. No, I didn't know Holy Bolts uh, stopped when they hit hard targets. My Holy Bolt is stopping when it hits the fountain down there. You want to come bow me? I didn't know if I was muted or not. No, I didn't even realize I was unbowed. I'm over here fighting Diablo and Bale and Mephisto all at once. You know, just having three players in there. You know, I can kill them all. Honestly, when I'm by myself, I usually never have any issue. The only time I ever have any issues is when there's like a bunch of people running around. Mm -hmm. There it is. Between getting the eye, the brain, etc. That's fine. Cause you I get can't pick it up. Sweet from that. But these ones you get nothing. Through. Look here, pit lords. Ain't got time for none of you jank. Okay, look, look, look here. You see that? Dead. Come on down, get some dead. Hit you right on up in the head. Come on down, get if, uh, some dead. If anyone's doing some leveling games, I'd like to join. Uh, yeah. Um, after this, I'm gonna be hopping out for some chaos. I don't know if you're low level or if you're in hell looking for leveling. I'm not sure what's going on. But I'm uh. I want to level my uh, Barb. He's 77. Oh, uh, Chaos might not be good enough. Hello, Chaos, my old friend. Well, Chaos will easily do it until level 85. It's quick runs, bam, 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 and quick XP. Right, let me check out this swamp game and see how it's running. See oh. if everybody grabbed everything off the ground or not. 
I don't know. It is still full as fuck. Oops, sorry. Oh, you can probably grab everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because once then you can gamble more. Well, once it's uh, so it's no longer available to join. Oh, I did swap GGM, not GGM swap. <laughs> yeah. I'm too pretty. So funny and so pretty and so witty and so bright. Yep, still a whole lot of stuff on the ground out here. Yeah. Ooh, a corpse more. Who doesn't want to be able to, like, explode corpses? Come on, now. Come on down to explode corp town. We got 40 corpse explosion cartridges. You boy. Rattle cage. Do I want a rattle cage? I think I do want a rattle cage. I was actually thinking about building a, a low-level bow girl for my, uh, for my Zon. A rattle cage would work really well on her. 35% crushing blow. Kind of hard to beat. Oh, a sexy rock stopper. I'll take that as well. Don't mind if I do. What else we got on the ground in here? Some crafted gloves. A spirit shroud. Those things are great. Plus one to all skills. Cannot be frozen. Rotha's amulet through the belts. Rotha's belt, yes. Sexy. So much good stuff on the ground in here. Mm -hmm. It looks like the kinship's pretty much done with it, though, so I'm going to add it up, uh, put it into uh, to live stream chat for you guys if you guys want to come in and start grabbing some of this stuff. We do not like stuff going to waste. That is the uh, that is the kinship creed credo. So stuff going to waste is not uh, not what we like. That's why we like to do these swap games so that we have um, you know people coming in and grabbing stuff. And you can throw your junk away. <laughs> That's why I don't I don't keep anything. I just get rid of. There we go. Alright, so I've uh, opened it up to both the uh, whole Discord as well as the stream. You guys are more than welcome to come in and grab whatever you need. There's tons of good stuff on the ground. Like, literally tons. You just gotta know what you're doing with the equipment that you got. That's really, that's really all it comes down to. It's not about, like, what piece of equipment it is. It's about how you're using your equipment. Like, you could have the most garbage tier equipment, and you could still be clear in hell difficulty. Because if you put it together in the right way, you're going to do well. Alright, what do I want to do today? Some EXP runs, I guess. I guess... Yeah, so if you're starting that, I'll, I'll, I'll join. I'll join, too. <sighs> I don't really want to go do bail runs, so I'm doing chaos runs instead. Game name and passwords in chat. Yeah, chaos runs up front. Do a chaos bail. Chaos bail, chaos bail, chaos bail. Man, I don't like swapping back and forth. It's a pain in the butt. Plus, Diablo we'll seems to give more EXP than frickin' uh, bail does. 
Yeah, he does up to a certain point. You gotta kind of kill him alone. But that doesn't necessarily work because we've got the, this one bar called Navs. He's back up on number 11 barbarians, but he just wants the Diablo and Bale kill for himself in all the runs. And then they leave party, and it's like, well, I'm Nancy 6 2, dude, so. But I'm just sharing with everyone else, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, if you're doing it that way, go with a bunch of friends that want you to do it, don't make it a, a public game. I don't know, the whole, the whole leaving group and getting the XP yourself thing is a little uh, awkward. No, he tried it. Uh, he, uh, I tried it a few times, and because I'm a throw bob, I just got the last hit in every time. So I went, well, fuck you guys. There you go. <laughs> but you were stealing his kills. You ain't, you ain't getting shit. Yeah. Well, me and the four others in the in the group, they were still partied up because he kept doing it. So I kept going to, to chaos and to and to bail and just fucking spamming throw. Constantly. <laughs> and I went, there you go. Then he went hostile and I said, well, come on. Let's go down to Stony. <laughs> and we'll work from there. Because I just level 96, so I didn't have anything to lose. <laughs> went, yeah. Come on down. Lux. I can go hostile while we... Oh, we're killing shit. I hate that shit. It pisses me off. Interrupts you getting into, into town portals as well when you're trying to run. I tried to hostile somebody. I was at one time. I accidentally hostiled the wrong person and then unhostiled them and rehostiled them. It is a pretty <laughs> long. It is a pretty long timer before you're allowed to hostile somebody multiple times. <laughs> like I literally couldn't rehostile them for like. So it felt like felt like five minutes. Nope. This was recently too. Yeah, this guy yesterday was doing it. It pissed me off. And then, mm. I didn't mind him, but he did it to us 20, 20, 20 games in a row. He kept fucking doing it, and of course the other people kept leaving because. They just wanted to level. But that's what we were doing, and he pissed me off. Well, he doesn't want to share. I oh, know he was going, oh, I'm going to hustle on the guy running the pits, and it's like, we don't give a fuck as long as it's an eight player game. Um, we're getting the X. If somebody's running the pits, you get their X. Runs. You get their share. That's right. Um, if you guys want to come in and magic find while I'm exp feel free. Give me some more exp. Exactly. Exactly. If he's doing his thing, leave him alone. But he kept hassling himself. Said, "Well, fuck you. Come out yet." <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay. Now I'm a Taurus. What do you do? <laughs> Pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> Takes me a long time, but. <laughs> And I get there. <laughs> dinny, 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 dinny. Does anyone want a Balrog? Ethereal Defense 726 before I, before I throw it. What's the uh, Ethereal Defense? 726. There's no sockets in it though. It's just Bellrog. Oh, so Skin. close. Just found an Ethereal Man Catcher. It even, uh, it's, a, it's a rare Ethereal Man Catcher. It even rolled with 40% increased attack speed. But it didn't roll with uh, good ED. Ah. Uh. So close yet so far. 
fucking two men could just some way the other day. Somebody hit the last seal. Diablo's over here just like giggling because you're just like wasting all your hammers. He's like, keep casting your hammers, buddy. Keep, keep, keep it on. Keep going, man. It's hilarious. He didn't even hit the last seal. Keep casting your hammers. <laughs> He's just standing there. Freaking burnt wands. Some Saigon's gauntlets. A legendary mallet. He almost dropped the Schaefer's, guys. Almost dropped a Schaefer's. Almost. He almost Wait. dropped a Schaefer's. You couldn't find the password, Dr. Boomstick? For what? Right next to GGM Steam. What are we looking for? And it better not be next to my thing. Greetings. The this swap meet maybe he's thinking about. A mm. hundred small charms from cows. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. And it's a lot of small charms. Hey, actually, I just realized I don't have river uh, portal on here. The two, so it could. TP up. TP Thank up. You. Being a Conviction Paladin is such a crazy, like, thing. If you've never been a Conviction Paladin before, you don't know, like, what's going on. Like, but it's, it's, there's like this whole thing that, like, literally you can't even kill anything because literally when you walk within range of something, you apply Conviction to the target. And everybody else is trying their best to kill everything. Well, <laughs> well, as, well as soon as you apply Conviction to the target, you're not even in melee range yet. And the monster just like immediately falls down, and so it's like everything that you walk over to try and kill just immediately dies. <laughs> and it's almost like it's almost like the frustration of King Midas turning everything to gold. Like you literally, you can't do anything. Like you just like half the time you're not even attacking anything because you're just like you walk towards something and it's already dead before you get there. So that's the thing. That's why um, if you're walking bell and walking the walking chaos. You want a conviction paladin like yours and whatever you're doing there to be leading it because once you do what you do, everything just melts. Well, yeah, but, but then you have to you have to realize that you're not use, well. you're not useless because you almost get this feeling that you're useless because you're not killing anything. Like you get this feeling that you're like, okay, well, I'm not doing anything to help the group. <laughs> But then you have to realize that literally it's your very presence, like that is literally pushing the battle yeah. forward. Oh, we just got a label of Raven lore, by the way. A Raven yeah, nice. lore, nice. It was spider web sash. Almost, uh, almost an arachnids. Almost. The cruel yes. lock. With the pallium there, everything just melts nicely. <laughs> um, you're not running keeps, it with you. Keeps it running you, nice. you you seem to find that pretty quickly. Well, yeah, we I had that happen the first time I ran a um, a paladin. Uh, my my first conviction paladin, my vengeance paladin. It was the last ladder before Diablo Two Classic finished, and um, like we had a Javazon in the group. So like whenever I was next to the Javazon, the Javazon would be murdering, and whenever I wasn't, the Javazon was having trouble. Yes, was running, was kiting. And he's like, "Come so over here." He's like, I need you over here so I can kill stuff. Yes, run next to the pelly. Otherwise, you you actually realize that when when you do a bail runs with that one that you uh, that's built like you, because because. The lightning and the dark souls come up, everybody dies, and you kind of look at them and you go, hmm. But for well, the guys running with you currently, like we did, um, gives them a false sense of, of uh, security Amazingness. sometimes. So, Amazingness. So, and then as soon as you well, disappear, they're like, oh, I guess I can't kill anything. And it's a false sense of security because they think they can actually stand in between dark souls. That's my TV. <laughs> I'm dead. 
Oh no, Bobas. Yeah, but it, I mean, me coming from hardcore, I <laughs> I learn to be cautious at at all times. <laughs> Well, one, one thing that you learn really quickly, even if you're not in hardcore, is don't stand in the damn seal pop zones. <laughs> like, like yeah, half the time yeah, when somebody dies, it's because they're literally standing right in the seal pop zone, and I'm like, <laughs> why are you standing there? Yeah, if they're not familiar with it, but with 2.4, they changed some of the the pop zones up, <laughs> which was cool, and I saw that, um, and I saw the stayed appear on the actual seal, I went, well, that wouldn't be good in hardcore. <laughs> no, DC can literally <laughs> pop on the seal. It's nuts. Like, wow, you're going to die. Pop it, dead. <laughs> I am I get distracted too much, Seth, to make hardcore characters. I really do. You, you guys you guys got some, like, serious, uh, like, attention span amazingness to be able to not be distracted. I'll get distracted. Yeah. I'll get distracted about the dumbest stuff. My phone will ring. Like my girlfriend will send me a message. Um, like my chinchilla will jump off my shoulder and launch into the stratosphere and knock over my green screen. Like there's there is absolutely no way I could ever justify playing hardcore because I will die to the stupidest stuff in the world. Yeah, you're doing what you're doing, and you're trying to concentrate on, on five different things. There, five, six, it gets hard. <laughs> You want to see me rage? Watch me die to something that's out of my control. That's that's when the rage happens. Like, like yesterday with, with the with the disconnect. <laughs> I was pretty mad. I was pretty damn mad about that because that death was not my. That was not my. If that was hardcore, that would have been the end. And for what? Yes. For what? Because of the because the server's not stable. <laughs> well, because they should make an. If it's gonna disconnect, it should be an instant disconnect. On their side first. No, see, and, here, and here's the reason why it's not. And here's the reason why it's not. Because then people would abuse it. So if you were in a situation where you knew you were going to die, you would just you would just force disconnect yourself on purpose to save your life. Yep. Yeah. People do that. They have like kill switches yeah. set up. Yeah, I've heard about a chicken bot, but I've never used it. I just try and. If I'm in real trouble, I leave. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, like, in hardcore, I guess I can kind of understand a, a chicken bot because, I guess, you know, you're you're if you're trying to protect your life at all costs and you don't really care about the fact that it's that you're basically cheating. I mean, you're you're trying to protect your life, right? But I've had people who literally install chicken bots on softcore, and I'm like, and I'm like, why do you have a chicken bot on softcore? That's just going to disconnect you from some runs where you, you could easily have survived it if you just hit a pot. <laughs> and trying to get back into the damn run it becomes a problem. Oh, look. Crappy jewels here. Let's throw something out. I will not be throwing my angelic set out. Always keep the five pieces. Four pieces for. Oh, Angelica's great. Oh. I always get the two rings the Ami, the armor, and the sword for low level. When I begin leveling a new character. But since it's later, I'm not going to use it, but I just can't throw it down. I can't put it down. I actually, wanna, <laughs> I actually want to make a character like that uses Arathas, like end game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make like a full, full Arathas build. Yeah, I saw your, your, your upgrade video on that. I think it would be. I think it would be hilarious. Like what set? What are you using? Uh, full Rathas. It's interesting though when you're looking for it, you can't find it, <laughs> and you don't need it until we drop. <laughs> you go, well, damn it! I was gonna build with that, but. Well, I mean, the beautiful thing the about Arathas is it takes it takes care of all of your resistances, gives you half freeze duration, gives you poison length reduction. Like literally gives you just about everything you need, including increase yeah. to your maximum mana, your maximum um, resistances. I mean, it's like, as far as like stats go, it even it even gives you a huge amount of dex and twenty percent increased attack speed, mm -hmm. and some faster run lock. Like it's it's like a freaking nuts ass set. It's a nice set, and you run that with 
the angelic. Protect waiting. If you melee. So they've put everything in the game that you need to survive the game. You just have to think about it. <laughs> Leather gloves. Think it through. I was hoping somebody was going to grab those. Always ID the gloves. Always ID the gloves. I was going to grab them if nobody else did. Always looking for 220s. 220s are, are like amazing. Even boots is everything. Three socket Balrog skin. 491 defense. If anybody wants to make a tretch. It's not bad. It's not bad. You opened the game to the public, didn't you? No, this game? Coming in here and grabbing it. Which one? No, this club game. Um, let's put it in chat again. I thought you opened it up to the public. I did. Nobody's... Now a few people are people jumping in. <laughs> I'll paste it in chat one more time, though, just because... I don't like things to go to waste. If any of you guys want to join the swap game, it's right there. Lord Amethyst. It's a swap GGM. Password is turtle. Turtle. Am I turtly enough for the turtle club? Turtle, turtle. We got Conviction and a Necromancer are doing lower resist. This is paradise. <laughs> oh, I have Plague on, so I'm spamming lower resistance too. Have to make it Frost Hydra, no! So you wearing your, your jewels now? My do what, what? My dual dreams, dual yeah. Dual dream. Yep, yep, yeah. How's that working? Just absolutely demolishing everything now. Between the physical damage, the uh, low resistance, the conviction, the cleansing aura, the the uh, the holy bolt spam. Like, there's really just like I'm just I, not, there's nothing I come across now that's really even half a half a trouble. It's the build's virtually complete then. I mean, it's there's nothing that I can't kill. I mean, you just saw me in Ubers earlier. I freaking demolish Ubers too. Yeah, that one. This, this character is, is. You could always do that though. You could I don't, I don't do know. That I don't know. This this character doesn't have trouble with doing Ubers or doing like trash or doing. Like, it, like it's interesting. Okay. Like like some people build their budget Uber smiters and their budget Uber smiter can't even kill the trash mobs, but it'll kill the Ubers. I'm over there demolishing the pit lords. I'm demolishing the ghosts. I'm demolishing the the, the mages. I'm demolishing like literally everything that I come across in there. Yes, you have to be be able to kill anything, and that's why I can't. I don't get the whole um the whole enigma thing because I like either charging on a pally while fighting or leaping on a barb. Don't get the whole enigma thing. Like, well, yeah. I I prefer okay. versatility to everything else. Like I don't care about teleporting because I like to kill everything anyway. Um, I, th there's only a few situations where I ever kind of like miss the teleport, and it's usually when I'm like in some Next stupid three. I'm in some stupid location that I would rather not have to walk all the way around when I can literally see the location on the other side. And there's, um, particularly you can see the, 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 the entrance to another area and you've got to run all the way around. But the things you find all the way around is quite good sometimes. The only legitimate reason that, I've, that I have found so far that like where you absolutely need teleport is if you're on a character who's trying to micromanage his mercenary. Or a character that needs to micromanage their, their minions. Like that's that's a real legitimate reason to need teleport, but even then you don't need an enigma for that. You can do that with an amulet, like just a teleport yeah, I've amulet. A, I've got a bob out, a bob teleport Emmy. Because you don't need I to be because you don't need to be rare. micromanaging them all the time. You just teleport on top of the monster, do a little tele stop, and then you back off. Like, then that you can't recharge the the amulet with an ort or a rel. 
No, because it's because it's not a it's not an armor or a weapon. That recipe yeah, is for armors yeah. and weapons. <laughs> yeah, I tried it and I went, mm, gonna have to pay for this. Yeah. I just <laughs> I just put it on my magic find uh, necromancer, who's the one that needs it anyway, and he just demolishes everything and has so much gold he doesn't even know what to do with it. On non ladder, literally, he literally gets so much gold he fills up his entire inventory with gold, even while <laughs> repairing the amulet, like within like twenty mm -hmm. to thirty minutes. That's pretty good, yeah. Cryptic sword. Is it F? It's not F. Two socket non F. I don't think anyone wants it. They haven't claimed mine. Yeah. For, wa socket. for what? Yeah. The F one I had uh, from yesterday. No one wants it. Oh, nobody's claimed your F one yet. Is it? Uh, does it have any sockets in it? No, it's just plain. I mean, it needs to be rolled. Superior diadem. Hmm. How many sockets? One sock. Grand charm. Got picked up so fast. Uh, yeah. yeah. Garbage. The cryptic sword gives four, four sockets from Lazaka, doesn't it? Ooh, One, ethereal bar, uh, berserker's axe. Anybody trying to make a breath of the dying? It's been six socketed. If you're going to be doing it, Ooh, it is uh, actually. Well, it, if you Lazaka, it's guaranteed six. Yeah. You can also roll it and see what you get. Well, I do have a 5F, too, if anyone wants. A death? Yeah, that'd have a death in it. Yeah. I'll post this one in chat real quick, see if anybody wants it. Somebody might be looking for a Breath of the Dying Zerker Axe. I mean, it's a great base for a lot of uh, a lot of different weapons. I mean, you could always just roll it if you didn't want to. Uh, if you didn't want to, like, put it in the in the cube. I mean, uh, in the Larzic, I mean. Death can save you from me. Super dead. <laughs> so for Diablo. That was so fast, I don't even know what to say. We're doing it so fast, it's like the Carbot animations. So. <laughs> I'm trying to create the next game, it's taking a while. They have been taking a while. The servers have been weird. I've been a couple times I went to switch characters, and it takes forever to get back to the character screen, and then it's just blank and nothing loads. I have to close the game out. And they just had mentions two twice this week. Said cannot to connect to server. Hey, I'm out. The... Awesome sauce. The glitch. I'm trying to picture the glitch that that um, they were able to transfer non ladder rune words to ladder. Yeah, it was cool that did a video on that. that. Nice little chomp. Uh, I put that one down myself. I think we have a major server problem. It's not even showing anything in the join game listing. No, the, la the ladder even disappeared. Something very odd's going on. I couldn't actually look at the ladder. Like half I can an look hour at the ago. ladder, but I'm seeing nothing in the join game window. Ah, yes. You're getting the, the other one. They're trying to tell us something. Go to bed. <laughs> That's what the theme is that. 
I should go to bed. I gotta get up in three hours. Guess I'm gonna restart my client. That's a good place for me to call it for the night. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it too. If you're working, um, what's because it's Thursday night there for you guys, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're on a Friday. It's all good. I work every night. I deliver newspapers, so I'm always getting on. Mm. That's going to hit. Yeah, it pays all right. Except for these $5 yeah, pays, gas yeah. prices. Yeah, we, we, since the Ukraine thing, we've been getting our gas prices doubled. We've got an election on right now, though, so... The government takes its excise from the gas tax of 46%, so and they didn't do anything about it. So, meanwhile, they're shutting down fuel plants over here and importing everything. So there you go. That's what happens when you're not when you're not energy independent. Yeah, I feel it hurts when we're sitting at five dollars a gallon right now, and I hear friends from like Germany who are paying like equivalent of like eight or nine dollars for leaves I'm like mm -hmm. holy cow. Yeah we we pay two dollars thirty a liter. Two dollars thirty a liter. That's, 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 you guys and your liters. That's right. Four four point two liters per gallon, something of the sort? Uh three point eight nine. 3.89? Yeah, so that's, what, $10? I only know that. Um, I that on the gallons. GGM Bo-wa-ha-ha-ha? That's the good thing about having a, a, a motorbike. <laughs> you just go, yep. I have to take gas in my car every night. That's cost me $42 every three days to go. Holy shit. I don't. I drive over about a hundred miles every night to look for papers. What you driving? I've got a yeah, Rio. A Honda Civic. Um, Basically, <laughs> little four cylinder, one point six liter. Yeah. Four cylinder. yeah. Mm -hmm. It gets about twenty three uh, to the gallon while I'm driving, while I'm delivering. Dude, when I when I uh, used to work back in Canada, I had this really long drive. I actually specifically bought a car because. Of the gas prices around that time period. It went up to like $4 oh, yeah. a gallon at that time. And I was like, I want a car that's going to, you know, not take my entire wallet every single time I need to go to work. We have a Dodge yeah, Journey that I want to Because it's like double the gas. Mm -hmm. so I just, I, that's the good thing about having, having the motorbike. You put, you take 20 bucks, put it in, and that's four or 500 Ks. That you can go with that needing to fill up again. I'm so happy I don't even have to worry about it anymore. I literally live five minutes from my job. And uh, and, and I've also stepped down to three days a week because I'm doing this mainly now. So for the most part, I haven't really been spending any money on gas. In fact, the majority, the majority of the gas that comes out of my tank is usually when my girlfriend borrows my car. I went on vacation. I went on vacation. I was I was literally on vacation for like almost like 13 days because of the way that my my schedule works. <laughs> I had like a mm -hmm. like a half a tank when I went on vacation. When I came back, I was on E. <laughs> I hadn't driven my car at all. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Did that evaporate or did she use it? <laughs> oh, she drove it a whole bunch. Uh, I just filled it back uh, up. You went like on. Her. You went on vacation with with Ada. Hmm. And you went to watch over the car. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't really vacation. It was more like a work vacation because I'm doing the, you know, doing my my lab on my YouTube channel. I was mm -hmm. technically work. Well, that's that's different than you can claim it on tax. I am claiming it. I am claiming it on tax. <laughs> yes. No, I think to claim your anything on your car on taxes, you gotta have like a. In, a, in the United States, you got it's got to be a work car. It's got to be classified as a work vehicle. Yeah, yeah we used to have that lunch. year, and we used to have that year, and the government shut that loophole, so now no managers or anything drive the the company, any company cars anymore. 
Um, and to, to prove that you use your own car for work, it's got to be outside your normal work hours. And then you've got to keep a diary. And you've got to have it signatory by a justice of the peace that you are telling the truth to save three dollars of your taxes <laughs> for the year. <laughs> it's like, wow, really? Yeah, it becomes too hard. They make it too hard. I and they wonder why they get life. voted out. <laughs> you get voted out next time. It's like our prime minister was in in Hawaii on his holiday while the country was burning. It was 600,000 hectares burning and he goes on holiday to Hawaii. And we went, is that right? Thousands of people lost their homes and you go on holiday. And he tells no one. Hey, they were non-refundable. They charge. were non-refundable tickets, okay? Yes, well, non-refundable, man. Non-refundable. <laughs> Even if you just send his family, that's fine. But from Australia to Hawaii, and the country is burning, and he thinks he's going to get. And here's the other thing. He, he was he was offered Pfizer COVID vaccine. And he took the Yoink. AstraZeneca, which we then had to give away because no one would use it. <laughs> Plus three and cold skills. And they had anyway. Plus so he messed up there as well. Anybody running a cold, um, cold, blah, 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 Merc? Oh, another Arathus collar. A cold Merc or a cold, cold Sorceress? Want a plus three cold skills circlet? Yeah, since I'm an independent contractor and I get paid ten ninety nine, I could I think I claimed like thirty two thousand miles last year for driving. Yeah, that's good. If you're able to I'm having fun with taxes on this uh, on this freaking YouTube channel. Like I've realized that there's so many things you can claim on this. Like if I make a video on a game, game is now yes, uh, we'll game is now up for grabs for, for taxes. I uh, just I'll write that <laughs> off. I, the electricity for my whole entire YouTube studio is separate from my home so the all the electricity yes. is now being deducted i mean like the, that, office chair, your new the rent the rent for this like studio that. is being is uh, tax deductible like i'm i'm having fun with it i'm just gonna deduct i'm gonna deduct separate everything you're like separate electric bill for that or yeah it's a separate electric bill it's built as like the That's it's built as like the garage or something like that huh yeah, I'm having trouble even just creating games, so. Something's wrong. Oh, it's Blizzard. Something's always wrong. So, uh, basically how this looks, it looks like it's one of the old issues where basically creating new games is the problem. If you stay in your existing game, usually you're fine. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start farming this game, the GGM Chaos 5 that was already up. That's gonna kill everything. Everything. I'm gonna kill everything. Alright guys, you all have a good night. I'm getting off. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna get me a perfect Morris today. Then I'm gonna yeah. go and collect my pay. And I'm gonna do, let do, you do, know that don't want to roll. You, you, you just got a perfect Morris yesterday, didn't you? 27. Ah, uh, 27. Well, you know what the funny thing is? I'm not even using it. Nah, I heard that you gave it to someone. Nah, I still got it. Sitting in my inventory. Well, they want it? Oh, I thought somebody... It's just somebody gave me a it. plus two pally with 8% lifesteal and some nice little stats. And I was like, do I really need the resistances? And I like took off the Mars and I was like, oh, no, nope, I don't. Already above max. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. Um... It's supposed to be a walk later on too. They're messing with the servers. No good if they're messing with the servers. What are you saying? No wonder I play this 40 year game. It's not 40 years. This game is quite obviously only 22, sir. Okay. Right. Don't be, don't be, uh, don't be dating the lady higher than she is. That's how you get beat up. 
You tell your girlfriend, oh, oh, what do you look like, 47? And she's like, I'm literally 25. Then her fist goes and through yeah. your then her fist goes through your teeth and out the other side. Yes, you're literally dead. <laughs> Don't date the lady, let the lady date you. Make your money. Make your money in the bank. Going to put that money right in the tank. Because the gas prices just be so high. That they really hit me in the eye. Oh, ghosties. What's up, ghosties? I want you guys to all to die at the same time. Come on, ghosties. A few runes. Runes at the same time. Give me some runes. Runes, boons. I'd like a couple runes. Runes, boons. Don't be stealing my gas. Maybe that's why my tank was empty. Maybe the girlfriend didn't steal it. Maybe it was, uh, maybe, or use it all up, rather. Uh, maybe somebody came and uh, siphoned my gas tank. Could be. Gas is pretty high these days. It's pretty high. Six socket, 15% enhanced crystal sword. <laughs> what? Anybody want a six socket, six 15% enhanced crystal sword? I'll drop it in town for one of you lovely people that wants a six-sisted crystal sword with 15% ED for lulls. Good look at my perfect base, base. Look at my big old mace, mace. Level that be that before dueling or something, wouldn't it? I don't know. I, I thought you just put the ists in it or something. I guess you could maybe use it for dueling. Some ists. Little level eyes with max damage jewels in it. <laughs> level 18. It's on the ground if anybody wants it. GGM Chaos 5, password 16. It's all yours for the price of if free. They, if they can even get into the game. Free 99.99.99. It's free 99.99.99. Come a little closer, ghosties. I feel like stabbing you in the eyeball. On a bit of sweet stabbing. Except you don't have an eye. How may I be of help? Uh uh. Poor server hamster. The server hamster's dead. Somebody poke him and give him a raisin or something. Be kind to the server hamster. He's a very, very, very kind soul. He runs for all of us, keeps our server up, and makes us gold. Poor little server hamster. He has left this world. Poor little server hamster. He did ever got the girl. All he wanted was a couple seeds and you couldn't even fill his food bowl, please. Oh, little server hamster, he's left this world.
I need to sell these J-Mod plates for kinship funds. Make some enigmas. And some other cool stuff. J-Mod. I don't know. I don't even I don't even know where to actually sell them. No idea. Twenty one attack rating blows chunks. What's up, GGM Death? Yeah, that's the worst part about those armors. Like, the only place you're gonna be able to get value out of them is D2 JSP. I don't know how much they're worth. I'd rather just trade them on, uh, trade them for Jaws and Burrs or whatever people want to trade. Ah, uh, Grats Beasel, bub. It's pretty cool. And these ants are driving me crazy. I put Taro everywhere. They just gobbled it all up and they keep on going. Oh. There's so many of them. I don't know if the Taro is ever going to make it to the queen. I might have to put out like a whole freaking jug. Like, do you sell taro by the jug? By the jug. I believe like, sometimes I used to go into the stores and I'd see like those big giant monster like things of uh, glue, like Elmer's glue that you can buy. It's like a freaking like milk jug of Elmer's glue and I'm like who needs this much Elmer's glue turns out people were using them for making slime and stuff they're actually using it as glue Thrasher not ethereal. Five socket, non F. Have you seen the ghost of John? Long white bones with the skin all gone. Ooh. Ooh. Wouldn't it be chilly with no skin on? Still using a Moser's death. Oh, you got your Moser's on your swamp. Who needs to do anything? Just use my weapon in like a cane. I'm gonna hit you in the face. Grr, grr, grr. Put your hydros down. We don't care. Got all these full juvies. I got too many full juvies, guys. Always good for an emergency. Fortnite changes equal one month, or one month equals 200 years of this game. Fortnite is boring, though. I've tried to play Fortnite. I'm really, I was really big into the first-person shooter scene, too. I mean, I played Counter-Strike, I played Team Fortress 2, I played Team Fortress 1, Counter-Strike 1 1.6, Counter-Strike Source, Counter-Strike Global Offensive... Just about every first-person shooter out there I could play. Single-player, multiplayer, fear, all sorts of crazy games. I don't see what people see in Fortnite. It's a really boring game. It's just a bunch of people running around ganging up on each other. And then the building system is absolute garbage.
And uh, let's not even talk about the global auto aim. I literally watch like SMG users snipe a dude who's actually using a sniper rifle from like 800 miles away. Dude's just literally jumping up and down and the global auto aim is doing all the work for him. Mage fists, ice blink, nice little uh, low level character starter package there. Is the ice blink F? It is not, sad. Is that a Tanner Go Rod too? And he dropped three uniques. Freaking nuts, though. Anybody need a pair of Mage Fists? Anybody still not have a pair of Mage Fists? There's always going to be someone that wants one. I'm going to post it. Bringing up assault would be sensible. 96 to 97. <laughs> it seems like a long time. Do I remember Action Quake 2? I don't know about Action Quake. What are you dropping ears on the ground for? Inertia Band? You in PvPing? Having fun with ears? I also played Natural Selection a lot too. That was a really fun game. Natural Selection 1 and 2, those were great. Unfortunately, first person shooter games are not really that great for, uh, for streaming. I have a hard time concentrating on the first person shooter, like, fighting aspect. I always end up getting distracted by stream. You gotta think that when you're playing a first person shooter game, split second. Literally split second decisions are like how you make your you know your character uh, do well and like if I'm looking over at chat talking to chat every five seconds, that's uh it's not gonna help me out a whole lot. I'm gonna be dying left and right. Like chat wants to know whether your butthole stinks. If I hold on, let me check. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh wow, 39% geeds. Sexy, nice. sexy indeed. Mine is uh, is a 15% with bad magic find. Could be nice to swap this one out while I'm uh, not not vendoring items. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice little geeds. Uh, well, we kind of swapped to MF games, Matthew Yates, because we well. We can't really make any games. Every time I try and create a game, it says cannot create game. The poor server hamster died. We're waiting for them to install a new server hamster. The poor little server hamster that could. He ran as fast as he frickin' could. But the poor little server hamster, he died. Let's all send him flowers and bring him a parade. He did his best for five long days and then he croaked he did. Oh, Jeffrey, the server hamster, had a very shiny coat. And all he wanted was a castle with a giant moat.
Sing it with me, folks. <laughs> Aw, you guys are immune to lightning? That's cute. You're not immune to lightning anymore. We're immune to lightning. Say it with me. We're immune to lightning. If you want Opto, you can give me the Shaco and I'll uh, I'll raffle it off to somebody in the, in, uh, in the chat. I'm not going to use it. It's not my best in slot item. I almost <laughs> never, I almost never use Harlequin Crest Shacos. No, the end time I do some, I suppose a Sork and a Hammerdin. And a Foden I could use it too. The problem is, is that, yes, it has plus two skills. And yes, it has some nice stats. But usually you want something else. Like, if you're a Sorceress, you want like a Nightwings if you're a Cold Sork. Or you want a Griffins if you're a Lightning Sork. Or you want like a flickering flame if you're a fire sork, or you want uh, you know if you're a if you're a paladin, you know there's there's better options as far as like melee damage and things like that goes. If you're a barbarian, you got yeah. Ariat's face. If you're you know if you're uh, there's there's tons of different options for every single character that are all better than what the Shaco provides. But it's like yeah, the Shaco would be a good choice early on until you get those things. But then later on, when you have those things, play. it's like, okay, well, you know, I'm a druid that has Jalals. Like, are you going to choose Jalals or are you going to choose a Shaco? You know, it's a... I don't think it's leveling versus magic finding, and on ladder, you're basically leveling. Well, I mean, even then, though, like, um, I mean, if you're talking about magic finding, the Barbarian has that nice uh, helmet that they can do. It's a lot easier to find than a Shaco. Um, I mean, usually by the time you end up finding something nice, your magic find is usually pretty high anyway, even just with your standard gear. Like, I'm running 78% magic find with no magic find equipment on. Like, I'm not even, not even trying, even the slightest. Yes. My bulb has got 30% from my geeks, that's it. But honestly, like, your first 100% is the most important anyway. I think we're changing him from a throw bob and something else. Ugh. I'm using a uh, plague in the phase blade, Matthew. Hey. I mean, I think if you were to really think about which one would be the best one as far as physical damage is concerned, you might want to put it in something different. But as far as speed, if you're going specifically for speed, then the, the phase blade is the best choice. Uh, the main reason for that is because, like, for instance, with my dream, I'm attacking with my lightning damage every single time I hit. So attacking faster means more damage just in general. Um, however, if you're a melee character, like a physical damage character, you'd want a higher damage sword. Maybe not so much a faster sword, but a higher damage sword. Maybe something like a cryptic sword or a conquest sword or something like that. But I mean, at the same time, um, if you're highly physical damage, wouldn't you also probably go with uh, a different weapon? I mean, Plague isn't really set up for physical damage characters. Is it well, a thing? Why, why, why did you change up your principal for what armor are you wearing now? Principal. So you are wearing a principal. I thought somebody borrowed that from you. Now they what gave me think? their principal, and I gave them my principal. Uh, th their principal had slightly better stats or something. I have the signed nice. principal, and it is very cool. He wanted my signed principal. Yeah. That's all it was. That's all yeah, it that was. Had the Godzilla yeah. one. <laughs> It was very. It's very cool. It has a special spot in my in my stash. <laughs> it's gonna raffle it. <laughs> ten bears. <laughs> bears. At very least ten bear. Ten bear runes. All them dang bear runes. I'm, I'm gonna put it. Oh on. wow, that's a really nice charm. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Uh, any sorceress want a really nice fast hurt recovery charm? 
that's uh, that's really sexy for the all your sorceresses out there that need your faster recovery breakpoints. That's good if HR and mana or yeah, it's uh twelve percent FHR with fifty four mana. Four oh, mana, nice. So that it's about the grand charm. You guys got to hit that eighty six percent. That's your goal. So, I mean, that's a that's a pretty nice little do jank there. That was three five percent. Game. I've actually got a couple mana charms. I've got this one that's plus six strength, fifty mana, and then I've got another one that's twelve percent faster recovery, fifty four mana. It's a really nice starter kit if you don't have any s s killers, like lightning ones with life. No, well, it depends on what you're running. I mean, faster recovery is more important if you're dying. I wouldn't worry about yeah. the killers so much as like staying alive. Yeah, but at that level, once you get level past level 85, um, that's when you normally change them up. Frickin' Cyber B donated donated 20 BRL. What is BRL? I don't even know what that is. What is BRL? B... I just realized I didn't B... have my stream open. <laughs> well, my, my stream, like, uh, sort of like, um, what's it called? Dashboard. That's what I would have. Dashboard. I know my stream oh. dashboard opens. Windows dashboard. <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh, 20 BRL yeah. BRL currency where is where is you B where is you you're in Brazil oh cool you know there's a lot of people down in Brazil that play some Diablo a lot of people mm -hmm. I've uh, I've noticed that I've, I've gotten a lot of people from Brazil who uh, who play another storm shield so many storm shields. Gal Gadot is looking pretty good today. <laughs> Follow on Instagram. Nobody yeah. wants the storm shield? <laughs> what, what, what? Nobody wants the storm shield? <laughs> I think everybody wants it. What do you mean nobody wants it? <laughs> it's perfect. For, ah, that's right. I was going to say it, it's perfect for hardcore. Everyone wants, wants one in hardcore. <laughs> God, what did I? Who did I give out the uh, the other honor shield to? Did I go back it in the stream true. and like pull up where who I gave the monarch shields to? You put that on raffle, I think. It's a classic game in Brazil. I believe there was only what five people. Oh, well, thank you, KBL. I appreciate it, man. I'm uh, doing my best to uh, to put out some quality content for you people. Quality content. That's a nice little ambulance I'll say for somebody. Ooh, triangles, gloves. Trangalang, lang, 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 lang. Look at my inventory; it's full again already. God bless it. God bless America. I don't like to be full. Skin of the Vipper Madge. A thirty-two skin of the Vipper Madge. Look at that. Some more triangles, close. Impossible. Canine picker thing. Look at all this stuff on the ground in here. Anybody want a Vipper Madge? A Vipper Madge! Um, what res does it have on it? 30 something, 32 or something like that. That's pretty good. I found one, it had 22 on it, so I threw it away. <laughs> that was a good drop. He threw it away, ladies and gentlemen. Away. He said, look here, soccer. Got essences on the ground. Who's dropping all this giant?
essence of hatred. I wish I had room to actually pick some of this stuff up, but I have uh, I have no room. Room is for the weak. The weak. Oh dang! Two wizard spikes, two hard carver rondels. It's enough to start up another swap meet. That's what I'm saying. You should save this stuff for the swap meet. If I have the room. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll grab some of this stuff up. I've got like absolutely no room. I'm okay. I'm full of I need to like somehow create another mule at some point. Yeah, you guys can come in, sure, why not? GGM Chaos five password is sixteen. Feel free to grab whatever you want. Trap sin charm, I bet you somebody wants that. Yes, and that lacquer plate is actually quite nice. Oh no, there's a, a ghoul in town. Come and knock on my nice. ghoul. Spooky ghoul. He's a ghoulio, ghoulio for sure. He's gonna ghoul all over everything and more. A ghouly, 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 ghoulio. I just want to swing my sword. He just wants to swing his sword. I just want to kill some stuff. He just wants to kill some things. It's really freaking fun. Much money. But he's on the run. You know what? Who am I kidding myself? I'm going to drop some of the stuff back on the ground if anybody wants it. You know, I'll add some stuff to here. Some mage fists. Anybody want some mage fists? Here's an Ath Berserker's axe. Yep. Can't create any games. That's That's ridiculous. You're not getting my cow king solves or my rattle cage gothic plate. I'm sorry, sir. That is just that is crossing the line. Or my ice plank. You're not getting my ice plank either. Don't cross the line, sirs. Don't cross the line. Keep it that. Ah, ah, ah. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up, boop, boop. Back it up, boop, boop. Back it up, boop, boop. He's on fire. Into the cross causeway. Get out of my way, suckers. Who do you think this is? Real life? No, this is a fantasy. Easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. And we found a dust deep, put it on your head, and then we're gonna take ourselves straight to bed. shield. Oh, socks only has one socket. I 
need a key. I need a key, 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 I need a key. I need a key, 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 I need a key, 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 I need a key, 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 I need a key, 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 I might be slightly insane, but that's okay, cause I still have my brain, and never did I want my brain here again, but now I need it, for a little while. Keep my brain in a jar, okay? On the shelf. What's up, Beatums? There's so many Beatums. Beatums, Beatums everywhere. Beatums, Beatums in your hair. June bugs. Fifteen percent ED, three sockets, superior broadsword. This would be fine in these perfect bases. That'd be such a sexy what cult of arms. Does Hodo go in a in swords? It's three socket. I was actually trying to think if there was anybody that could actually use a three socket broadsword with 15% ED though. Like low level dueler maybe? Like there's no level requirement on it. Like a level three? These, the uh, normal difficulty items don't have any level requirement. I just got so much stuff hogging up my inventory already. Where are you trapped by bugs at? In the Kuras Bazaar. They're all immune to physical. Sag. <laughs> and you're a physical zealer? Bugs. bugs can get annoying. Got no problem with the bugs. I turn them into rugs. I squish them down and I walk out and then they gonna dead. Well, you got a really cool helmet and a really cool shield. 521 Archon plate, anybody? 521 is uh, some pretty sexy defense. Three off of perfect. Mr. Perfect. That, that is a really, really sexy Archon Blade. The sexiest Archon Blade, and he knows it. What's the game detail, Sathis? It's GGM Chaos 5, password 16. Our Chaos runs got derailed by the server hamster dying. Poor guy. I'll never make it to 96 at this rate. Ten years late town. I need some attack rating. This is not working out for me. Attack rating is important. So Why don't you come down here and get some enchant from my beautiful enchant mer? Are you in the, you're in the reliquary? Oh yes, studded leather. That's what I was looking for. I've been needing one of those. About to drop this archon plate for it. Ooh, and the mask. Sexy. How did I find both of those items just like that? Those are two very good low level items. Literally planning out a low-level character. I'm gonna drop this Archon plate in town if anybody needs it. I really don't need it. So 521 Archon. 
I'm much more excited about the Twitch throw that I just found and the Face of Horror mask that I just found. <laughs> we did a, um... Oh... It was, I guess it's called an Iron Man event. Mm -hmm. Where we all play hardcore characters. We level up to level 9. And then you go, go hostile. <laughs> and, and then we all kill each other. <laughs> I remember that game. Way back. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're normally on your way to Andario and everyone's going nuts and... <laughs> Everyone's trying to not level up, yeah, so they stay within the levels. rules. Um, it was really, really fun, and I'm trying to maybe uh, get some some more kinship. Um, if you want to organize Iron Man it. events, we've got, uh, we have a events category. Yeah, yeah I'll that's... try and set them up in there. It was really, really fun. It was just late yeah, one because... night, we were goofing off. Because you've got to try and prevent killing monsters to not level. And kill everyone else at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it is a fun game. Yeah, and and kill elite packs to get like a decent weapon or, or whatever, like some rings. <laughs> and not level. <laughs> it was an absolute blast. It was super late after, you know, we did some bail runs or everyone was MFing, everyone needed to just like remember why Chill we played the game. Yeah, exactly, right? We just all had a laugh. It was very fun. Took about, I don't know, 90 minutes or so. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just a bit <laughs> of fun. Usually dead, 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 dead. Was killed by, was killed by. <laughs> and you, and you, you're trying to hunt that person. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, baby. Sorry. It was an absolute blast. <laughs> Mute that. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's done the, the opposite thing. So everybody, everybody um, levels up to level nine, and then uh, everybody hostiles each other. But nobody actually tries to kill anybody. But you all still have to level in the same zone Ooh. while hostile. So you can like accidentally kill somebody, and you <laughs> you gotta like watch out for other players while you're trying to level up. That would be fun. It's like somebody starts killing something and they're shooting fireballs, and you're like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> Chill with the AoE. <laughs> I've actually uh, thought about it one time. I'm like, what would this game be if, PB, if like, um, the, uh, like, friendly fire was turned on? Like, can you imagine right. how, can you imagine how different builds would be if friendly fire was turned on? Oh, in hardcore mode? Holy, that would change everything. Well, for one thing, no one would be running with you. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be running with me? Wow, what's wrong with that? All those bolts. Did you see those bolts coming? Those holy bolts heal. They're healing bolts. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah but except it's friendly fire then, isn't it? Those are healing bolts. I'm not, <laughs> he's not a demon. You're not a demon or not dead. They're healing bolts. It doesn't even work on uh, necromancer skeletons, by the way. No, it doesn't it? No. Nah, necrom necromancer. necromancer skeletons are not <laughs> undead or demons, apparently. I don't know what they are. He's apparently he's not it's actually summoning back the uh, the undead. He lied to us all. Oh God! It's a skeleton. <laughs> like, come on, really? It's like the corpses. skeletons in in Uber Diablo or in Ubers. Well, if you think about it, if uh, it makes it makes kind of sense because he can control bones and do whatever he wants with them, right? So maybe he's not actually resurrecting anything. He's just taking the bones out of a target. And he's just using the and bones like like a puppet. And he's putting life into them. But no, no life, just, pup, just puppeteering. Anymore. Just puppeteering. <laughs> what is that? The Flash's enemy in DC. The puppet master. He, he's like a cleric. <laughs> yes. Raises the dead. I bring life back. <laughs> it's a movie, um, the movie with Pet Symmetry. That's right. The original was better than the remake. Um, after that, it's like, where do you bury your pets? <laughs> not there. My thing about Pet Cemetery was, it's not like they came back to life. 
They were literally, like, the hair was still falling out, and their freaking organs were still hanging out and jank. And like, like, that's not, that's not back to life. Yeah, it's a zombie. <laughs> like, there was, like, was it one, 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 one scene in the movie, she's, like, petting the cat, and the cat's fur is coming out while she's petting it, and, like, that's not back to life. I'm hardcore about a shape shifting druid. I've never built an elemental druid yet. Wondering if I can do that rather than grind the 96 to 97. We have a couple cool elemental druids in the um, in the kinship. They are absolutely a sight to behold. I uh, run when you're running bales, you run into a few of them. It's cool. It's a lot of work though, rather <laughs> than just. Put your finger on the button, smite. Yeah. <laughs> Stand there, have a coffee. <laughs> well, I, I prefer the characters that are much more engaging and fun to play. Figuring out how to do things. Oh, look at these little explodey dudes over here. No, 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 let's not go over there and mess with these guys. My Merc can take care of it. He's You're standing too close, actually, by the way, buddy. Yeah, well, the Mercs can, can, can handle the Stygian dolls. Um, and the, the guy over there was the dancing. You see him? He was trying to. He was trying to dodge. <laughs> that like, blue guy. He's yeah. trying to kill you, man. Like, he hates you me. so much. <laughs> he wants me. you. Oh, Look, here's you. another little pack. Come on over here, Merc. Do your work. Watch him. Watch him <laughs> drop. Watch him drop a jaw rune, and we gotta like get over there and pick it up. Well, what is your Merc wearing? Pretty OP equipment, actually. He's got a, a F K Hagen's. Um, he's running a. Um, an ethereal spirit shield. He's got um, the flickering flame grand crown and ethereal 204 defense. Oh, nice. Not bad. It rolled negative 15 on the enemy fire resistance too, which is pretty great. And then he's also running a hex fire for the plus three fire skills. Is he the enchant one as well? Yeah. So he's, he's given really? out. He's given out some sexy enchant. 425 percent attack rating on his enchant with. 295 to 342 fire damage. And he gives that to... to he gives that to everybody. To the whole group, isn't he? Yeah, so anybody who's nearby, he's, he'll just sit there and he'll cast a chant on everybody. <laughs> That's sweet. Himself, That's me, mercenaries. That. I was actually um, thinking that, because um, I was running the numbers, I honestly think that an enchant merc might be the best option for a necromancer now. Because you got to think, number one, it's going to make sure his mercenaries are hitting the target, which is which is important. Um, number two, it's going to make sure that his um, mercenaries are dishing out extra damage, and that's kind of like one of the really interesting things. Is um, so every single skeleton he has, of course, hits the targets, and every single one is going to apply that fire damage. So if you multiply out that 300 fire damage times what, like 15 skeletons. Um, that's a good fair bit of extra damage per attack rotation. I mean, you got, what, mm -hmm. basically an average of 300 per skeleton times 15 skeletons. That's 4,500 extra fire damage that's being added to your skeletons. I'm not even sure, honestly, that the um, that the Might Aura really even adds that much more. And the other thing is, is that the Might Aura is only adding physical damage, whereas the Enchant Merc is adding fire damage to your skeletons instead, which is allowing your your skeletons to bypass physical immunes easier. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd have to run the numbers, but I think maybe the enchant merc might be the better merc for a uh, for a uh, um, necromancer. You could also put Bramble on him so that he gets the, um, the thorns, because that would also be a really nice combination. Um, you could throw a plague sword on there so that he gets the um, the cleansing aura, which would keep all your your minions and mercenaries alive, like super well. Um, you could even throw on flickering flame, which is going to get you obviously the fire resistance aura. So you got like three auras right there. And then, uh, then on top of that, you could run a shield that has something on it. I mean, uh, there are some shields that have auras on them. I think in terms of budget builds, he's almost a must-have for uh, anyone who needs AR, just because of the enchant. Well, it's a massive—it's yeah. a massive AR bonus. It's way more than a lot of people realize. 
Like I go from when I when he's enchanted me, I go to like nine thousand one hundred eighty eight. But like when I'm not enchanted, like my attack rating is like garbage. It's like two thousand, like if that. Yeah. And you can just hook him up with a couple spirit swords and shields. It's so easy to get him up and going. I mean, I'm running. He's running a freaking hex fire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the funny thing is, is the hex fire gives him extra fire resistance. And the flickering flame caps out his fire resistance, so he's running ninety percent fire. So when he's in the middle of all those fun. hydras, he doesn't die. He's fine. Too yeah. A a mace. Um, I wonder if a demon limb would would add to his enchant. Nah, charges are uh, charges won't do that. No charges won't. Just the damage. Just the fire damage. He would need warmth. Yeah. Um, the only way that I think you can add to his damage would be Enlightenment Armor, which is the Sork Armor. Um, it has plus mm -hmm. one warmth as an O skill, which I think would actually add to the damage of the of the fire. The, uh, the enchant. I don't know how much, but if it gives him the O skill, it should technically add to the fire damage. I don't have an Enlightenment just sitting around, nor would, nor would I want to create one, because it's kind of expensive. I'm it now. Yeah. It's not really a very good. It's not really a very good rune word. Thirty-four all res, low quality royal shield. Does the resistance re-roll when you? It's a royal when you shield. repair it. Yes. Okay. It's still just a royal shield though. Oh. Chuck. Is it? F? It's razor's edge. It's actually a really nice tomahawk. 50% open wounds, negative defense. It's got pretty decent damage. It's pretty cool. It's actually really good for uh, dealers until they get something better. Same thing with Frenzy Barbs. And one of the main downsides of it, though, is it does have a, it's a, it's a one range weapon. It doesn't really matter for Frenzy Barbs, but... For Zeal, you do want that range. You really do. Hailstone fingers. This place is level 85, by the way, so we're just having fun trying to find some cool items. Oh, I'm just swinging my sword, dude. I'm having a blast. Enchant. He enchanted you, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm enchanted. I'm just having a grand old time. There's a Roger down here resurrecting the... Uh, the f <laughs> resurrecting the dolls. Can't lead on them. Oh, come here. You. Think of a DS text. They're not going to be selling any soldiers today. <laughs> I don't even know where they got them all. To be honest with you. No, I've got no idea what what how they got that many in no. such short a time. I feel like somebody's probably duping them, but uh, at the same time, you know, it's it's that's literally what the TAD clone was invented for was the dupe surges. So it just flows so right along get, with the purpose. It's like if you get a million people in the kinship and everyone finds an SOJ, it comes easy. But for them to do it three times in that one day and the same person doing it people are um, obviously donating that's a lot of SOJs they're, they're <laughs> obviously donating um, SOJs to the to the cause they're, they're probably even streamers that are getting people to donate from stream see on hardcore it's even it's even better because nobody really uses SOJs um, you prefer something like a bull capas or a raven crust or even a dwarf's top because yeah, why should you kill everything when you're when you're trying to remain alive? It's better to wear those. And so you lose and the one. But I don't know. It depends on the class. Nine. I could imagine um, soldiers could be really handy for certain classes. Uh, in hardcore, I haven't got one soldier on any of my characters. I found five, and like, I've never used them. Like take the Zon. Oh. The Zon gets incredibly uh, tanky with plus two skills. I would love. Oh, Zon's got Raven Frost and a a Raven Frost Atmos and a um, Dual Leech Rare with Resist. Just needs them because she's a, a Bozon. Javazon's yeah, I can see it. 
I've never built a hardcore Javis on there. Ouch. I mean, if you're trying to be a, the tankiest character that you can possibly be, I, I, I literally have made some characters that were so tanky they literally could just walk around and just laugh or whatever Ooh. they came across. But <laughs> that thing. But good luck, <laughs> but good luck actually killing stuff. Like that's that's kind of like the whole balance there is you've got to actually be able to kill things. That's one of the things that I'm actually worried about with my my spears on when I make her. I'm not worried about her surviving. She's probably not she'll, gonna die to anything ever. Like yeah, she's she'll avoid it. She's probably going to be literally so tanky that it's ridiculous. And 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 the, if she dies, it's going to be like some freak occurrence of bad rolls, like just like a way too many bad rolls in a row. Because she's going to have. That next letter? No, I'm gonna do. I'm doing it now. I'm just it's in a in a little bit. I just wanted to have a second I, character so that like when I do Ubers and stuff like that, I can just be like, okay, well, uh, I'll come help you with Ubers, but I'm gonna help you on this character so I don't lose the XP. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna use spears on that one because I was gonna build a paladin. Yeah, mine's gonna be a spears on. She's gonna be the tankiest spears on that ever existed. She's gonna have. I'm gonna make sure that she has some nice resistances as well. She may actually end up using a full Aratha set. I might upgrade the Arathas. And socket the helmet and everything. We'll, we'll see. I am actually. I really don't feel like grinding from 96 to 97. <laughs> really then. Just gonna do some. Basically, I'm gonna run him continuously on. on. Um, on Trav runs and Tomb runs for um, Magic Find. You just and... finished your spears on? No, no, my somebody, my, in, somebody in chat. Ah, someone else. So yours was really good. I mean, that was a that was a melee zon who wasn't really focused on like what I wanted to focus on. I was having was a fucking like wrecking blast. man. <laughs> oh yeah, she was wrecking. Oh yeah, she hit really hard and she did a lot of damage. And was tanking a fair bit too. Yeah, I mean, the goal, though, however, is, is to get, like, I want to get her high enough in damage so that she can literally just, like, sword and board everything, <laughs> basically. Yes. So she's yes, going to so be, you... she'll be, she'll literally be just be blocking everything, and if she's not blocking it, she'll be dodging it, avoiding it, or evading it. And if she doesn't dodge, avoid, or evade it, like, she's going to have enough defenses that literally she can just stand there and laugh. Her her whole goal is just to be as tanky as humanly possible, and uh, and, and she'll obviously be utilizing crushing blow and open wounds and things like that. Mhm. Mm I, I was kind of just having, just goofing off and having a laugh thinking about a Valkyrie zon that focused purely on the passive tree, like a I guess a passive zon. I've already done it. Okay. Yeah, and... I'll quiz your your tank. My last uh, on non ladder, I actually have a character. Her name is is GGM Sapphire, and she literally just she, that's all she does. She just she's totally passive. She hasn't put a point into anything other than passives, and uh, she utilizes the uh, T God's vigor so that she can use lightning furies, and she utilizes the um, Mage Wrath so that she has guided arrow, but she doesn't actually have points in anything. And her Valkyrie is like freaking level 50 or some crazy number like that and kills everything. Yeah, it seems just like a lot of fun. And you just stand around and your Valkyrie kills almost like a summon Amazon. No, no, I've done it. It's it, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. The, I, I and then the goal is, is to beef up your, your Valkyrie. So, you, uh, so I even put like a Faith Bow on my Merc just so that my Valkyrie could attack faster. <laughs> Well, we have mist now too, so we can beef up her damage. Well, that's one of the things this tank is on is going to do is because she's going to be so hefty in uh, in all the passives, and she's probably going to run passive charms and and whatnot. She's she's probably going to have a high level Valkyrie as well. That'll be so. That'll be fun. Because one one thing that a lot of people don't realize is no matter how tanky your character is, if you have to take all the damage yourself, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to kill things. You know. But uh, but if you have a, a very tanky mercenary or um, or you know, minion with you who you can split the damage between, that's fifty percent less damage that you have to take. And, uh, and so so that's part of the tanking the tankiness of her. She's going to have a very tanky Valkyrie that can come along with her. That sounds like a lot of fun. 
I mean, just in general, she's not going to have any problem, like, dying or killing things. Or I'm pretty sure that the way if I set her up properly, she shouldn't even have any trouble with anything in the game. About the only thing that's, that's probably going to be even slightly difficult is the physical immunes. I'm not exactly sure how I want to deal with that, but I'll, I'll come to that. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So you'll be having lightning... Um... Nah, because any any points I put in it, any points I put into anything other than the, the passive tree is going to take away from her tankiness. So she's pretty much just going to be twenty fend, twenty jab, one point impale. That's 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 her general. That's the general gist of her points that are not going into the passive tree. Everything else is going to be in the passive tree. I'm probably not going to build decoy because I'm not really too worried about making the Valkyrie like super tanky. So decoy is probably going to get just one point. The Valkyrie will get 20 points, though. Because I want to make sure that the Valkyrie is as tanky as she can be. I mean, you could rely on your Merc for the, for the Fizz Immunes. And I was thinking about that. So I was thinking about an Ice Girl, which was the reason why I chose the Mist Bow. So what I was going to do was I was going to use the Mist Bow on her, and then I was going to beef up her cold damage as much as possible. Um, so that that's my like alternative. The mist bow is awesome. It's really cool. Yeah, I got a base for it. I just need to uh, just need to grab the runes. Well, I I I have no problem at the very least lending you mine. Uh, I believe Morbius also has a mist bow girl going on. Mist bow girl. And she's great. She, like, I can just stand around in cows in yeah. high player count as well. Yeah, and she'll just take care of everything. Because freezing arrows are awesome. And when you give them pierce, it multiplies their damage. And I tell people this all the time when they when they go to use a uh, freezing arrows on a uh, rogue merc. I'm like, you got to get her some, some piercing. Like, it, it multiplies their damage so much. Like, you got to get them some freaking piercing. And Mist, Mist Bow has 100% piercing on it, so. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. But if you're using a if you're using a rogue mercenary, public service now, so if you're using a rogue mercenary, get her some piercing. Whether you got to put a wisdom on her head, uh, whether you got to give her a bow that has some piercing on it already, whatever it is you're doing, give her some dang piercing. Trust me, it will increase her damage exponentially. It, yeah. It's good for repairs. <laughs> That's well and all. Well and all. Don't worry about. <laughs> People have been worshiping the um, the Act Two mercenary for way too long. It's time for you know. It's time for a shake up. I'm using Act Three right now. I don't even care. Perfect. Exactly. Come on, other Maras, pop out of a jug. We need you to come on and give us a tug on the Magic School bus. <laughs> It rhymes, okay? It rhymes. <laughs> it rhymed. <laughs> There's no trouble a mug can't cure. The aura is a lot lower than pride. I'm not worried about the uh, the level of the concentration. I don't even care. It could be level one for all I care. The only it's, reason it's, the only reason I'm using it is for the uh, the uninterruptibility. Yeah, it's for killing cold. Uh, it's for killing fizz immune. So you want to boost up the cold damage. Concentration has nothing to do with elemental damage. Oh yeah, I'm not really worried about the the bonus damage either. It's just, it's just the um, uninterruptibility. If my tank girl is going to be as tanky as she could possibly be, what I'm thinking about is, okay, well, I want an elemental damage character, and then I was like, well, what about the bow girl? And I'm like, well, I could put mist bow on her, and then I could have the uninterruptibility. Which is gonna make her just ridiculous. You put a shaft stop on her. She she tanks. She, she's awesome. I swear she's awesome. I have that's that's my Javazon's girl. Used to be a um, mist bow girl, and it was it was something to behold. Look at all this wasted space in here.
Ding dong, hello. What a homie. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Wicked, wicked, witch is dead. Sw swinging our swords around. Having a blast. Hell yeah. Have I done the pit, pit, pit? The pity, pit, pit. Have I done the pit, pit, pit? Auto to pit. Ginger was talking about the the mist bow uh, rogue one merc, and I was just worshiping her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She is very good. He's very good. Another plus vouch to the to the mist bows on bow bow girl. The pit, 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 look at the pit, we got the monsters in the pit, gonna die like it, gonna pop them like a zit, mm. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people looking for those, um, <laughs> oh wow. Frickin' Grand Matron. It, isn't that Mavina? Yeah, that's right. Mavina's. Elemental is right. Yeah. Are you looking for Mavinas right now? I need a bow and a helmet. Well, well we just, found, we the just found the bow. I can't like use it yet. Like I still have to make the like level of character. You know. Sounds like, like, like you need to hold game. it. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it's <laughs> eight stash lots. What game are you guys in? GGM Chaos 5, password 16. Played after gentlemen? trying to create games with these. So I was having trouble so creating really games. I was doing bad. It's not too bad. It's, it's getting better. It's getting, it's getting better, better all the time. So much better that I had to rhyme. But I don't care because we're in this game killing stuff and it's so lame because there's not enough people here and we don't got players 8 for tears. I'm coming, I'm coming. What's the game? Oh, we've almost we've almost completely. cleared this game out. <laughs> we're in the I'm in the pit right now. I mean there might be a couple of places we haven't cleared like ancient tunnels and I, I don't think I've been to ancient tunnels yet unless somebody has. Well, the I haven't been to the on. the Ancient's <laughs> Way or like those little caves and stuff or like the Archon place. I mean, there's some there's some zones left. Um, is somebody doing cows? I don't know if anybody's done cows. They were doing it earlier this morning. Oh, my time this morning. You your time last night. <laughs> What's the, uh, is the game in the chat? Cathins. No, I just said it. It's GGM. Oh, the game's full. <laughs> ah, okay. The game is full. Well then. I'm just having trouble joining games, so I'm just going back. I'm just falling back on the knowledge that we learned ages ago, which was, you know, when the servers are screwed up, just stay in your game and don't leave. Yeah. It seems to be the it seems to be the method that is prescribed for m any illness when it comes to the server problems for this game. It's like, oh, the servers are messed up. We'll stop leaving the games. <laughs> Don't leave the game. It's just so lame. I'm full of crap in my inventory. Let me tell you a story. They're like, yeah, we're waiting for the story. Just, just drop it. We're waiting. We're waiting for the story. I literally can't pick it up. Or can't put it in my inventory. It's just too big. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Off to the ancient's way we go to find a cave that's covered in snow. Let's all go to the ancient's way. Try not to die from the big old pain. I don't like those guys. 
Okay, could I get a TP, please? To the Ancient's Way? Yeah. It's almost as if somebody asked you to come. Oh, thank you. Aye, 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 aye. I made this guy for trap running and ended up uh, just being oh, God. really fun. I hate I blessed aim with. hordes. I'm so close to the bear and I can taste it, Squiddy. Don't taste it, because a lot of the times it's hiding up people's butts. I mean, you know, right now. <laughs> I will, I will work it. Don't taste it, okay? I don't, won't. Don't put it in your mouth. I won't. Um, can you do chaos? I'm pretty sure chaos is uh, already done. Pretty sure chaos has been done since the beginning of this game. I mean, we can try and make another game, but that's been my issue, because I've been having trouble making games, so... Like, so I just decided to stay in this one. I'm like, you know what, I'll just stay here. Just like the song, you know? You can just stay here. Stay here in Magic Mind. Stay here in Magic Find. I mean, a game is a game is a game. A game is 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 a game. A game and a game and a game and a game and a game. Game, 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 game. Each time you sing, your cat reacts. All right, here I got a song just for your cat. Are you ready? It's just for your cat. Gotta, gotta clear the vocal cords. What'd you think of that? I used to have fun teasing cats. Like, if you get the tone just right, if you get everything just right, the cats are like, What the fuck is going on? What'd you say to my mom? Die. What did you say to my mother? What's up, Dark Shift Gaming? How's it going, man? Hey, Snapchip Chatter. He's a super unique. I forgot he was here. He didn't drop anything good. Got a jewel. A flawless arribe. 7% magic find with plus 7 strength. That's a weird one. Aww. Ah! I could always do my girlfriend's uh, siren call for the cats. I swear they, they'll come running. First time I came to my girlfriend's house... She uh, she did this little thing, and all the cats just came running. Wow, what, how does she do it again? She goes. Uh, she go. She go. Who they talking here? Who they talking here? And then the cats would just come and they be like, meow, 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 meow. like she's a freaking Pied Piper or some crap. And I'm like, did she just herd cats? I'm pretty sure she just she just herded cats. Like, just straight-up herded cats. I'm proud of my cat herding girlfriend. Hellrack Colossus Crossbow. Who wants a Hellrack? Can rack your hells. <laughs> Time to die. Oops, forgive me. <laughs> I 
Hey, I found it quick. Nice. What's up, champion frozen creepers? Die in a ball of fire. Thank you. Come again. Into the drifter cavern where all the monsters are. There's probably glooms in here, so watch out and don't run very far. Ow. Freaking ouchie. Quit it. You can get spooky, dude. Spooky with all the clones. There's ghosts over here and it's so scary in there. Ooh, I'm a spooky gloam. Ooh. I have mana burn and lightning damage. Ooh. I'm not scared of you, Mr. Gloam. <laughs> You know, for the player count that we're running, I'm actually really am just like walking through these guys. Just walking right through. Like some of the ones that are immune to lightning that I'm breaking take me a little bit longer to kill. But like everything in the game pretty much that I come across that's not already immune to lightning, they don't even they don't even live for like two seconds. Like they're just automatically dead. Even the champions I come across that are, like, not immune to lightning. It's the same thing. Oh, look, a sacred armor. Do we find a J-Mod sacred armor? Let's go. J-Mod sacred armor. Oh, it's just a sacred armor of equilibrium. Disappointment runs in your family. Oh, <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you disappointed me just like your father. <laughs> no. Stop it, that hurts. Emotional damage. The morning comes. Mala said the morning comes. She's not wrong, actually. It's pretty late. Mala, take this sacred armor. There you go. Alright, now let's do the frozen river. Dun 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 Frozen river. Dun 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 Who left a bone ham on the ground over here? Infidels! What's up, ghosties with the mosties? I hear you like some zeal in your face. Here's them ghosties with the mosties, and they're coming for your toasties. You might want to put them down with the big old nasty frown. Come on, little ghosties, to get on to town. Drop me a baroon or I'm gonna kill you. Actually, I'll kill you anyway, even if you do. See, if Bale was smart, he would have just bribed us with, uh, with freaking runes. He, like, got to the throne room. He, he should have just been like, but like, hey, hey, if you just leave and let me win, all right? I will give you six jaws and two burrs, my life savings. And you're just yeah, I'll let there. him live. You'll be like, um, you know what? You don't know what, Bale? Deal. Let's go to town so we can trade. Bale pops up in town. Everybody's like, wait a minute. Start dropping burrs on the ground. At the stash. I'd be like, you better hold your end of the bargain, all right? These burrs ain't cheap. Ooh, some fan braces. <laughs> 
20% IAS with two res. They're not like god awful, but they're not great either. Get to work, Merc. Come on. What's going on, Mr. Merc Alert? You know what's funny is because because the um, lower res on Struck applies to targets no matter how far away they are, even from like a lightning blast, every time I find a, a Gloam, they're already lower res because they're just all shooting lightning at me just nonstop. So they, they already have lower res on them before I even get to them. This man over here playing with gnomes. Hey, little gnomey, gnomey, what's up? Superior Aaron Shield. Ow, oh, my Manta. Dude, it's fun down here. I'm having fun in Clone Land. The number of poison novas that this sword shoots out is just absolutely crazy. There are some times where literally I'll attack with a seal and it will literally proc five freaking poison novas in one seal. Right there, that was five. Literally just proc five poison novas in one seal. Kind of insane. I certainly love to shoot random things out of my weapon, don't I? Holy balls, poison ovas, all sorts of crazy madness. I still think my idea um, for a game mode for this game would be amazing. I've had this idea for a long time, and it's a, it's a pretty simple idea. Basically, let players, kind of the same way that Super Mario Maker works, let players create a game, like a little zone, kind of just like Uber Tristram. And, uh, and you get to put in this zone monsters that already exist within the game, with whatever modifiers you would want them to have, and um, and in doing so, you create a you know kind of like an ultimate challenge, so to speak, uh, for other players to try and beat. And uh, of course, you could take your characters that are online and, and apply them to this challenge and try and beat the challenge. And uh, you know you could have like clear times and stuff like that, and and obviously being the first to defeat it would would be like a a, a boon. And uh, I can think of some pretty crazy combinations myself. I would love making them. I'd love to just make some challenging levels. Post them up on my YouTube channel. Maybe even have like a reward for beating them. I'd be like, if you can beat this level in under five minutes. <laughs> They get in there, it's like pure cancer. <laughs> They're like, it's literally full of gloams, dolls. <laughs> Why are you so evil? I've been to that throne before. Well, 
Well, I rescued on right on you guys. Yep, yep, rescued on you. King Ghidorah? Who's King Ghidorah, Stefan? Oh no, my Merc died. That was pretty that was pretty rough right there. I burned a couple of juvies on that fight. That was a lot of gloms. Yes. It was like three packs of gloms and Frozenstein all at the same time. It was a little much, and I can't blame my Merc for dying. with cold arrow charges. That's really that great on him. You know when the when the minions are a different resistance than the uh, than the boss, it makes such an odd combination. Like half the time you can like just like destroy the boss in the back and then the, the minions are giving you more trouble than the boss is because they're immune to your element. I'm freaking dark stars, man. He is an L enemy of the Godzilla GGM, the Godzilla. Oh lord, here comes Squiddy. He's gonna get me killed by Neelafak. <laughs> Just in time for the Neelafak. This is not the correct way, by the way. I was going this way on purpose to farm. There's usually a bunch of champion packs and stuff at the end of these, so... I like coming down these for farming purposes. Dang, that's brutal. I don't think I ever saw that one before. Is that in the original game? That is in the original game. Dang. That's brutal. Man, what did Neelithak be doing up in here? Like, why you be doing that to the, the, the pretty ladies? Why? Why you be doing that to the pretty ladies, Neelithak? What the hell is wrong with you? And this poor little barbarian over here. He's here. Uh, I guess he's there, too. Seven faster run walk, 15 all res. Grand charm. Nice. That's pretty sweet, man. That's a nice find. 15 all res is the uh, cap for Grand Charms, and 7% faster run walk is the cap for Grand Charms. So that's a pretty nice find. Defender. Nothing down here. That. What the ham biscuit? 
What the turd nugget? What the left racket? What what the duck quacking? <laughs> How many do you have? How many do you got? What the truck clanking? <laughs> What the suck drinking? <laughs> it's not so spooky down here. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm staying away. I don't want to play with Mr. Neil Thank He can go, go straight to his nail. Not just hell. His nail. That's a special place. Good afternoon. Swear jar. <laughs> I jank empty tax cut. I barely swear ever. You make me swear you deserve it. That's what, that's what. Make GGM swear day. I don't, I don't, I don't like that day. <laughs> Sounds like a bad day to me. <laughs> Sounds like a bad day. I got too many runes and I don't know what to do with all my damn runes. California rune tab, California. Too many dang runes on my tab. Oh no. On such a runey day. Okay, so you guys already killed Shank, and you guys already killed Eldritch. But did you kill Doc Farron, though? That's the question. I found so many good items from Doc Farron in my lifetime. It's, like, hard to explain. I remember one time early ladder, we were just, like, joking around, and I was like, you know you guys should probably kill Doc Farron. I walked down and killed Doc Farron. He dropped me in Ariat's face. I'm like, all right, well then. See? See? This is why you guys should kill Doc Farron. It's best for sorceresses, though, because, you know, she, he is a little bit far away. I feel like Sorks have a much easier time killing him than most other characters. Same thing with Thresh Socket. He's a good one to kill, too, but you need, you need to be a sorceress. I'll take that flawless diamond. Oh, uh, dang, I do a uh, wheel, a uh, wheel. Doc Farron, what's up, my buddy? I heard your boots are getting muddy. Oh, nothing good. Thank you, Doc Farron. Oh, wire fleece. Ethereal wire place. 603 defense. Ooh. Doc likes to drop Tal Amy's. Let's go check the other guy real quick, too. Thresh, Thresh Socket. Let's see if anybody killed Thresh Socket. He's got some good drop chances on some stuff, too. Um, I try to remember if it's easier to walk backwards from Ariat Plateau or if it's quicker to go forwards. From Frigid. I think it's quicker to go backwards from Ariats. Usually by, uh... I can't remember. He's right by the entrance to Ariats, Ariats Plateau. Yeah. I just can't remember which one's technically closer. I think they're both about the same distance, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's the level 85 zone right there. Go in there real quick. The pit of Acheron. The pit of Acheron. On, 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 on. I love that place. There's no lightning means. There's no means of lightning in this place. So come on down, let's have a race. It looks like somebody already beat us to that place. So we gotta suck it, hoof it, back to town. <laughs> Sad. 
Yeah, Pindle, Pindle, Shank, Doc Farron, Thresh Socket, um, and Hephaesto, the armor, were all pretty easy farms for characters who might not have the best equipment. Honestly, throw Brackenishu. Uh, Treehead Woodfest. And, and Bone Ash. And Bone Ash. Bone Ash is easy as shit. Has anybody killed Bone Ash yet, by the way? Uh, we can go. I'll go check. Because we can go murder him real quick. Let's go murder Bone Ash. Yeah, this is. I found Thresh Socket. He's right here. Come here, Thresh Socket. I know you're not a demon, but that's okay. I got something that'll make you pay. Yeah, he dropped off. I should. My my zealer, the GGM death character, has a lot more MF. Monash is your friend, Skeletal? Okay, let's go say hi to him. Let's go say hi to your friend. Okay, let him know we're coming so he doesn't kill me. If he shoots me with one poison bolt, that's it. Killing your friend, I hope you know. Boney, what's up, Boney? How's it going, man? How's it? How's it? Go? Oh man, terrible! I didn't. My Merc totally didn't mean to do that. I mean, he did, but totally didn't. Time to die. There's a lot of weird, super unique monsters that are like all over the place in odd places. A lot of people don't know about them. Like there's the um, the guy in the jail level one. I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. I don't have jail level one. Look at that. I do have jail level. Three. I mean, yeah. I have level one. Level one is up, if you would like it. I don't remember what level he's in, though. That's the thing. I don't. I don't remember. I know he's. I know there's a super unique down here. I just don't remember what his name is. I have. I am sure. I don't know. I know there's one down here, though. There's also lots of ghosts down here too, though, which is good for rune farming. I am happy just murdering all the things. All the things are murdered, all the things are murdered, and the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. <laughs> California murdering everywhere, such a lot of lightning bolts in your hair. <laughs> On such a murderous day. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. With many scaly taunts. <laughs> what is optimal for gambling on Gull Dagger? Uh, level 11, if I remember correctly. Feel free to correct me, anybody. I am not infallible. I found my first Gull Dagger non ladder from a rack behind my fist. Somebody posted a picture one time and said, This is such a tease. And everybody was like, you know, there's a door over there, right? <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> I used to love looking for these little secret things. <laughs> Diablo 1, the secrets were a lot of fun. God, what the hell is his name? See, I'm losing my mind because I don't know what his name is. Let me go to Silo's pen real quick. Silo's pen! Super uniques! Jail level 2. His name is Pit Spawn Foul Dog. Apparently he is always in level 2, so we need to find the level 2 entrance. That's why I said I wasn't sure if he was in level 1. Let's go beat his booty. Or whatever. Hey. Cantor trophy. Anybody need a Tranks? I think someone was trying to complete this set to raffle off. I 
if I'm not mistaken. But I he just wants to turn more people to the dark side of the vampire force. <laughs> Another what? one joins the ranks of the Trangul. One million dollars. <laughs> Kick that barrel, do -si do kick it in the big old show. Hey, skeleton, how long were you in that barrel? These are things I wonder. What? Stay your full juvies? Pit spawn, foul dog, we're coming for you. I don't know where you are, so stay quite still. I don't even know what pit spawn, foul dog is. Is he a skeleton? Is he a death clan? Is he a... I never really paid attention to this guy. I just remembered he was here. I'll tell you, he's about to be dead. We might kill him before we even know he's there. <laughs> I'm like, where is he? We wanted to kill you. And he's like, oh, I'm already dead. You guys killed me like 10 minutes ago. I wasn't even on the screen when I died. I died to like a static rock or something. <laughs> wasn't well, even fair, guys. Jeez. He's gang up on me. <laughs> oh, some champion ghosts. Maybe he's a ghost. He could be a ghost. That would puke, be very puke mall the mad. Some more champion ghosts in here. What's up, champion ghosts? Uh, you guys are all ghosty and stuff. We were having a, a, another laugh, you know, because after MFing for so many, so many runs, thousands of hours, <laughs> you just gotta think about different stuff. And we were theory crafting an Act Four Merc. So we thought it would be interesting to have almost like an ethereal follower, like the. Maybe one of those tortured souls you free in Act 4? The tortured soul. <laughs> and they followed you around and they gave you like passive buffs. Almost like the Oak Sage from, uh, from the Druid, but available to all classes. Again, uh, just just for a goof. Hey, it's him. He's a he's a doojank. He's a tainted. Oh, I hate these guys. He's a tainted. I hate these guys. He dropped They're us. So a, mean. He dropped us a mask. It's not very good. He dropped us some gloves. They're ethereal. They're not very good. Pit spawn foul dog. We came all this way to see you. The least you could have done has been hospitable. <laughs> He's a man that's got to come all the way down here to kill me. Why do, you think I'm, why do you think I'm on jail level two, sirs? Okay, I don't want contact with anybody. <laughs> so I live on jail level two, so you guys will leave me the heck alone. <laughs> Stop looking for me. I'm not interested. Don't even ring the doorbell. I don't even keep any valuables on me, okay? We're like we're like McDonald's, all right? We only have like fifty dollars in cash on hand at any time. <laughs> all right, and I use that to buy food. Do you really want to steal my food money? Mm-hmm. Y'all are bullies out mm -hmm. here taking my lunch money. What about Mr. Titan? Mr. Titan. Is that the barracks over there? Something's over there. Let's go kill Buttface too. By the Smith, why not? 
I actually see the barracks entrance up here. I'm just going to go for it. I will find him before you do. And my powers will be complete. I accept your challenge. Watch him be like right next to the barracks entrance. <laughs> I will bet you he is. Oh, I ran the wrong way. Huh. I don't know where I am, but well, this looks promising. Wait, oh, wait, no, oh, wait, oh, wait, no, oh, wait. Aha, uh -huh, I found him. <laughs> no! He did. Fine. I like that, was like the weirdest map configuration, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody left because the game is like completely like sucked dry of all like, anything. All it's like all there's it. no monsters left alive anywhere. I just like killing stuff, okay? <laughs> it is fun. This uh my my dude like wrecks the cow level now, so I I'm pretty sure your dude wrecks everything in the game. Yes, maybe. Sort of, I don't know. Mostly. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, a superior crown shield. 43 all res superior crown shield. Wow. Ooh. That's super sexy. Anybody making a paladin anytime soon? I can hold on to it for a uh, swap meet. So, yeah, sexy. That's so sexy. You don't even know. I, I think we've accepted, uh, I don't know, five new kinship members in the past couple, like this past weekend. So, you know, someone will find a good use for it. We're rich. We're filthy rich. I, I would bet that the Countess is already done. I wanted to go Punk Treehead Woodfist, though, real quick. Is the whole level 85? Did they make the whole level 85? They made all the non, like, quest zones 85. Kind of makes me wonder. Oh, wow, they died, like, really fast. That was, like, super death. Super death, super death, super dead now. One of my favorite, uh, videos like of all time was this uh have you guys ever seen arlo it was like uh he's, he's this youtuber he does some videos on the like nintendo stuff and uh he was doing videos on the the nintendo switch when it was coming out and uh, it was like the day before the nintendo switch came out and he did this video where like he died and death's there and death is wearing a duck like a duck helmet or something i don't even understand and he's like, he's like, all right, time to go. He's like, oh man. He's like, but I just got the Nintendo Switch and I wanted to play. And he's like, oh man, you got a Nintendo Switch? He goes, those things are sold out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and Arlo's like, yeah, I mean, you could play it if you wanted. And Death is like, oh man, really? And then Arlo's like, well, how dead am I? Am I, like, just kind of dead? Or, like, can I come back to life, maybe? Are the doctor's going to revive me? He goes, no, no. He goes, no, you're, you're super duper dead. He goes, every organ in your body simultaneously failed at the same time. You're super duper dead. Not coming back from this one, buddy. But, but let me get a hold of that Switch real quick. <laughs> He's like, but if you let me play the Nintendo Switch... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Death doesn't make any exceptions, but... And then he wouldn't let him play. Like, he was sitting there playing it for, like, forever. And Arlo's like, come on, man, let me play. It's my Nintendo Switch. He's like, shut up. <laughs> and then Arlo's like, oh, man, this sucks. <laughs> I would not deny the Grim Reaper his turn.
I has big pee pee. What? Those are some. Those are some sexy items. I don't know. Somebody asked what I was wearing, so I put it all in chat. <laughs> I put it all in chat. I put it in chat, and then I hit him with a bat, and I stole their stuff. And I stole their stuff. California robbing, California, gotta rob all them peoples with your robbing. Take their exhaust muffler. Oh wow, that's a sexy garage shield. Yeah, I would definitely hold on to that. You're gonna have to roll it for sockets though, that's the thing. That's that was been that's been my problem the entire time. Like, here's a 45 all res amazing shield. And I'm like, let me roll it for sockets. And I was like, up oh, two sockets. Up oh, four sockets. Wait, the hole, the hole has a big level two area? What the hell? I didn't know the hole had a big level two area. The hole goes deeper. It goes way thought. deeper than I thought. It does indeed. <laughs> It's like that horror movie Descent. <laughs> it just keeps going, dude. Did you ever? Do you guys ever watch the horror movie Descent? That jack was. <laughs> that jack scary. That was actually very spooky. I did. I did not like it. I might be a <laughs> closet claustro cla cla uh, What's the term? Kind of claustrophobic. Claustrophobic, yeah. Claustrophobic. I might be closet closet claustrophobic. Oh, I would never oh, it's, go. Oh, it's saying the word closet and claustrophobic at the same time. That's what was screwing me up. Try saying closet claustrophobic real fast, then you'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about the way your tongue moves. It doesn't like saying the two CLs right next to each other. <laughs> Everyone in chat is now doing it. Let's go. All right, you 60 people that are in chat, all right? I know you guys are probably taking a nap, but make sure you hit the like button. <laughs> Make sure you hit the like button. That's it. Hit the like button. The content's amazing and consistent. And I, and I sing you to sleep. Come on now. <laughs> the lullabies are the best part. I used to sing my nieces and nephews to sleep all the time. They love that, man. They remember that. <laughs> he woke up just to click the button. <laughs> All right, since you guys hit the like button, I guess I can sing you some songs. All right, now go back to sleep. All right, <laughs> rockabye baby in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle shall rock. When the cradle rocks in the treetop, oh baby will fall. Down to the ground. But into baby's arms, little baby shall fall, and mommy will rock you, baby and all. Go to sleep, little, Di little Diablo players. <laughs> I wish I had a nice singing voice. How do you get all your revenue? Well, actually, uh,. People just fall asleep in my channel. <laughs> I just sing them to sleep. They wake up and they're like, they're like, you're still streaming? I'm like, um, actually, yeah. I had to watch over you, you know, so that you could, uh, so that you could, you could, you could sleep good. Okay. You could sleep good. You guys need to sleep good, right? All right. What's left? Oh, I know what's left. Ha ha. Aha, use my smart brain. My big, big, meaty brain. Another level 85 zone that we missed. The meatiest of brains. So big and so juicy that the hunters wanted to eat it for their own. But I wouldn't let them. Of course we did. Worldstone keep level one, uh, level two and level three, but did we do level one? Nah, see? Using the big brain meats. Worldstone keep uh, level one. Aha. Uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. 
Hey, there's invaders here. Die. This is a level level 85 zone too. The whole keep is level 85. Yeah, so why not Worldstone keep level one? Yeah, yeah exactly. I was like num I was numbering my episodes and then I just started I was like I was like I shouldn't number them past like three weeks. I'm just gonna start putting in nonsensical sayings now. <laughs> Diablo two ladder resurrected. Um your butt stinks. Wash it. I'm like what? <laughs> okay, alright. I mean I guess. God, don't call me out like that. <laughs> I, feel, I feel personally attacked. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is Diablo 2 Resurrected Itchy Balls. What? <laughs> Dang. Oh, Lord. Stop. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Diablo 2 Resurrected Talk to Your Girlfriend. <laughs> Whoa. When was the last time you saw the sun? I saw the sun. And it burned my skin right off because I'm a ginger. Can I tell you what? Really didn't like the feeling of the burn. And I got some new freckles. <laughs> I'm gonna send you some SPF 50. Oh, I learned a long time ago. Just wear clothes. It's the easiest way. Like I don't, I don't, I don't go shirtless in the pool. Like it's, it's not because I'm afraid people are gonna see my manly chest. It's, it's because literally as a ginger. Uh, if I go shirtless in the pool, I will come home with, like, burns over, like, three-quarters of my body. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you know. I came too close to the surface of the sun. Yeah, y'all are gonna laugh. So one time when I was out, when I was a kid, uh, we had this like big like, you know, outdoor event thing during the summer, and uh, they had raffles. I remember they had like a Super Nintendo up for raffle and a bunch of cool stuff. This is like way back in the day, and I thought I was cool. I had on my jersey, like you know, like a actual like basketball jersey, and we were walking around in the sunlight for hours, and uh, and of course the jersey was sleeveless, so my arms were completely burnt. But what was worse was the jersey had little tiny holes in it, you know, as jerseys do. Well, being the super sensitive skin, crazy ginger that I am, literally the sunlight that made it through the little tiny holes in the jersey burned my skin in the pattern of the shirt. So when I literally took my shirt off, I literally just had little tiny dots of sunburn all over my entire body. I am I am blessed and I cannot relate because I have dark skin, so Alright, let's go somewhere really fun. How about this? Let's go to uh City of the Damned. Ruh -roh. I don't like that place. The that place City of the Damned. That place is spooky, dude. I don't like that place. There's literally damns here. That's their name. Damned. They're damned. They're 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 damned. It. They're damned lightning immune, is what they are. <laughs> I have conviction. We'll be fine. And there's a superior crystal sword on the ground. You know you want that. Good lord, they're fanaticism over here. One socket. Such a tease. There's even lower resist on them. You should be fine. No, no, I'm fine. This is a lot of tainteds, though. Like, that is a really large number of tainteds. Like, that was like three ch that was like three packs and a champion pack, and they were like fanaticism and everything. That was kind of insane, actually. Like, if I wasn't already at 85% lightning res, I actually would have been scared. By the way, finger mages have high rune drop chances. There's a lot of finger mages here. There's no gloms in this one. The gloms are in the um, the plains of despair, which we could also farm for more runes. 
Adriel loves loves those clones. He got him at wholesale. <laughs> he got the Costco pack. Yeah, he got the Costco pack. He thought it was going to be too many. But little did he know, it was just right. Say, I want them all. I want the Costco pack of high rooms, please. <laughs> the Costco pack of high rooms. Yes, please. <laughs> God bless Look it. They're out. Guys. They're outside the door. Come over here closer <laughs> to the chains so I can chop you. Look hey, there's a Zacharoom shield. Zacharoom, check it. Could be good. Zach is a uh, Zach is elite, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes um. Oh, heraldic, gilded, and then Zacharoom. It's a uh, it only 26 res. I never understood these like little like souls that are on the like all over the place. Like you kill them and they they actually will hit you. If I don't know if you've noticed, but if you stand next to them, they actually swing at you and can hit you. Please just give me nightmares as a child. <laughs> God, there's so many tainteds here. Look at, look at this mess. It's funny because, you know, like normal people when they tan, like they get like, um, you know, you, you get like kind of like a nice toned skin, right? Like no, no. When when we're in redheads, when we when we tan or when we uh, when we get burnt, all we do is get more freckles. Like it just adds to our freckles. You get burnt, here's some freckles. You get burnt, here's some freckles. Like I used to get burnt all the time on the top of my shoulders, so I've got like tons of freckles on the tops of my shoulders. There's a pillar in there. Concentrated tan. When did you reroll Poison Necro? <laughs> I have a Plague Sword. Don't be jealous of my Plague Sword. My Plague Sword is beautiful. It's that's, a very cool sword. That's the reason why I think it's going to make an absolutely excellent Poison Dagger Necro item. I totally want to see somebody roll, the, roll that. Either that or I'm going to roll it myself. I can't really see how it wouldn't work. I mean, you build a melee Necro... You put plague in a dagger. You um, you build up the three synergies for the poison, uh, poison dagger, poison nova, and, uh, and poison explosion. And that way, all the poison novas that come out of plague have full synergy. You're stabbing with the maximum poison dagger, and then you've got plus two skills on it. You've got lower resist on it, so you don't even need to build lower resist. So you just focus all your points on making yourself tanky, basically. Which is uh, bone armor, like you could do bone walls and stuff too if you wanted. You could uh, obviously get like a, a golem, like a blood golem might be the right one to keep yourself alive. So that when you're in there in melee combat, your blood golem is stealing life back for you. Get some, uh, get some minions too, because you know, it's always nice to have a couple minions. Where the hell is that one? I was going to go down to the next one, but I can't even find it. Can't be that far. I'm checking along the edges. It's usually where it is anyway, right? Yeah. Come on, Jaroon. More stuff. That's an Amber, and that's not. I'll take that though. I'll take it. I won't like it, but I'll take it. Oh, here it is, right here. Welcome to the gloomy, gloomy glooms. There's glooms everywhere. Oh, glooms everywhere. I don't like this place. <laughs> we did a um, we did a rush earlier today for some new kinship members. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun, but yeah, doing Izzy on a Javazon, I do not recommend. I might do a new character day tomorrow for my spears on. I don't know. 
Actually, because I actually want to play her. But I want to get the Arathus uh, set before I start playing her. So, uh, and I'm still missing the crown and the gloves. Missing the crown? Okay. okay. And, and you usually come on around 7 p.m. Eastern? I don't know. I had to mow the lawn. That was the only reason I came on so late. Plus, I also recorded nine videos this morning, which uh, there should be another one coming out at eight th today. I got to get them all programmed in and like edited up and thumbnailed and crap. But I did a I did a bunch of stuff like Storm Shield, Monarch Shield, uh, Wall of the Eyeless, um, Lance Guard, Spike Thorn, a bunch of crazy stuffs. Very very cool stuff. There was one shield I was actually looking at, and I don't know why I'd never actually looked at the shield. But it's the unique barbed shield, or blade barrier. The unique yeah. bl blade barrier actually has 20% DR on it. I don't know why I never noticed it had 20% DR on it. It doesn't really have anything good on it. Like, there's no resistances. It doesn't really have a whole lot going for it. But it does have 20% DR. And it also has uh, a, a crazy amount of, like, attacker takes damage of on it. Yeah, we found one today in our uh, Chaos Run, because we did a little bit of power leveling after we rushed the guys, because why not? Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it looks, maybe, I guess, niche is the word. <laughs> well, I was thinking um, a Thorns build, like, actually using that shield with, like, a Max Thorns Paladin. Maybe with like something that procs Iron Maiden as well, and just like really lean into the thorns. Wow, his wall just melted into oblivion. <laughs> I have never seen his wall die that fast in my life. Like he didn't even he didn't even stay alive for like a second. All his health was gone in literally like one second. I think it might have actually even been faster than a second. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I, don't I, blink, I blinked and he was dead. He didn't even get a chance to say his thing. Like, <laughs> No, he didn't, did he? <laughs> he's like, guys, come on now. You didn't even let me say my line. <laughs> we paid a voice actor for this. Come on. Let me say the thing. You guys ever watch the uh, Dragon Ball Super Tournament where literally they're like doing the transformation and they're like, love! And like freaking Android 13 or whatever his name is, he just like freaking blasts her in the middle of her transformation. Hello. He just like kick, kick and her it, in the face. And, and every, everybody's like, why would you do that? It's not why. You shouldn't. He, he, she's like, he's like, he, they were wide open. It's like, no, we don't. We don't shoot people in the middle of their transformations they're supposed to we're supposed to let them pre-buff and, and he all that. and he throws like a fit about it he's like he's like but they were wide open and they're like we don't do that and they shamed him until he what until he ran away <laughs> i haven't watched dragon ball in a hot minute <laughs> uh, we do we did have a, con <laughs> a funny conversation about naruto while we were doing the rush that was that was a blast Naruto, the burly grand charm of Vite. Yeah, it had a lot of life and defense. Brock Sampson's got that tanky sword over there. I, I, I see that red sword. What He's is that? Pretty... What is that? The patriarch? Oh, is he in chat? I think he's in the other group. He's got a grandfather. He's running a retro build. It's very, oh, he's got the grandfather? Yeah, they all, they all have the same picture arc grandfather. They all have the same model. Yeah. I'm trying to give him my death Colossus sword. But he's been running the... Look at that thing. Yeah, I know. It's sexy. It's all good out. When I did the video on the patriarch, I was like, look at this sexy model. It's like I'm sexy so and I know. It's especially... It's even cooler looking, though, if you do it two-handed not one-handed so you, you use it two-handed and take off the shield and it goes on your shoulder and then the light really shines off it and then you can really see the sexiness yeah we got to find him a second one no no because no it doesn't work with two it only works with one like when you just put it on by itself he he holds it like he holds it like this 
and like and then the light like really shines off of it and it looks all freaking super sexy you can't put it on without the shield because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't the monarch actually give you strength yeah yeah see look see like when you hold it like that then the light shines off of it when he puts it down and it like and it really looks see it lights up it's like it looks like it's freaking made out of rubies or some shit it's really it's really cool when it's like that because the light shines off of it just right i was playing around with it when i was doing the video on it and it's it's just really cool looking but, and that's one of the one of the sad things about all these rune words they don't look anywhere near as cool as these freaking awesome unique items and whose mercenary is in the fire just committing suicide over there? <laughs> Waheed, well, get out of the fire. Come on, bro. Committing. Oh, he's got Holy Freeze. Never mind. He was probably all right. <laughs> yeah, Brock's build is really, really cool. I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> you think J-Mod things are taking up all my inventory spice? I can ease the load, but my my inventory space is also limited. I have a ton of crafting materials. I mean, what I probably need to do is just try and make a new character, but I just don't have any, like, I don't have any character I just want to delete over there. I like to keep some like, characters for uh, for testing purposes and things. Like, if, if somebody changed something, I'm going to, like, want to hop on one of them and just be like, Okay, let me check out the new Wind Wolf stuff, or, you know, I got a Conviction Paladin. Let me go check out the new Conviction Paladin stuff, or... I'm excited to see what they do with this game. This is, it's so popular, and so much fun. I tried to leave, and it just went to a black screen for, like, forever. Oh, no. Alright, let's take a look at some of these low-level uh, mules, like Orby Borby. If I can even create a game. Okay, well it looks like she's got some low level runes. Nothing too amazing. Looks like I might have recently emptied her out. Because there's really not a lot of stuff on here. A Trang's belt and a razor tail. That's like the only two things on here that are any good. A suicide branch. Suicide branch is underrated. Suicide branch is OP as I'll get out. Fifty percent faster cast with plus one skills. It's not gonna like. At level thirty six or whatever. Thirty three. Oh. It's uh, yeah. It, even it's. So it also good. has forty to life, ten percent maximum mana, all res ten. It's so good. All right, so yeah, this character could be deleted. Let me go drop some of this stuff in like a free game or something. Oh, are we doing a swap? Nah, this is just a um, this is just one of my non ladder mules. I'm gonna delete and turn into a uh, ladder mule. Orby Borby, my friends. Orby Borby. F R E E. It's F R E. Why does the free game have to be a ladder game? Oh, there's a new Act One game. Could maybe drop it in there. They could probably use some runes. I have free stuff for you. 21 hours and 11 minutes. Uh, look at the douche. The the douche uh, iron golems. People love to come into free games and just like iron golem everything. It's got to be one of the biggest dick moves I've ever seen in my life. Some people are goofy. Some people are idiots. They are indeed. And Speedy had a, a great encounter with an absolute idiot earlier. Yeah, last night when I was trying to get any kip. I've already mentioned that he kept PKing to pre uh, prevent people entering 
portals and that went on for 20 games and then uh, I eventually called him out and said, you're a fucking wanker, fucking come over here and <laughs> come down to the field and we'll talk about it. <laughs> What's up, big chunk? How's it going, man? Do you know who to call if someone's doing that stuff? All right, give me just a second, Crypt. I'll be there. I'm having a lot of trouble loading and exiting games. I might have to just call it a night. How do you play this? You got to go on to the Blizzard website and buy it. All right. Delete character, Orby Borby. My poor little Orby Borby. Poor little Orby Borby. Oh no. Muley Uli Otson free. Mm -hmm. All right, now we need to come up with a really cool mule name. Just in case you use it to, to level. Uh, let's see. I had an idea for a name a while back, but it's like, uh, I need like a synonym of the word. Dogs hmm. group are having the same problem making games. They're in Central, aren't they? Maybe they're on different. We seem to be okay over here. Hmm. Might just make a Foden. I mean, I think you can watch some Netflix. <laughs> I don't feel like 96 to 97 grind. Oh, man. Need a million hugs? Yeah, Danny Denton up. needs a million hugs. I can offer him one hug. I don't know if I can spare any hugs for you today. I'm all hugged out. I gave them all away. <laughs> Come down tomorrow. Next time you're around. Maybe I will give you one. Wrap my arms right around. <laughs> but if you got a beard, <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to feel weird. <laughs> a little scruffy, I'm not sure. I'd rather not play that game. I can't carry any more. Was just a bad day? What kind of bad day are you having, man? People need to come and get their stuff. All right, tank is on proliferate. Man, it's two thirty two in the morning. Yeah, it's always a bad day, Dan Denton. It's always a bad day. Doesn't get any better either. What you learn to do is you learn to remember the good times. Not the bad times. So you don't remember the sad stuff. You remember the good times you had. 
That's how you get through it. By remembering the good times. That's just life, man. <laughs> well, digital hugs are a little difficult to give. I wish you all the best and enjoy the rest of your stream, Ginger. <laughs> I am going, I am falling asleep at the keyboard, so I will call it right here. Have fun. Yeah. All right, man. Have a good night. Good Catch night. you later. Freeing up a little bit of inventory space makes you feel good. I can breathe again. <laughs> I can finally breathe again. Finally breathe again. I can finally see you again. Long time ago, Dan Denton, I had a chinchilla. His name was Cody. Cody was probably the best pet I've ever owned. I mean, no no disrespect to any other pets that I've owned, but he was uh, a cut above the rest. Definitely the kind of pet that only comes along once in a lifetime. And uh, when he died, it was a pretty big blow. Didn't, I was not a happy camper. No. Not a happy camper. I might begin thinking about building a Foden. I'm thinking that is a plan. It's a fun build. I uh, don't have a pally here. This I've just got the barb on the ladder, so may as well try it. I think almost his robes with a plus 12% lightning skill damage. That would help. That would work. J mods on mods of the J. And you couldn't out. Oh, you'd have to put a lightning facet in it, wouldn't you? So I'd have to wear that after wearing a Viper Mage eye. Mage fists. Hmm. 
Is it mobs around Nilithak or Nithilak? Nithilak or Nilithak? Um, are they monsters and demons? Are they demons and undead or are they just animals? I don't know. Uh, which ones? The ones yeah. around Nilithak? Yeah. They're technically called demons, but they're, um, they're not demons. So the so the whole lightning holy bolt doesn't have that much impact on them. Hmm, this kind of sucks. When you go in there with your holy bolt, that damages them, though, doesn't it? Somewhere between 94 and 95, I changed gear. Sorry, what'd you say? Who's that, me? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was asking if your, if your holy fire damages them at all. Holy fire? Go, yeah. I'm using holy shock. But holy fire, your holy bolt, sorry. Oh, the, the demons? The uh, the ones around Guys. the other pack? No, yeah. no, they're not. They're not technically demons. I don't know what's going on. So they don't get hurt that much. Because he's dangerous. It's the most dangerous guy in the game. And his blood witches. <laughs> I hate them. What base do you need to find for obedience? Are you trying to use it yourself? Or are you trying to use it on a mercenary titan? What's your uh, what's your end goal there? Because that's uh, that's kind of what matters the most. Like if you're trying to use it on yourself, uh, probably a man catcher, five socket man catcher. If you're trying to use it on a mercenary, um, a Five socket uh, thresher, giant thresher, or man catcher in its ethereal form. Um, if you're using it for a fenzon, then you probably want to put it in a uh, a matriarchal pike or a matriarchal spear, depending on whether you're going for speed or um, or damage. Um, I actually have one I can show you. Give me, uh, give me just a second here. Shing -a -ding -ding. What is my Merc using? He's just using standard mercenary equipment, flickering flame. Ethereal Spirit Monarch, Hexfire, K. Hagen's Wisdom. It's been doing this for a little while. Screen's just black. Yeah, I'm not sure if this means well. the server is getting more players than it normally gets. Like I, I kind of feel like it means that the player base is increasing, not uh, decreasing. <laughs> I think it's DDoS attacks because we're not having any issues of this side, but it was slow loading into the game, but not a black screen. The screen of the darkness, it's so dark. Watch out for those big old farts. Uh, there you go. That's my obsession, or obedience, sorry, that I made earlier. You did say obedience, not obsession, right? But then that's not like a Freudian slip. Yeah, obedience. That's a pretty uh, darn good obedience base, in my opinion. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna smack pretty hard. I'm gonna be excited about that.
The only thing I'm worried about is the durability. Spearzons love to burn through some dang durability. I don't know why they have made all the freaking, um, like every single one of the Hi there. spears have such terrible durability. Like they're just absolute garbage. Does principle work this good on Lord of Destruction? The answer to that question is no, because principle armor or the holy bolt change is not available on classic. So the answer is new. No. New. No. Taking all my gold out, doot doot. Taking all my gold out, doot 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 doot. Doo. Taking all my gold, doot doot doot. Gonna put it in, doot doot doot. <laughs> it's annoying putting it <laughs> ten thousand at a time. Oh yeah, I know. What the hell is, is even the max for a low-level character? Because I don't, I thought the low-level characters couldn't fit more than a certain amount in their stash. At level one, it's ten thousand. Then by level seven, you can put up to eighty thousand. Well, just in French, you should get uh, Diablo Two Resurrected. It's amazing. It's definitely the definitive edition of Diablo, without a doubt. It's the game. And they've got a 75% discount offered it now, currently. Might buy for my Switch, actually. They do? Really? Already? And if, oh, I, the if I were a game developer, I don't think I'd, I would ever put the game on sale. That's for all three, because they've got an awful company, too. Um, let me check. Maybe I just saw wrong. 35% off. Do you think that the changes for Resurrected should be available for the remaining LOD players? Definitely not. Yep, the, re the, remaining, the remaining LOD players need a place to go that is not, you know, that is not um, the new game. So if they don't like the way that the new game is running, if for some reason they don't feel like the, you know, Diablo 2 Resurrected is going in the right direction. The The original game should always remain there so that they can be like, okay, well, I don't like the way Diablo 2 Resurrected is doing things. I'm going back to Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. Um, that, is, that is how things should be. So the LOD game should not be touched, in my opinion. They made that mistake with, with Warcraft 3, Reforged, by the way. They touched the original game, and they integrated the new game in with the original game, and it just was not a good idea. They ended up ruining both games. I've actually got a question for you. If I link, if I buy the game on Switch and I link that to my PC account, am I still limited to the twenty characters there? Um, if you if you're using the same account, yeah. But if you uh, make a new account, you'll have a second account. So if I just link it, I can actually play on my current characters on PC on the switch if i'm saying not at, at home yeah if you link it together you get access to, it's basically just access to your current account on the switch and you can play your characters cool so when i go back to work <laughs> I mean, honestly, Diablo 2 Resurrected doesn't even require that much of a beast computer to play. I play it in 4K resolution. That's And that's partly, you know, that's me. But that doesn't necessarily, you know, that's not like everybody needs to run it in 4K resolution. I was able to get it to run on a pretty crappy computer with that 720p on a, a laptop from 2015. And it did pretty yeah. good. I mean, it, it's it's not like super difficult to play. And one of the things I noticed is that if you can get it to launch, you can put it into the old graphics mode and you can still run it. So if you're playing yeah. LOD right now and you're fine with playing LOD, well, guess what? You could just load into the game, suffer through the low frame rate, 
so hit the G key, go to the old graphics, and it does in fact increase the frame rate, and you can play the game like this in the old mode. Yeah, Legacy's cool. <laughs> and it actually works out really nicely, and you get all the the bonuses of, uh, of you know, Diablo 2 Resurrected while still playing in the old Legacy mode. You get the, you know, the dodge, avoid, and evade increases and all that other beautiful stuff. Run around stabbing things. What's up? Buddy, you want to get stabbed? Okay, come on, get stabbed then. A blue bugger. Oh, I can't carry nothing. That's right, my bad. Oh, man, 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 man. I mean, this character is full of everything in the world, too. Free up some of her inventory space. Transfer these to the other mule so she actually has some space to work with. that if you buy Diablo 2 Resurrected, your computer won't be able to handle it. I mean, worst comes to worst, you can refund it. I mean, if, uh, what did you say? It was 75% off for the bundle? I mean, it sounds like it's pretty darn cheap right now, man. It's definitely a good time to uh, to check it out and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, well, what have you really lost? Chinchillas live for anywhere between 15 to 25 years. It's kind of nuts, actually. And um, they're different animals entirely. Ferrets are predators. Chinchillas are prey animals, so they act differently. Um, if you've never played around with a prey animal before, prey animals are a little skittish. You know, they're scared of things, but they can be pretty fun to play with, too. Kind of like a bunny rabbit. A squirrel. A squirrel. Wow. So GGM Pro Proliferate, which is my new character I just created, is number 206,812, and he's tied with several other people for that position, which means that there is a lot of people on Diablo, a lot of characters. I mean, I guess even if you said that, um, let's just say 206,000, 
of course this is tied, divided by 8, or sorry, 20, which is 20 people per per uh, account, right? So you could, not everybody's going to have 20 characters per account, but assuming 20 characters per account. 812 divided by 20. I mean, that's still 10,300 and some odd people. All right, guys, the server's being really glitchy. I probably would like to stay on and play for a little while, but I think I'm just going to head out. I will see you guys tomorrow. For those of you who have hung around this long, let me let you know what video is coming tomorrow. I've got uh, got several videos lined up now um, for unique item videos, and I'm going to be working on some more skill videos soon. Uh, but tomorrow is the Spectral Shard video. Uh, should be 8 o'clock. Uh, AM, P, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, hanging out with me, chatting, and all the donations and memberships and everything. It really does mean a lot. I wouldn't be able to do this stuff without you guys. And um, as always, keep watching.